Glorious Sunday. You know we're doing out here. Let's do a roll call right quick. See what's going on in the realm. My man A Fan. <laughs> what's going on? Let me know how my levels are sounding. How we doing out here? A fan, what's going on? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Lydia Master, what's going on? I see you. Oh man, ACG, up or okay? Up early for you. <laughs> Salute. Keep up the good work. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you, brother. You are missed, man. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while, ACG. We got to get you back in the realm, man. I need those takes. I need those opinions, those game reviews. Love what you do, brother. Always great seeing you. And you are definitely missed. We got to get you back in the realm, bro. Let me know. And we got Luis. Luis. Jimenez, salute. Yeah, I forgot about the time. It was good getting that extra hour of sleep, though. <laughs> I like that extra hour. Woo, refreshed. King liked it, too, that I called. It was funny. No more Oscar was going on. The brightest sun. Salute. Fit with the BlizzCon. Okay, okay. Live supremacy was going on. Lydia Mass, I see you. Zach Riley. Uh-oh. Gerald Mack, the OG, was going on. Chris713, salute. Plus, we got that pop now. What's going on? This pain. Salute. But equals in the building. God's soul. Kristen R. I see you. Project Aries. Okay. The Tendon the Otaku. Yo, I did not get to War Tales. Yeah, I've been playing so much Tekken right now. I've become a fiend. Like, I'm back in my old days. It's just... I just want to play 8 so bad. So I've just been playing Tekken 7 on the, on the ROG. I've been playing Tekken 7 on, on um, Xbox. Wherever I can play Tekken, I've just been playing Tekken. All the new character reveals got me super hyped. You already know. Geek the Sneak. I like that name. <laughs> no doubt. So we're going to get y'all up in here. Attic is here. You know what I'm saying? He in the background chilling. And Black Conflict X, my man. Powers to the people. Salute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love that name. Oh, yeah, we're going to get King up in here, everybody. You know, have a good show. We got a topic to talk about, things to get into, the whole round table and all that. So we're looking forward to a fun one. But anyway, let me get rocking. I will get the rest of the Lords and see what's going on. Talk to y'all soon. 
hear you, hear you, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and um, you know, we're about to get started. I am well. It's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rains you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you no, let's switch that uh, what, what i want to do Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boil you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Because it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rains you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. no let's switch that um, what, what i want Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boil you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rains you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. no let's switch that what i want to do Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boil you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, 
I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't wanna be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they wanna compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call it department and I get the blame still i be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. Man, this was that. Uh, what are you doing what i want to do Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't here to boil ya You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Because it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them range you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. man let's switch that um, what, you what i want to do don't stop. Nah, that was dope. Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't here to boil ya You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Because it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And headers be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them range you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. Nah, let's switch that um, what, what i want to do nah, that was Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled For them to be your dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't here to boil ya You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look 
Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start Regardless, back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got it. Man, let's switch that up. Um, what you what doing? I Don't stop. Nah, that was dope. Keep that, keep that, keep that going, keep that going. <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on to be your dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start Regardless, back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got it Man, let's switch that up um, What did you do? Don't stop I'm just sick of that Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on to be your dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 I'ma just chill and watch them and eat snacks in the attic I wanted to chill with the pack and be like a young whoop But then they would mistake me for addict If I can imagine it's cool to get you some advice Then invite your girl to your squadron Cause if you don't give her that option You gon' be single player like Sovereign You gon' get tossed in the bushes by King David Royalty and not a pretender Detrimental to an elemental What's an avatar to a knee bender I gotta be me though I know it's my destiny Work to Carnito Who cares if you fly if you still a mosquito You swear you ain't something but really be Steve-O yeah, yeah. You like to collect stuff and that's cool But I got bad news even if you really was that dude, King David still be the king of the statues. Since a juvenile, I've been cursed with a curse to be musical. And if you hate it, we'll meet in the crucible. Other than that, then it's cool and it's beautiful. We let you know that your dreams are pursuable. Whatever you want to do, then it's doable. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. Woo. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day.
mics. Is oh, hot. I gotta send you that stuff. Uh, hot so mics I'll, on yeah, sending I stuff with hot. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You saw, you saw that joint I put inside the chat, though. Because these dudes out here is roasting me, baby. They roasting me, baby. We weren't talking about confidential things. This is this is what happens when you comment on things you haven't played yet. Oh no, no. See, but the thing is, this though, these dudes is they 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 disingenuous, man. You know, and. Yo, we gonna get into that. Cause yeah, yeah, we'll, had a we'll long talk. talk. We'll talk. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, 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 should, I, should, I should have wifey bring me uh, my baby, my new baby. Hold on, let me let me call. What you summoning wifey for? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, you know, I got wifey. <laughs> <laughs> you should see when when I was doing um the whatever the show's called yeah mm-hmm. last night mm-hmm. uh they, they they demanded to see grace <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they dubbed you into show me yo show me this woman to see grace. <laughs> grace coming on the show giving you kisses mid show you know? yeah you know, i'll be right. peeping that I, 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 I was doing that shit on purpose <laughs> <laughs> hey language she's like, language, like, language. <laughs> she's like i'm gonna let the the realm know this is claimed <laughs> 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 don't get any ideas realm <laughs> <laughs> She's canon. Exactly. <laughs> Hear ye. Hear ye. Uh, and we are live. Welcome uh, to the Iron Lords Podcast, LLC. And also live on Lords of Gaming.net, episode number 329. Us. It's another us. Glorious Sunday. We're back at the round table on the Lord's Day. And today, we've got Bungie Lambs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you out there summoning women during my intro? <laughs> In Destiny 2 future, Sony Games as a service pivot, BlizzCon 2023, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to discuss, so we go get right into it. So let's introduce the four horsemen of gaming, those original gaming knights of the realm here at the round table. My co-host, the Cobos, my brother from another mother, the difficult game conqueror, lord of his own world, and the how of the young wolf. My man, Lord Attic, back to back. Oh, the Attic Show, how we doing, sir? Doing pretty good, man. I'm still coming off the high of watching, uh, you know, the last episode of Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been watching that show since 2014, and wow. now it's over. Like, wow, it, it, it's it, done. It, it, and what's funny is. <laughs> It's Keen don't even know what the hell that show is about. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He just no, hating no, to be no, hating. I know, no, no, I'm not hating. I love no, that show. No, no, he, mm-hmm. he, he's watched two seasons. Yeah. But the problem is, is the, Attack of Titans is one of the shows where they flip you on your back and front, back and front, like multiple times. Like, Whoa. they make you think you know what's going on. And like, no, you don't know nothing. Mm. Like, yeah, he used the wrong metaphor. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was definitely time worthy, but we let it rock. Yeah. 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 Flip you on your back and front. <laughs> I felt like door open energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Stuff yeah. on your stomach. Get out of So, uh, you know, I, I, did, I did react to the final episode. Is it on our Patreon? Oh, it's on our Patreon? Uh, yeah, it's on our Patreon. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, very good conclusion. Uh, so you know, good people, after all this. Is, I, I would it, not. Yeah, I will be not good, watching completely. that final episode on the Patreon. I do apologize. Yeah, pe- people until I watch the show. <laughs> pe- mm-hmm. People don't like the ending, but it's just like you know, with everything else, like really popular shows, mm-hmm. you're never gonna hit everything, mm-hmm. and, and it's just like I'd like for them to hit everything, but you know, there's only like one oh, part man, of it. You are <laughs> right today, man. There's only one part of <laughs> of like the last episode that I was like, eh, they could have did without, but. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 good, man. Oh, Attack I was, on Titan. I was being Probably. to tell you whatever y'all. I'm sorry to interrupt. Whatever you're gonna, do. Oh, please finish. Please finish. I was gonna say Attack on Titan will probably go on to be one of, if not my of all time favorite anime. So. Oh wow. What I was going to tell you in reference to it, because um, you're getting a lot of good positive response with the Patreon and the spoilercast and things you guys are doing. They they keep talking about Attic got to watch the end credits. Credit scene. They saying that you I missed something. Seen it. Oh, I you did. Seen it. Okay, I just want to make yeah. sure that you saw it because the the, the, the the Patreons and the chat they kept mentioning that, and I just want to say, okay. Yeah, it's it's uh, I get it. People are like you got people be acting like they they like foreshadowing a new show. No, they're not. <laughs> so they do it too uh, much. Yeah, you know, all they were doing is showing the significance of the whole thing with that the whole point of the show. Like, right, fair enough, fair enough. It's, it's good, and I finally beat Persona Five Royale. Yes, one hundred percent of it. My guy, uh, That's what's I, up. right I, before I left I gra- Game Pass, I grabbed the Reaper and drowned <laughs> him. I grabbed the Reaper and drowned him in the uh, 
You drowned in him? Yeah. You I, took I, him I, in the deep water? Him. <laughs> drowned in him. <laughs> and drowned in him? <laughs> I, I, I drowned him in, in, in the momentum. So what's funny is, after I figured out how to beat him, I beat him. I, I killed him like eight times. Because mm, he and was then, and then I was told after I beat the game, because I was like, well, I needed to level up. They're like, dude, why didn't you just do the Reaper cheese? I'm like, what do you mean the Reaper cheese? <laughs> Apparently, you could go in Persona 5, you could switch to easy mode. Because how it goes is sure. the mo when you go to easy mode, the moment you go to a, a rest stop or anything like that or, or mm -hmm. a rest area, it saves that easy mode. Mm -hmm. So you could go switch to easy mode. Mm. Or no, it's called safe mode. Switch to safe mode. Safe mode, and, like and, a computer. See, when, when you kill the Reaper, he'll kill you with one hit. But the problem with safe mode is you automatically get revived. Mm. So you could kill the Reaper, no matter what level you are. Mm -hmm. You could kill the Reaper, get like 400,000 XP because you're not supposed to kill the Reaper. Right. And then what you do is you just you fight him again and die. And mm -hmm. when you go back to the rest area, it's on normal again. That's You're not crazy. supposed to be able to switch it from that's crazy. from safe to normal, but if you die, when you come back, you keep your XP because that's how Persona. So dudes is just cheesing the level. That's crazy. I was I was a little <laughs> upset. I was like, that could have been very useful. <laughs> <laughs> could have been very useful. Attic is all about the exploits. Exactly. He on his exploit joint. <laughs> no, no. I see you. I see you try to get your cat in the frame, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Get no, the cat jumped cat. on. I, yeah, I, I he because he off. heard because he heard Bella was here. He was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> cats versus hey. dogs. Anyway, <laughs> no doubt. Salute to uh, the show and everything was you've been doing and stuff like that and the persona finally done i know you've been doing that for a long time i play and persona 4 right now beast loving yeah. the mario Kart shirt by the way and of course we have our most technical gaming lord the solo game will is for the single player selfish experience and also the softradamus the lord of clarity and lord patient of the iron bank pc master races own. hopefully getting some rest <laughs> lord sovereign <laughs> He's muted. You're, you're muted. He's muted. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, you good. Yeah, uh, the cops are wild. It's always Sunday, man. Yes. Sunday, yeah. everybody wants to go wild. I'm Same just, just stay, stay in your house. Relax. <laughs> it's, when don't, I do Define Duke on Wednesday, it's, it's always. They, they just feel yeah, like it's, it's going down. Don't, don't do the crimes on Sunday. You know, <laughs> Lord's Day. <laughs> Speaking of which, someone was recently murdered where I live, <laughs> which doesn't ever happen here. But, sure. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. 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 So the murder went down. <laughs> oh my god like that. Yeah. you gotta say you can't say that on youtube you have to say unaliving so. no, the, the unaliving went down <laughs> you can say that you can't say like yeah i know the, you yeah, can't say you know that. if they canceled themselves yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you yeah. can't say that so, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so uh yeah this was uh, actually sibling on sibling crime apparently oh damn yeah not good not good not good, not good. but but uh apart from me not being unalive yes uh I did. I I just I shut myself off from the world yesterday, and I gamed. Yes. King called me at eight thirty in the morning, and I looked at it. I was like, All right, "I'll call you later. I'll text you." Later. <laughs> nah, <laughs> like you tell the truth, Shane the Devil. He he sort of looked. He's like, "Oh hell no!" No, I, I, I turned <laughs> around and went to. But well, we thought we were all concerned me. for you. <laughs> yeah, but when he calls me. I wake up in a panic, like oh yeah, no, my no. god! Yeah, same with softcore, yeah, I'll be nervous. Like, but we call him, he's like, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, when y'all call me, I'm like, all right, it, it, it's it's a money thing. It's like, okay, why we gotta need be this. some money I thing? Yo, I was <laughs> just in a, a car bank. accident. I was in a car accident, sir. I could have been dead and, and dying. And I only heard this through again. I never get this sure, I, when I, it happens. <laughs> I'm taking umbrage with this ad. We only call chat. for a buddy thing. Like, like, <laughs> no, 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 not true. I'll put it in the I'm chat. feeling away. Cars was crashed. That, no, that's not true. Y'all call. Y'all do call yeah. me when y'all see I'm not around. You're like, wait a minute, because even your AJ called me. AJ's yeah. like. Yo, you good, man? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right, man. What's good? Now <laughs> nah, I was worried because with our chat, when we don't see your little icon, look at the message. We go, yo, what's going on? It's mad days. I thought, I thought, I didn't even realize that I was just, you know, you get the message and you just kind of flip down on the phone, but you're not actually going into the chat. So it's not coming up that you're in the chat. Yeah. So yeah. it's, yo, I didn't realize I was doing that. And then for that reason, I look like I'm not looking at the chat. Yeah. But I know what, what you guys are talking about. Like, I let them, I let them <laughs> yeah, rock he out. Just, just, <laughs> yo, he, was doing it the, he was doing it the sneaky way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know when, it, when you slide in the deal and they, they, they try to leave you unread? Yeah. Not, <laughs> but be able now, now I know the sneaky way. It was totally unintentional, but now I know. Uh, <laughs> so, what you been um, playing? 
so yeah, yesterday I after I woke up like at noon, I said, you know what, I'm playing. And I just sat down and played Spider Man all day. Mm. Oh, I played wow. Spider Man thoughts? all day. Wow. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. So, oh, so um, y'all y'all planned on coordinating these short shirts today? Or this is uh, I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> nah, this was not coordinated. <laughs> no, no, I, speaking, I, I literally just threw this on. <laughs> speaking of Spider Man, uh, me and King did a, a spoiler cast nice. on Spider Man. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's up. Go do that. <laughs> yeah, go 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 read go the, check the in depth. Uh, check out the in depth re reviews on that. Um. So. I finally started seeing bugs, <laughs> right? I, start, I finally started seeing bugs. Mm -hmm. Um, they were a little bit <laughs> I'm annoying. Really surprised you didn't see them sooner. that long. Like, That's what I felt. No, yeah. no well, I, I honestly, I saw them almost immediately. Yeah, I lucked out, I guess. And but what I did start seeing, uh, so uh, one funny one, right? It was a funny one where you know when you uh. Let's say you you intercept the crime that's happening on the street and mm. it, they're beating up on on a civilian and then when, once you once you beat up the bad guys you take the civilian to the ambulance. Right? Yeah, you gotta get right. them. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I grabbed, picked up the civilian. I made like a very quick movement mm. and for whatever reason that detached the civilian from <laughs> my my character. <laughs> yeah. So the civilian is floating in midair and then but the but the but the the moment is continuing. So I'm that, like okay. That I, civilian thing's mad glitch because it, it got to the point where I wouldn't even picking them up. I like, you just sit there like it was the it. SSD. Is the SSD? Though. Yo, you stupid. <laughs> I, I, I feel like every time, there was two times it glitched out where I had a recheck point, but then I realized maybe it was just I don't know why, but if I didn't pick him up and I waited yeah. a couple seconds, he went away and it's still completed. So I was like, okay, mm -hmm. you can walk your yourself to the end. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Like for, for mine, the dude stayed frozen in midair. He was like laying down like this in midair. <laughs> <In> mid <-air. laughs> so I, you know, Spidey once I saw, me. I saw that the icon was still live, right? The icon yeah. was still live. So I swung over there by myself yeah. and, I, and, I, and I acted out the whole thing. <laughs> you I was like, oh, yeah, you're going to be okay, whatever. And then and it gave me like the mission was, was complete. So I was like, all right, beautiful. Bro, that's okay. hilarious. Now another one that was a little bit annoying, but again, I have to I have to at least thank them for. The, I mean, their checkpoint their system. checkpoint is, system. Is, oh, thank yeah, God. It, it's a savior because this yeah. was a moment where I fought. Um, you know, this is not a spoiler, but Craven's army, or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. and it was a uh, multiple waves of these dudes coming at me. It was it was a long combat scenario. Okay. And at the end, you know, you're supposed to tell you once you beat them, it'll tell you the next thing to do. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm looking around. I don't see yep. anybody. It says defeat them, defeat, defeat uh, Cravens, whatever, minions, mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm looking around. I'm scanning the environment. I was like, where are these dudes at? I'm looking <laughs> at the mini map. One dude yep. stuck in the environment underneath the staircase, right? Yep. So I go, wow. I go to the staircase. His head is sticking up. So I was like, maybe I can just beat up on his head and, <laughs> and that'll beat up. Pause. Pause. <laughs> 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 oh. So I kicked him once, and it, that kicked him completely into the staircase. So he was done. I, I could <laughs> not get, get to him, him now. I can't get to him now. So oh, that was like, all right. I said, let me restart. Season. So I'm, I was hoping. I was like, you know, there, there's multiple phases to this. Fight. Right. So I'm like, right. maybe it'll keep me. In. No, I had to go oh, do the whole oh, phase again. Sucks, again. And yeah. the combat is great, but I'm like, I don't want to do this again because yeah. that's the first combat scenario where I noticed. I was like, damn, this is drawn out. Like, like why yeah, are you drawing yeah. this scenario out so much? <clears throat> so that was a little bit annoying. But apart from that um i got a, a good a good amount of time in. real quick so uh, there is a glitch <laughs> there's these things uh, later on in the game that you have to clear you have to put like a bomb on them it's like one of those little events yeah. i'm sure king can speak to for that mm -hmm. so <laughs> the whole point is you put these things up and you it, it will you have to wait out a few seconds and mm -hmm. then they explode king tell me how people found out you skip all that you don't got to wait that time. When you start the event, mm -hmm. if you switch your outfit, when you go back, it's done. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Wow. That's yeah, wild. shout out to that buggy game that wasn't like that in the other two. <laughs> but, but room isn't burning, though. It's, <laughs> we're fine. We're I fine. have to say, after seeing that, I was just like, it, just, it is just so unlike Insomniac. Yeah. It's just it, that's just what it is. Like I'm like okay. Maybe they was disgruntled because they wanted them to do games of service. <laughs> Yo, you <laughs> <laughs> you are ridiculous. Continue. <laughs> so. Wolverine is gonna be a game as a service. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe Bungie came in and was ah ah ah. Ridiculous. Overlord Bungie. 
maybe they had a games as a service and development and Bungie ca- canned it. Like, we, we ain't about this life. Yo, yo, mm. yo the games and service was into the Spidey verse. <laughs> you know, you know, it's like, nah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> they had a Spider Man pizza delivery game. <laughs> yo, you know what's funny? Yo, maybe Bungie's actually sabotaging them because they don't want no game better than Destiny. <laughs> You could. They're like, nah, you're getting whack. You're getting Time you're getting whack. on King. No, that's, that's a hot game, dude. That's a still <laughs> idea. <laughs> Time so, on King. Continue, so. so. Story wise, story yes. wise, I'm enjoying it. I, I'm I'm particularly enjoying the the level of kind of depth that they're giving Craven. I like that. Yeah. I like, really I, I, I like what they're doing with Craven. Um, Craven's a beast, right? Yeah. I, I'm still not a fan. I'm not a fan of Miles' voice whatsoever. Wait, wait, hold on. The Puerto Rican delegation, we do not approve. Nah, nah, nah. nah it, his his voice is, is <laughs> but since he became her? the you teenager, his voice you is no good. You ain't heard King Miles is cute, but he ain't for real. Yo, I want to know how they that approve? I wanted to know how they're gonna this do is the, the Cuban thing, suit later. His mom, <laughs> his, his his mom's official uh, Puerto Rican vernacular, perfect, beautiful. Ooh. But she's Obviously, full Puerto Rican. But though. she's full Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> it, 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 so it's not about him when he speaks Spanish. That's fine. Yeah. I, I completely understand that. I know plenty of of of, of kids that are fully uh, Puerto Rican descent or Latin descent mm. and speak that way because they mm. they just don't speak in, you know Spanish right. fluently. Yeah. Right. That's fine. It's just his the, his the way he speaks English is not. <laughs> it is he, he, it he is wants so a not New, New York. He wants a New York voice, and, it, and, and it's not, not even it's not even more thugged out. It's not even. He just seems like he is not from here. Yeah. Hey Genki. Hey Genki. Hey man. <laughs> yeah, he, sound, he sounds more Californian to me. Yeah, I can't. I can't. <clears throat> so and, and it's not even. It's not a bad performance overall, right? I, I think the yeah. way he the emotions and all that stuff is there. It's mm-hmm. the voice that is killing me i can't do it Um, let me see what else so as a result of playing spider-man what i have done is i have put alan wake to the side for now because what i realized is Mm -hmm. i tried i i looked into putting it on the rog Uh and this game is super demanding it ain't doing that it it would diminish it 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 some people got them running it could be done yeah It, it would diminish it to the point where yeah, I don't, I need Series to be. Series S is rocking yeah. that though. No, yeah, it's well, not. <laughs> no, it, 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 <laughs> be a messy. Yeah. <laughs> You're being messy. Not without you. all that hot stuff on. So being that, yeah, I, but I it's doing play it, it though. I want to play it with the path tracing and all the hot stuff and mm-hmm. with the lights out and the headphones on. Yeah, I'm gonna finish Spider Man and then I'm gonna focus on that mm-hmm. afterwards. Um. So then a little bit more Mario Wonder, right? Still mm-hmm. just a couple levels here, a couple levels there. Beautiful, wonderful, enjoying You've it. You've been playing, playing. Yeah. yeah. And then mm-hmm. and then I, I, I spoke briefly to Cog about this, and I hadn't I hadn't listened to Duke yet. So I didn't mm-hmm. know you you were playing it, because I was surprised yeah. that you knew about this game. So it's a game in Game Pass called Jusson. So Jusson. it's very French. Jusson. Yeah, just Jusson. Jusson. Oh, Jusson, like Christian. Just on. It, like Christian, Christian <laughs> Rock, I don't know, like, like Christian Rock. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out for blue face. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. So, Continue. I gotta say, man, I'm I'm a climbing fool when it comes mm. to climbing in video games. I mean, all the climbing and double jumping. I yes. always feel like I'm breaking something when I'm able to do that. Right? I remember back in the day on the Master System and Rastan that is jump from wall to wall. Yeah, remember I was that? Like, oh man, I was, I was the one that had the sword when, down when too. When you're able to. Try Triple jump, you about to have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, we lose our mind. No, I, I, man, I we don't know that. how to. Act. I, obviously, Mario going don't back and a, forth. Don't be a hunter on Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we lose it. We lose but control. like, I mean, literally going all the way. But obviously, Breath of the Wild games, mm-hmm. like, um, what the hell is that game? Obviously, uh, you know, Shadow of the Colossus, things like that. I love climbing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and in VR, the climb one and two in oh, VR oh, are crazy. So right? good. Kaiser put me on. Your brother put me on that. Yeah. So. But I, it's always been a thing where the mechanics of it, right? Get try to try to um, emulate the real mechanics of climbing, right? It, obviously, mm-hmm. it's a game, but emulate it as best as possible. You know who did it real good? Call mm-hmm. it a mountain in the VR. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very much like that's 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 the Aloy Nathan Drake type where it's like, oh, you just you never get tired, yeah. you just climb, you jump from ledge to ledge. ledge yeah. So this game is all about it. It it maps your hands to yes. the triggers, right? Electric, electric. So it's all about you finding the handholds to go up, and then it does something very cool, which is if in climbing in real life, um, you can 
it, it's probably not advisable to start crossing over hands like that if you can help it, right? Because mm -hmm. of balance issues. Mm -hmm. So what it allows you to do is reach up to a handhold, reach up with your other hand to that same handhold and switch off, yes. rest your hand, yes. and then continue on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you could gamify it too and just cross over like this and climb like you're like, you know, like Nathan Drake. You could do that if you want, mm -hmm. but you're going to start seeing your stamina go down. Yes. And... Uh, I don't really know what the game is about. I know it has to do with this kid climbing this mountain yeah. and there's a civilization that's lived on this mountain. He learns about the civilization that he's going up, but I don't know mm -hmm. the overall the overall premise of yeah. it. And your little man's in the back. Yeah, well, I he's I heard him going, but yeah, he yeah, hasn't yeah. come out. He yeah, he's he gonna come out soon. Yet. Yeah, he come out of the pouch. You're gonna see what, that's <laughs> when the whole situation <laughs> gonna change. That's when it changes. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah, even yeah. gotten to that. Yeah, yeah. So, but the climbing mechanic has me so enamored. Mm -hmm. because yeah. i have not seen it that way before like yeah. literally you rest your hands and you put your hands behind you and, and shake them yeah. out mm -hmm. the only thing he doesn't have is the is a, the the chalk pouch right yeah, 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 yeah modern yeah, yeah. climbers have yeah but other than that just that well feeling. his skin is naturally rough though yeah <laughs> so they, they tell you in the beginning the reason why he orange like that because his skin is naturally his skin rough. Is oh, yeah. <laughs> he got he, he, he's a born gripper Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. so um and as you start going up and you start seeing the scale of the mountain and you look down I don't know, yeah. what beneath you it's a real beautiful moment again it evokes those moments of like climbing the colossi and stuff like that or breath of the wild when you're climbing did y'all see that guys <laughs> he because some fools out there would have said climbing the colossus <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nah, he, he gave you that's, this is why we got him here yeah, that's, that's why we got him here that's why we you know, got him <laughs> because he, he's the best in the business the grammar the grammar yeah. guy you exactly. gotta get soft yeah, like for, a voiceover for real. or something like we, we developers we gotta holler at my man it's true yeah. like, he's it's dead dope. nice with it but continue I, I'm ready I'm ready he's ready so, continue uh, yeah, Colossal, get back to the Colossal. I love, <laughs> I love that feeling of just sort of like being out there. And I told you guys a couple of years ago when I watched that um, documentary, Free Solo, about yeah. Alex Honnold yeah. and free soloing. You're talking about that El guy Cap. that died, right? No, yeah. he didn't die. He, died. Oh. he didn't die. Oh, he didn't die. Mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about the other guy, the super strong dude. Pl plenty, was... plenty of other dudes have died. Yeah, this yeah. dude, this dude is is special. Like he really is. Like he's not phased by it. He, he respects it up to the utmost. He trains like nobody's business. But he he has a thing where he's able just to put the fear. He, there's no fear. Mm -hmm. Like he he prepares and he's ready for everything that he does, and he's able just to push the fear back mm -hmm. and not freak out. And the one time I saw him freak out, he literally he turned around. He's he's standing on the mountain. He's he's leaning back on the mountain like this. Mm -hmm. He's looking out forward. He's like, I, I don't know if I could do this. And like ten minutes later, he composed himself. That's crazy. Turned right around, finished the climb. That's it. Because really, when you when you get to a certain point climbing, mm -hmm. you're not going down. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> yeah. It's over. Yeah. Way, you, you the only way you out in. is up. Yeah. yeah. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, I love I love that that when they try to do climbing in games, and this is yeah. a very special little game. Like it's it's it's, it's it, you could easily look look over. Well, it, it's but... not what I thought though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's yeah. a super chat that is so wild. When we get uh, to it for some, oh, wow, <laughs> yo, man, wow. it is wild. Anyway, continue. I, I, so that's it. That that was it. So I did like I said. I turned myself off from the world. Lady Sav was working, so I was able to do just chill and play Please. without any. <laughs> Also, that's what you had your blaze. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I, I got my little. I got my little schedule blazing blaze and, and not blaze. calling people back. Yeah, but that's what's up. I like <laughs> that. I, I like that. that. But I let y'all know I was alive. I love y'all. Yeah, love you too. And I, and I appreciate the concern. Yeah, uh, we were scared. We ain't see that icon. We was like, what's going? Yeah, on? Yeah, I was like, where's this little white blank face? Because he yep, don't got a face I, in there. Uh, yep. He just got some blank dot. We had to do the wellness <laughs> check. When the last time you spoke to him, yeah, <laughs> and he was like, I don't know. I didn't speak to me. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. And of course, we have the incredible Hulk of this aka the excess gamer oh the prophet of xbox swami king of the statues who demands nothing less than that premium experience and is the unequivocal leader of the advanced alive moment oh beloved lord king how we doing sir i'm doing fantastic today everybody say hi to bella rose johnson oh right? it was an eight hour trip to go get her yesterday to Washington, uh -huh. D.C. And it was nuts. She, she is a Boston She's Terrier. sleepy, sleepy. No, no, she wants to get upstairs and go play with Coco Chanel Johnson. <laughs> they were having a good time yesterday. Mm. So she's like, this is daddy. He is the alpha. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love him. Because uh, when we picked him up, 
You know, they, they she came out of a little car. They was driving a little car. You know Why you got to shake their car? <laughs> so, no, no, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So we pulled up. So, you know, uh, we hopped out. What's crazy is, yo, so I was, all right. So for Halloween, um, I was riding around with the Michael Myers suit on. Mm -hmm. And playing the Michael Myers music. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so mm -hmm. the people pull up, they text me, and they like, um, yeah, we here. Mm -hmm. We in the BMW. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Mm -hmm. Hop out. As we hop out, I have my, my music on. Wait, and you had the Michael Myers with the dicky <laughs> suit? Check it. No, I had no dicky suit on. Pull, you, pull, <laughs> you pulled it right, with sorry, the don't, dickies. Don't, don't, don't have the dicky suit on there. So play. So I hop out, but as I hop out, my, my music was on random on my phone. Yeah. We open the doors. Tell me why the Michael Myers music come on. Now is it night? Is it night? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. this is not a pet. this is not a pet exchange. This is a setup. <laughs> yeah, this is a setup. Set. We just sit in the kitchen. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. <laughs> turned, turned it off, right? We got out, and you know, we 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 got her, and you know, she got in the car. She was like, oh, this is big, big. Oh, oh, we moving out. This is Uncle Phil. He Uncle. Phil. Yeah. Oh, she, so she's she's in the fresh face of Bel Air, like she her life. She she moved from Philly. Yeah. She's a different. She a Bel Air now. Yeah, yeah. So she a Washington D.C. pop, but um, mm -hmm. not no more. You in Westchester, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Westchester, baby. Now, so <laughs> so she was born July twelfth. Okay. And um, she's about to go get all her shots and everything. Yeah, shots. Go get chipped up. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you gotta get chipped up. <laughs> you know, we gotta be able to find you when we get crazy. Mm -hmm. But. She a chill pop. That's what's up. Uh, she, she get a little rambunctious when you know she with Coco Chanel because yeah. Coco when she, Coco came in, she was like, "Yeah, what's up? What's, what's this? Up, what's, oh yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I run the show. <laughs> <laughs> little it's territory. My show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you calm down, calm down. But she did poo poo outside today. We took her to the backyard. She did poo poo. She did pee pee, and she's a good girl. That's what's so good. um, what I haven't been playing was uh, Modern Warfare Three. <laughs> And I seen a lot of you guys coming at me, so you know I'll be playing that this week. Oh, uh, yeah, what yeah. I have been playing is um, Alan Wake Two. So oh. I finished the Spider Man. I platinum Spider Man. Oh, oh. So for all you dudes oh. that be capping for Sony that don't even own Spider Man, or probably don't even got a PlayStation, but PlayStation number one in your heart, yeah. in your heart. I, I, <laughs> I, I was with your girl. So <laughs> wow, messy. I, I platinum. I platinum Jabubu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. all the bugs and stuff. She a little weird this time, but uh, <laughs> yo, the game is dope. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the bugs, man, it's still a, it's still a. Uh, mm -hmm. so Alan Wake though. Mm -hmm. All right, so I get to. I heard you and David Jaffe solve talking about this. So let me get into this. Wifey sitting there looking at it. She said, "That's not the game. Like the faces. That's that's not mm -hmm. the game." I said, "Also, oh, boo boo, that is the game. That is the game. Mm -hmm. That's the game." So when it started and the naked dude is doing his thing, oh, she's man. like, oh my God, what, what are you playing? And then you're going up to join and you know stuff start happening. She mm -hmm. like, oh hell no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you playing? Like, and then it seems I'm a huge fan of Control did this too. Mm -hmm. Like when you go into a new area, they splash what area it is on the screen. And that's Ooh. something from Cape Fear. If anybody watched the movie with Robert De Niro, Cape, mm -hmm. Cape Fear, mm -hmm. and a lot of movies like that do this thing. Um, I love uh, spy killer thrillers. Yeah. I love stuff like that. I love um, uh, detective types things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this game is all of that. And it reminds me of a film. It reminds me of a movie, like a, a, a live playing movie. And the fact that they have, Remedy has mastered the art of storytelling and conversations natural mm -hmm. conversations between human beings with facial mm -hmm. and they can take the mundane and make it spectacular so they are really about the tech whatever the tech is whatever the hottest tech is we're going to get a grasp of that tech better than anybody that's out there and we're going to do it at a lower cost than anybody that's out there because arguably this game looks better than anybody's first party triple mm. a games mm. This game has so much tech layered in. The games that y'all like, if y'all playing it on Xbox or PlayStation, y'all not seeing half the stuff that y'all supposed to see. Mm. When you get to a high-end PC. Oh, would, would it be a PC? Oh, man, on, on, that, on, 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 yo. I mean, on a high-end, go to Digital Foundry. Okay, okay. Sounds on a, uh, yeah, do your, home, do your homework 
on go on the digital foundry it hit different mm -hmm. um <laughs> yeah, uh, on King David. Y'all <laughs> yeah, know what I talk about. Y'all know, y'all know. Anyway, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, this game is the best looking game this generation so oh. far. Oh. So far. Okay, okay. And I know it makes Microsoft sick to their stomach that they had them there after they did oh, Quantum Break. Yeah. And they did not scoop them. Yeah. yeah. I know it wasn't Phil's uh, position at that time. Right. If they double back now to try to scoop them, the level of how much you got to pay for these dudes, yeah. it's different now. Um, but they're worth it. Whatever they're asking for, <clears throat> that $3 billion, whatever Bungie got, <clears throat> give it to them. Because this is this is where you're deficient at. Yeah, right, this, you, this you is good just at, one. Yeah, 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 you good at multiplayer games. You you're good at that. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. These guys got what you are deficient at, and then you can have Jason Ronald and his squad mm -hmm. sit down and craft the next machine oh, around man. their ideas mm. and their tech, how they are working their tech, and I'm guaranteeing you at the way that they're moving you will have triple a low cost games mm -hmm. at a highest fidelity way above everybody else mm -hmm. and and this will give you that little genre that you're missing yeah and they're, they're not they're necessary and, but and also it, play mario one and, and in your defense um digital foundry did the uh, uh the breakdown with the versions and yeah. they're saying that the uh, xbox version is utilizing mesh shaders and digital foundry is also saying that mm -hmm. that could be the the real definition generation definer as it goes on. Like the, well, the yeah, whole well, RDNA two, it, it seemed like the, the tools, remember everything was like, yo, yeah. when is it going to happen? So well, like, apparently now. this is yeah, the game that, yeah, you know, that it, it, yeah. they're, sh they're showcasing a difference in the Yeah, I saw the PlayStation 5 struggling. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, see, see, that's, see, Cog is different. Uh -huh. Cog, Cog is gonna say nice stuff like you know this is the different, <laughs> and he's being nice. He he's learned this from you know hanging out with other people. Oh my but, god! But, but are you uh, implying? Uh, are you implying you know, this LSM fam yeah, jargon? Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh -huh. how I do it? How I do it? How you do it is? Yeah, PlayStation was struggling, <laughs> and this is the, the the reason why is because they don't got mesh shaders. Okay, right? so. All right, guys. So this is how it goes. Digital Foundry outed you guys, and I saw the faces. Yo, shout out to my boy John Letterman. Yeah. But when they were saying so, 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 so this is <laughs> why are you trying to act like they're sad for the for hey, the yo, comparison and, and, loss. And the, the, the face was kind of crazy. Whoever did the edit, I don't know if it was for Tango, whoever, yeah. whoever did the edit, it was the best edit that I've seen. <laughs> and, and, and this, they found out that that PlayStation Five just was an underpowered hype <laughs> machine, but. The pro is coming, and y'all can get some machines in the box. Because <laughs> it don't look good for you guys. And if all the games going forward use mesh shaders. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Yeah, do your homework or you not having mesh shaders. <laughs> <laughs> the RDNA 2 fight begins. Has been it, yes, yes. Said it's big messy. That's it. So I was having fun with my mesh shaders. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, <laughs> we have the gaming ninja himself, the Shinobi, Lord Cognito, spread that relative to the Roman IOP, not telling you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Shout out to Defining Duke, and shout out to Maddie. we're talking about. We had this fun thing, we call it booty calls. <laughs> we yeah. like, now he's in, he's in pocket there, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's going to be able to take uh, more control of certain studios and the whole structure, and Sarah Bond and that whole bit. Shout out to The Last Word. We had a mock funeral service for events that we may be talking about later. Oh, uh, that was cool. Shout out to Scarrow, shout out to Jarv, Jarv, Mano Destra. A lot of the Destiny community came through. They wanted to hear what we had to say. So it was really cool. And then for me, surprisingly, I've regressed. I haven't been playing a lot of the new stuff. And I just got to be real, so, bro, when, when Tekken shows something new, the yeah. kid in me just comes out. And I don't know if you saw the latest character reveal. Yes. I did. Oh, you not uh, feeling my man, Victor? He's, he's, uh, oh, you right, not so it, it, he's, voiced, he's voiced by Vincent Cassell, right? So that's cool. <laughs> they, got, they got a power actor to voice him. But I just don't like, I, I've never been the biggest fan of guys with weapons. Weapons. Okay, no, fair. In, fair. In Tekken. Fair, fair. I got you. Yeah. And, and I did see some feedback from the Tekken hardcore. Like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about him with the Glock and the, and the yeah, thing yeah. and the sword. And the, yeah. I, I, fair enough. 
I just thought the character was was cool. And first of all, like Paris really needed something. Like Paris was like, France was like, yo, when we getting one for us? Like, cause yeah, now yeah, Tekken yeah. is so big, it's yes. so international that if you don't see your country, like you feel away now. You like feel you know away now. Yeah, you so, it's yeah. true, it's so true. to see him and and the Reverend, and I didn't know dude from um, you know, I forgot his real name. What was the act, actor's real name? Vincent Cassell. Vincent yeah. Cassell. I didn't know he was a gamer and a hardcore Tekken fan. Mm-hmm. So when I see King, the reason why uh-huh. it, was, it was a goal for me. <clears throat> Remember when I did my 40th and I had you all come through? Yeah. Remember I when saw I the came suit. through with the, the suit, silver yes. surfer? I came yeah. through with the silver <clears throat> surfer three piece. Sh- this yeah, man, yeah. He, he stole my drip. My whole yep. job. I'm going I'm to do who who rocked it better. I'm going to put my joint yeah, yeah, up. Do that, do that. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm going to put it up. Because I was like, and then with the Unreal Engine 5 and you seeing all the yep. detail. And, and, like, and the detail and it, and it glimmers and it shines. I, I, didn't, I didn't know how I felt about the sword and the gun thing. Mm. And But you know me right now. I'm trying to like stay away. Yeah, I Because I, I want the game. So bad. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm so, so that's what it is. And it's like I'm fiend. So I'm forced to play seven and, and, and tighten up and and see what's going. So I've been really doing that, and obviously I touched Juice, Juice Long. I've been touching that. And I, I, I definitely feel that. And like I said, Saul, when you go farther, you'll see. Saul, mm-hmm. read the chat because you ain't read the chat. Yo, he go. We gonna get to I, it. I'll, I'll he, get to. I, I've seen. To. <laughs> yeah, no, and I like. I don't like you being able to see stuff and not seeing stuff. I don't like that. <laughs> well, everything it, all in due time. I was, <laughs> yeah, <that's crazy. laughs> but yeah, little buddy in the back, he definitely it opens everything up. And what happens is. The, you're able to manipulate the world differently and yeah. you'll see what a climb what I like saw of is how mm-hmm. he puts that little what is it the pipe to stabilize yourself with a rope oh yeah but, that's another thing yeah you have to that you go from place to place and you and, yes. and basically you know uh there's free soloing right which, yes. which, is, which is using nothing yes. and then when you're using ropes you're you're sort of uh you know, every couple, whatever mm-hmm. feet or whatever, you're kind of stabilizing yourself. And right, something it's hammered into the into, into the, the thing. The but what I like is when you're do you're doing that and you side run the yes. wall. Mm-hmm. That is a it is a, it's just a feeling. It's a simple game, but it's just I thought the control actually felt intuitive, like climbing. Yes, and then yes. unlike Breath of the Wild, where let's be honest, people get mad when Zelda's and then he stops and then the, the stamina. Me, you're like, damn, I don't gotta go. I gotta go cook some food and I gotta do mm-hmm. something. But what I like with this is, yeah, it's an overall stamina meter. Right. It does decrease over time, but if you hold still, you can get some back. You can get some back, exactly. And I if like rest, that. If yes. you rest, yeah. So that part is fair. So anyway, that's pretty much it on the end. And the, uh, Attic knows there's a VR game we, we can't talk about just yet that uh, we were okay. rocking. But uh, yeah, that's been pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to Super Chats. We're going to do uh, Log now. What are we doing? Okay, let me do let me do super chat. Yeah, I'm gonna start chats. with one last week that we I read on the initial run before we had to cut out and start mm-hmm. over. So I want to uh, read this one. It was from Sith Lord. So I'm gonna okay. read this. Um, it says, "It's times like these that I appreciate you guys and Lord Beefy." <laughs> I recently had a <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I recently had a friend pass away, so I'm oh. hoping King can help turn this frown upside down. Oh, so we so. did we did read it, but we read it on the first part of the podcast that is in the ether now. So yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, so, for sure. Rest, rest in, peace. in peace. For sure. We get some uh, laughs today. That's a that's a lot of pressure you just put on me though. Okay. But, mm-hmm. but I think I, I got you though. What's up, Attic? All right. I, I've been trying to like use this like thought thing. Mm-hmm. Look, uh I if if I do it right. Mm-hmm. Our, our teespring should pop up in the chat <laughs> <laughs> if you do it right I mean, yeah. if, I, if i do it wrong yeah i just saw i, I swag i saw swag yeah yeah i saw that i saw the twitter though i saw the twitter go up before i was like all right okay pick up some swag right, so the, the swag's not working i don't know uh, oh, we'll figure yeah. it out we'll, we'll, professional podcast we'll all the time out. exactly shout <laughs> <laughs> out to professionalism professionalism and, and, and then and then before we move if, on, also, oh, uh, are you, all we have to do is read the super chats for fifteen seconds, okay? Like you can't expect professionalism from me when you guys ain't. <laughs> no, no, not you. I, I, it's a joke internally. That I do it, Maddie. Yeah, that, what we all do know, off the rail. This is an attack on you. You good? You good? <laughs> you good? They believe me. You good? Yeah, trust me. I'm just joking at all of us. All right, there it goes. Oh, there it go. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. hit the link. I like. I like. See if the link works. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I like I like how Attic figuring everything out for something for later. Hey, yo, stick around, <laughs> stick around in the show. Yeah. We got something incredible at the end. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Hey, King, 
King, King has started a special project. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Dude, my, uh, no snitching, no snitching, no snitching. I, I was going to go somewhere else with it as a joke, yeah. but I'm not going to go there. Yeah, this attic, attic is nasty. Moving on. OnlyFans link later oh, on in the chat. Oh, uh, yeah, See, yeah. He said it, not me. He said <laughs> attic, attic is nasty. Attic yeah, trying to promote your DMs. You can promote yeah. your side hustle on your own uh, time. Yeah. You know how he like to do it, the door open. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the only way. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. The only way to fly. Pause. <laughs> Move it on. <laughs> Don't open it face down. Yeah, <laughs> too much. All right. Uh, and also, I want to shout out uh, Lord uh, D Padrao, aka Lord Snail Killer, uh, uh, hooking up uh, one of the lords with with a real cool. Uh, Little uh, Tekken yeah. uh, collector's edition Yo. as as a sign a sign of love as yes. a sign of sort of a kind of like a well mostly love from the community because mm -hmm. of the type of uh it's for Cog and, yes. and 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 the type of year that Cog has had appreciate uh, he just wanted to show a little love especially for you know how passionate Cog is about Tekken so yeah. uh yeah he ordered something for him and it's really beautiful beautiful gesture and it's a cool thing and I guess and it will arrive uh, when the game launches mm -hmm. next month no mm -hmm. in two months we have much two love months. that is super appreciated again thank you so much it means it means a lot Okay, let me get into these super chats that are oh, very, oh yeah, very, very messy. Woo! Very you messy. Got stuff there for you. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we got the homie ACG with the twenty dollars super chat. Keep you. up the good work. Enjoy your Sunday, you as well, brother. Keep up the work. You, you, you're yeah. killing it. Killing shout it. out, shout out to um, ACG giving everybody else a out trying to get out with where we're with. Nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only he got out. <laughs> oh my Not y'all, Spider Man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He, he he who said it first it wins, and the rest of y'all know there's no wins for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Doctor Strange Love five dollars super go. chat. Okay, it, it, it hasn't started yet. <laughs> but oh. she shuts down my precious The Last of Us factions because of player retention and stickiness. Yet they can't even maintain that with their own game. <laughs> Ironic, yes. Wow. <laughs> the yes. irony is is evident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll no, talk. you can't we'll do. You can't work on everybody else's <laughs> homework and expect to finish your own. Well, I don't like care you, what nobody it's, well, it's like you said. It's like <laughs> it's sabotaging all other games. Yeah, like, oh, that's a hot <laughs> idea. You know, that ain't going to work. Yo, that shit is hot. How you think Fortnite got to where it is? They looked, exactly. they, they, yo, they looked at PUBG and was like, oh, world? Yo, yo give, them, give them the old you, engine. <laughs> you, 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 you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. it, it, Fortnite is literally getting back on top from just showing old content. Yep. It, it, oh, it's that's like, right. They're going like back they, to the OG they, right now. They are doing what they I think Bungie should take like a huge lesson here. Mm. <laughs> like the old content not being stripped away is actually helpful, mm. isn't it? Like, yeah. People want to play the original stuff. No, mm. well, the way Epic does it, like, and I'm not gonna lie on Fortnite because I don't like how the storefront looks right now, right? Because mm. the storefront is very basic now. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son is like, I said, where the rest of the storefront? He said, oh, no, that's how it was in the beginning. I said, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to going to the store and having a variety of things mm -hmm. that I can pick. Now in the OG storefront, it's just one little page. This is what it is for the day. Get down or get a uh, lay down. And I'm like, nah, I'm, I don't like this right here. So mm -hmm. that's one part y'all could have just left in the bushes, B. I'm going to keep that a buck with you. But other than that, they they understand the pulse of the culture. I don't know who they got over there, what type yeah. of, of kids that they got in there, mm -hmm. but you can tell it's fresh new ideas and they aren't afraid to mess up. They just aren't. Shout out to Bill Stillwell and the team over there at Epic. Absolutely. Yeah, true. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yo, I saw him playing hardcore too. Oh, he goes in. Yeah, like sure. Bill be playing for yeah, sure. He gets it in. Good to see Then we have a Nintendo on the Otaku, $5 Super Chat. Anyone concerned about the power of the Switch 2 should watch Digital Foundry's analysis of what the successor's Tegra Yo. T239 could do in terms of performance. Ooh. I put that in the chat. Y'all saw that? Yeah, yeah you did, but mm -hmm. I get a chance to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. I, no, it's a video. It is. Yo. That Switch 2? Yeah. 
coming in hot. So. I hope so. Well, they they know full well that they there's no reason for them not to care about third party at this point. Like it's just you're gonna get Call of Duty. Might as well make it as good as possible because mm -hmm. you will be the only game in town that, apart from like the ROG or something, they can mm -hmm. play that portably. Yeah. Why not make it the best experience it can be? So hey, I, that that's fantastic. Do yeah. can you do do you think that the fact that they were able to secure certain deals with Microsoft lend to them upping the power in the box? Because let's say, right, you going in and you're not knowing if you have in third party support, then mm -hmm. you just, you know, craft it to whatever you're doing. But now that you know for a fact that you're going to have third party support, well, this you is, just up the specs. This is the first machine without a water, right? So yeah. this, is, this is new Nintendo. This is new Nintendo. And even though up until now, they haven't really showed that they're doing anything necessarily different, except for letting the kids come out and play and right. and, 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 and really have put their imprint on these new games so maybe the same holds true for you know the console. Their, their console and what they think about in the mm -hmm. console space so i guess we'll we'll find out but it, it does not make any sense to have call of duty on there to be able to have it natively not a cloud thing only right you're going to have call of duty yeah and not have the best possible machine to run that portably when you know that the hardcore if that game runs a 60 on that you're going to have plenty of people playing it, buying two copies of that game. It just happens. Yeah. It's COD. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I, to me, uh, hopefully the powers that be finally moved into the 21st century. Like, look, <laughs> there's, no, there's no reason to, 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 to leave these third-party games out of our thinking. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason for it. So I, I hope that is the case. I really do. Mm -hmm. Um, so then we, gotta, we have gotta we have Nintendo on the Otaku five dollars to chat again. <laughs> it's crazy y'all have Exomeca in the intro, and we don't even know if that game will ever come out. Yeah, yeah, I've been <laughs> waiting for that game. I'm mad. I was yeah. hyped for that game. You, you know, I thought it, it was probably a, a pretty demo, and they still haven't crafted the game. game around. Yeah, probably just conceptual yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, take their time with it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then we have Cedric H. Let's put the crust in the chat for Cedric H. Gifting 10 ILP memberships. Oh, salute. Thank you. Appreciate that. Love. Yeah, blessings. Then we got Sin Vendetta, $10 super chat. Ah. Love Attack on Titan and can't wait to watch the final episode. It was also it also was released yesterday on my birthday, which was ah. awesome. Great birthday gift. Yeah, Happy born day, That's Sin. what's up. Yo, Stone. how many people watch Kenjin Asura? The third episode is out, and the kid binge watched it, and I'm about to do a reaction to that on R and R. Go watch up. Attack on nice. Titan. Don't watch that. Movie. Oh damn! Yo, yo, you know, <laughs> so you know, I, I, yo, I sat there and said, you know, I bigged up your crap. Like, <laughs> I, I bigged up your whack anime. Yo, now he trashed yo, you. I, I, I bigged up your fluff machine. My <laughs> joint get eight episodes and it's hardcore, hard hitting, and they drop them all in. Yo, they spread y'all out over 30, 20, 30 years. <laughs> get them at it. They, they led you. They led you down a dark road. Because, because, because they know all good. They know all good things you have to wait for. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> you like to get it bang, bang. Anyway, so they flipped you mm. on your stomach and on oh your back. You heard God. the stuff Time that they on the doing stomach talk. Now, now, over here, and we don't do that, that <laughs> pancake flipping on you, yo. <laughs> we, get down to the, <laughs> we get down to the nitty gritty of it. You understand? Quick, you gotta, fast, and easy. You got to dip down laughing. When, when your stuff crashes Netflix, then we could talk. Ooh, he ain't even on the level. <laughs> he broke yo, the I, internet. I, Yo, you broke Tackle it because you had people starve with the Popeye's <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they finally said, yo, we got juice. They was like, oh. <laughs> Thank God it's over. <laughs> Time on Iron Lords Anime. <laughs> Tune in to R&R &R with the Lords, where you too can find out about all your anime needs. <laughs> all That's things right. anime. Yes, That's right. all things anime. There, and we, and not we on Sunday. Another, another death battle this week. <laughs> Then we have <laughs> Little Conquer, two dollars. <laughs> little, the little one. It's ain't the big. It's ain't the big homie. Little Conquer. <laughs> little Conquer. <laughs> little Conquer came through. <laughs> Now Xbox needs to jump on that Crystal D quick. Oh, <laughs> whoa! I love, I love how they take like stuff that we're actually making a conversation, and just make it mad perverted. Yeah, just no mad. Reason. It just pause no worthy way. for no reason. <laughs> and what's funny is people would know how relevant that conversation is if they weren't long time listeners. Facts, facts, salute. 
Continue. There we got Hollywood rules member for 21 months, Lord Silver. Uh, the murder went down. Are we referring to Sony, sir? Happy Sunday. It, 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 it was an actual actual murder. <laughs> Happy yes. Sunday, my NYC West Virginia cousins. Happy to hear King as well. And you guys are all feeling better. Salute, yeah. salute. Much love. <laughs> then we got Platano J, member Ow. for 31 months, Lord Bronze. Dímelo, Lords. Happy Sunday. Salud. Yeah, salute to you. Uh, Dímelo, Platano. Que lo que. Then we got Craig Hooligan, <laughs> gifted one ILP membership. Craig Hooligan Cold. doing the Lord's work as always. Spike. Appreciate you, brother. Hooligan's outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we have Shadow Blade with the $10 super chat. Blessed to the Iron Lords. Uh, much love for you guys. Also, I told King David, he reminded me of the great general Gao Yu. Gao Yu. Yes. From my favorite game, Dynasty Warriors. Man of honor and wisdom and courage. Yes. Thank you, brother. Sir. Yes. That used to be one of our favorite games. Yeah. yeah the Dynasty real Warriors. Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. Clouds yeah. come down. Warriors. Clouds yeah. come down. We, we was fight. It was a fighting game. At fighting first, game. Yeah, we was. played it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. that. It was yeah, really good graphically. Then we have Robert Kellett, $2 Super Chat. Can't believe Bungie is seeing the black dog. <laughs> we'll see. Buddy. We'll see. Buddy. Robert Kelly, what's again to the last chat? What's your game of the year so far, Lords? Anything extra meaty or beefy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> some beefy situations. Attic, what's yeah. yours? Um, my game of the year. Uh, even though I haven't beat it, it's Baldur's Gate. Baldur's. Like, I, I, yeah, like you just like it because of the perverted stuff, bro. <laughs> no, I, I like it because of the freedom you have. Oh, well, I'll game. find out November second. Well, I mean, choose, uh, you, December second. Yeah, you don't know what day it comes out. Yeah, you frauded. Whenever it comes out, I play it because I'm not playing it on that unstable box. But once, that, if it's, that, once if it's not on Game Pass, ooh, who said no? Nah, I'm buying that. What's oh, up with you? Buying it? Oh. you, you, you <laughs> yo, uh, you, yo, you got me messed up, bro. Like <laughs> at the end of the show, y'all figure it out what's gonna happen. But Baldur's Gate it will be in that conversation too at the end of the show. Y'all gotta stick around. Oh, okay, yeah. what is your game of the year? Uh, oh, it's um Starfield. Okay. Uh, it, but in my heart is Spider Man. Like. Ooh. I'm a I'm, I'm a Spider Man dude, like Spider Man mm. too. I'm a, I'm a Spider Man guy, and I'm always gonna battle for our stories yeah. that sustained me as a kid. And they did Craven so well. I mean, the bugs kind of hurt it, but mm. my single player story driven narrative game of the year, the best story for me mm. is Spider Man because they crafted a story that we knew, yeah. and they flipped it on its head and and gave us something different and when you can do that when mm -hmm. you can impress comic book fans mm -hmm. then you got something special so my story of the year is spider-man but my game of the year mm -hmm. is starfield because there's no game like starfield mm -hmm. right now yeah, for, no doubt uh soft with yours he's right quick. there Early, there's please. definitely starfield is one of a tie kind time of a game yeah it, it's mine it's just it's literally it, it, i gotta it, go by the game i play the most that's giving me the most enjoyment it, it, and it's it's hard to like truly judge or review starfield because there's not a game like it on the market either mm -hmm. yeah so what's yours just early um up until this point i haven't really finished a whole lot but i would have to say it, it's street fighter 6 for me wow you standing on it i must yeah. like they really they brought street fighter back man five mm. remember five was you can't you cannot force esports onto a game ever. It's the community that defines it, right? And they, mm -hmm. they came out Street Fighter Five. It was super bare bones, no story mode. Yep. They were just counting on it being this phenomenon uh, in terms of the you know esports and the competitive mm -hmm. scene. And it wasn't. And it what it did was exclude people out of Street Fighter in a way, not to mention the fact that it was a PlayStation exclusive and you couldn't get it yeah, anyplace yeah. else. <laughs> but Shout out it, to market deals. It, ex it excluded people out of out of Street Fighter in a way that 4 didn't when 4 brought yeah. it all back. Yep. And then they went back and they made it even simpler for the new guy to jump in. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, they finally did some story stuff that it, it's not Mortal Kombat levels, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's corny and stupid for Street Fighter. But I think mechanically that game is amazing. Mm -hmm. The only thing to me that I think may usurp it is if that Alan Wake really hits. You yeah, know, I sit Alan down Wake, and, and really, so and really, and really give it its just due. So that's mm -hmm. really the only thing because I'm not going to be able to finish. It's just uh, Tears it's of the games. Kingdom yeah. and, and and you know and then I love Starf. I really, really, really love Starfield, but mm. I have not completed the story because I just I, I have a hundred hours in Starfield running around. And you've just been running around. Damn, Starfield just beat this. <laughs> 
sorry. Fool, it's not even that long. Foolishness is oh, what happened to him. Man. Oh, he ain't man. the only one. I ain't finished the story either. Oh, y'all yeah, gotta like, get that's the now, that's part of where I'm, really I'm going around up. getting I'm going around getting powers, and but the problem is is I'm I'm like the dog that be like oh yeah squirrel, squirrel. yeah I know yeah, I know it's like, that it's that type of game I get yeah, it mm -hmm. I, I get messed up really quickly I, I just know, my it's a shame because is like that. I just want y'all to finish <laughs> it so you can see what they've done story wise which is. Generally, mm -hmm. historically, not their strongest point. Not their strongest right. point. Yeah, but anyway, we gotta move. On. We gotta move. On. The story yeah. is kind of good. We got good flame in here so waiting for some reason. Oh yeah, I don't know why he's waiting. I saw. I saw. I don't know why he's here. Some, some must be some reason. Must yeah, be some yeah, important. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were gonna ask me what my game of the year was, but okay. I, I, I guess just for these guys. I know. I know. I know. This is your own. Mike, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lord Warframe. I know. I know. His game of the year is Halo. It's Halo. Okay. Yeah. He saw me posting about Halo. Lord Warframe. What is your game of the year? I bent my knee. All right. Lord's a gaming guy. <laughs> what is your game of the year so far for you? Octopath Traveler 2, anyways. Ooh, Octo oh, 2. Dude. There we go. Spread the word. I, I knew that. I, I knew it. Yeah, nah, he go hard. So guy. far, at least. I haven't, I haven't finished Alan Wake 2 yet. I really so. enjoyed Octopath Traveler 1. I still haven't played the second one. You, I'm not going to lie, dude. Just buy it on Steam or something. It is mm. worth it. I think I'll wait for it on next <laughs> at this point. <laughs> fair, enough. Enough. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so I'm going to get these super chats. We went behind. Okay, then we have. Hold on, uh, da, 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 I roll back a little bit. Hold mm -hmm. on a second. Oh, Zip Davis, five dollars super chat. Zip, Zip with the drip. drip. Zip with <laughs> the drip from KNN. Lars from Tekken will be the new head of PlayStation. <laughs> the fan base likes to be choked and dominated. Yo. It's a natural fit. Ooh wee. What is going on, Zip? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Zip the whip. Zip with the drip. Ah, then we have Doctor Strange. Yeah, five, here we go. Chat. Oh, you like climbing, Sob? Well, I got a long, meaty tower that'll test your skills. <laughs> Try not to climb it too fast or it'll erupt. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Stray's love is outside. Th thank you for your patronage. <laughs> you hey, did it, did it. Back to oh, you, Sob. Uh, we cannot have that conversation doing like how it just did. I was doing something right now, and I'm just sitting there like, I can't believe that man super chatted. <laughs> he paid good money to talk yeah, to his man. man. He, he wanted Sob to know he got something to climb. <laughs> you like climbing games? No, no. I got one oh, for you. Listen, we have, we, have, we have discourse around this subject now. Um, <laughs> following up. Let's play with each other's joysticks. Ooh, <laughs> oh, the battle for Saw's heart. <laughs> it ain't for my heart. They're battling. <laughs> yeah. uh, bro, uh, go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead and finish the super chats. Okay. Uh, I, I, the only thing I was going to say is that I am testing like the Streamlabs thing. So if you yeah. see yeah, we like, see you. Uh, spamming a little bit, it's it's not it's, me. Yeah. It's, it, it's Streamlabs. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. The only thing strange is that you think Saab will be climbing any meat tower other than mine. Yo. <laughs> Stick with Addict. I'm the only joystick for Saab. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> did it, did it. <laughs> There's a real life battle for Saab's <laughs> heart in here. Dude. Nah, it ain't battle for me, my, Paul. It's, a lot, it's my, very, it's a beefy competition my, for Saab. Oh, Pla place your super chat bets. It's, is it Dr. Is Stray Love or is it, is, or is it the family. income? <laughs> I can't have my just, family listen to this show. I'm just going to be, hey, I'm just gonna be honest with you, man. Your best bet is King because my girl will kill us both. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beefy competition. Solve the income. Come be the champion, the returning champion. Ain't nobody put me into that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> lot of meat on the that table. Is, the attic, like he, he attic got an only fan to solve like the climb meat. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. What a beefy competition. Blow for blow. <laughs> Pause, hey, yo. Blow for blow. Hey, yo. <laughs> Oh, there we got Robert Kelly went to get two dollars. chat. bless you for getting the pup king. Yes, she's adorable. Thank you. Yeah, wife, wife, he's sending me pictures. So she got cocoa face. Oh my god, <laughs> adorable. There we got the homie Hargy Chani. Five dollars super chat. Did someone say Alan Wake 2 Deluxe Edition Global Code? Oh, he's looking out for the community. If uh, you got this absolutely. code from Hargy, shout it out in the chat. Let us know. Let us know. Hargy. Yo, Hargy. Yo, from now on, don't throw the chat like, don't throw it like that. Make these guys earn it because <laughs> you got one guy that is scooping real quickly and I'm out. 
and then <laughs> out. Yo, let them stick around the whole show. Drop like a couple of letters here, a couple of letters there. Let them do the homework for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we have uh, Doctor Strange Love yet again. Ooh. Five dollars super chat. Why must we fight over Sav's love joystick? Instead, I propose an alliance. Oh. <laughs> Make this co-op experience and switch to dual analog joysticks for Sav. They trying to tag. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, so <laughs> Yo, they trying to tag team the they situation. They trying to make it a mob situation. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, it got way they, too beefy they, in here. They, they, they turned that into some type of bus. We that know what bus that is. Two analogs. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> There we have uh, the response. Yo, oh, it's still put, going. Somebody put dual anal logs. Yo, oh, whoa, 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 time, time. That's super pause worthy. Y'all oh out of pocket. Y'all gotta stop. I don't know who y'all are. <laughs> Continue, I don't even read the chats. Y'all crazy. Yo, somebody said they try to spit. I'm done. Spit roast. I'm done. That's crazy. Let's Move play along. with each other's joysticks. Too beefy. Five dollars. Roasting. Jazz. It's crazy. It shows how much you know about Saab. He's all about the single player selfish experience, <laughs> and I and I'm the Red Dead Redemption of playing with joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, he, I'm done. Yo. I'm done, bro. They going. Hard in the pink. <laughs> this, this is a fight. This is a fight. I've never seen the Doctor Strange love put his flag down. Like he's not trying to hear it. He's going yeah, once again. Blow. Thank, thank you all for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man been said, violated. No dip down says so. Is that local coach Kyle? <laughs> coach Kyle. <laughs> oh, we oh, good with the only, only, only. Yeah. Oh, we good with the super chat. No, we are not. Oh, we still. Oh, wow. Jets. Okay, good. We have Tyson Lewis, member for 23 months, Lord Bronze. Blue Samurai on Netflix is dope. It seems like a cog official. Also, Alan mm. Wake is fire. Yeah, I got to check that out. Got to check that out. Then we have Jonas the Dad, $2 super chat. This is for Addict. He needs a hug. <laughs> I guess the Addict needs a hug. Addict needs a hug, I guess. Then we have Dr. Strange Love yet again, $5 Jesus. super chat. I see how it is a joystick I offered you friend. I see how it is joystick. I offered you friendship <laughs> and you spat in my face. <laughs> we could have had shared Sob. Now I gotta make him all mine. You will rue the day. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this is turned into the Monica and the Brandy J. This is the boy is mine. This is <laughs> You need to give it up. The Sob is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, the solve battles. Mm -mm -mm. Tell the truth. There, there, we have, mm -hmm. <laughs> there we have Jish, two dollars in chat. <laughs> Epic needs to fix controller support for Alan Wake too. I was bugging out on okay. I mean, new PC, so yeah, I gotta see. Mm -hmm. So far, what I played, I had no issues, but mm -hmm. I um, had no controller issues. No, mm -hmm. but you playing on console. Yeah. You said how you try to shave you don't like? You said I try to <laughs> nah, You're yeah, playing yeah, on yeah. console. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. On. yeah, but you're console. playing with messed up controllers, <laughs> so you can't really play. <laughs> I, I, I I love how the the version that's not messed up. He tried to shame us for playing. <laughs> <laughs> but it is not messed up because it can't do all the hot stuff that the other person is. Oh, but the thing is, it can run, though. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yo, do, you just do you gotta, know, do you know you, what path tracing is, sir? No. no. But I, I know what a controller up and down, left, right means. <laughs> I, I, I know I can get to my objectives. <laughs> Let's go. Continue, though. Mind you. They all have the same PC that I have now. They just yeah, this they, is true. This is true. They just this they true. just that too scared. That N60 power. This is true. Yeah, this is true. We they, we, we, yeah. we like good controls. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Let me see. Da -da 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 -da. That lazy otaku five dollars super chat. This is how you know Saad Saab was a Chad in school. Men oh, and facts. women women fighting for him. Facts. <laughs> Listen, I know that boy since the third grade. He's been a problem. <laughs> I, I became you know, I, I, honestly I be I, well, you, I became yeah, a you, problem you, later. Became, on. You, you grew into it. you. You had your what, what is it when you growing? I forgot the story, but there's I, a, I, there, there was some growing pains there. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was official though. Once he blew up, it was over. 
There we go, Hargy Chani. Five dollars to the chat. Sob, give up. Set up your only sticks page for the community. <laughs> yeah. Only sticks. That's wild. <laughs> uh, there we messy. have Robert like, Kelly. called Only Stones page. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, this is, this is, we're doing it today. Oh, we're doing it today, <laughs> I see. acting like that's the most sus thing you've read today. <laughs> that was light. That was light. Yeah, yeah. That was light. Continue. <laughs> There we have Robert Keller, two dollar super chat. People looking too much into holes. God damn! Wow. wow yeah, wow. it's definitely Iron Lord Pause cast today. Pause cast today. Nah, that's what. That's because of Sovereign. Sovereign won't be what up I here. I do. On, I just arrived to do my job. Yeah, we gonna start calling you Juicy Pause. <laughs> yo. Right, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we gotta crazy. get a T-shirt because he do got a shirt with him playing with the joystick though. Oh. Like, remember? Oh, him? Yo, we don't got the shirt with you playing. Yo, you know what? What are you right, talking I got, about? I got you. Oh, nah, oh, we're not doing that. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got you. That's, that's, how, you. that's how beefy was created because yeah, yeah, of King's no, ideas. No, yo, yo, t shirt inbound. We got a t shirt coming. A t shirt coming. Since y'all want, y'all want, y'all want. Who want is my... wearing that? Who's going to wear that? I got to be right now. Yeah, that's how they got me. Right nah, y'all good, good. We T-shirt yeah. coming. Hold Just on. like how they got me. They was like, yeah, beefy needs to happen. And Graphic yeah, dog. joystick Graphic shirts you, coming. Dog. I defended you. Oh, you I, I, didn't feel, I didn't feel defended. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I'm hitting up graphic all I, right when, when, when I was being attacked and accosted by beef emojis and all this craziness, hey, ain't nobody stop and defend me. I was bullied into a persona. I'm calling Graphic God right now. <laughs> hey, I, I need some Lord Beefies in the chat right yeah, now. Yo, somebody said Beefy and Juice. I'm done. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Juicy Beef. Yeah, that's oh, great. Oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. Here we got uh, Sid Vendetta, $10 Super Chat. How y'all don't have a pause emote already? <laughs> emote is beyond me. That's true. We don't have a pause emote. That's to be fair, true. we, we, we kind of go into all the, the pause <laughs> jokes. Uh. Yeah. Salute to Sid. Then we have Gaming Forte, $10 Look Super at Chat. Savages, all this beef. Hey, King shit. Boo Boo. <laughs> Why did Hargy C put beef and, and bear hey, paws? Hey, Forte. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Hey, King Boo. Sorry, hey, King Boo Boo. And Clan IOP. Hey, My. Forte. Salute. <laughs> So your father Gucci, you better relax. Cog the leader to hold the beef movement. You need to relax. You need to relax yourself, sir. You need to. That was too much. That was too much. The question is: the question is, it hold the beef emote or is it hold your beef? Whoa! Oh, this is what I'm talking about, Adam. You always say, you yeah, he always got to gotta take it to the next level. He always yeah, got right. you do that. Then he got to spirit bomb the situation. <laughs> nah, First but you don't want to sleep with the door open, man. You always, always got to add extra layer of detail to it. <laughs> <laughs> extra sauce. Anyway, continue. So, Forte says, my run in D2 has ended. Mm. We've done many raids together, and I always cherish that. Their path forward message rubbed me the wrong way. Mm. This isn't Cap. Just disappointment. I feel you for it. Yo, we'll come over to it. Fortnite. We got a game for you. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I got a game for you, my friend. I got yeah, a Lord, game. Lord, Lord Warframe Warfare. got something for yeah, you. It's called Fortnite. It's called Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> it, it damn sure ain't wi Wireframe or whatever. Oh, that thing stop is it, Messi. <laughs> that Good. game has been struggling for years. <laughs> it's, doing, it's actually doing, it's actually doing really good. Yeah, yeah, I know. It took forty years to gotcha. get there. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, so we never gonna get through the damn we, first topic. Uh, we're caught up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just, he said <laughs> certain people are here that I have to set up. You can't just invite me like normally. No, nah, we just can't invite <laughs> you. Know. We, we got to let you out. <laughs> that, was, that was wrong. That was wrong. That was wow. wrong. I apologize. Wow. I apologize. That was messy. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's that time of the month with Lords of Gaming.net, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We out here killing it. Blessed to have some of the greatest writers going on in the talent is the talent pool has been really cool this year to see a lot of the content coming up and uh we're in the middle of a say like a recycling of things so stay on the lookout for some stuff that's coming there but um you know we got to celebrate we got to celebrate one particular lord who went above and beyond in the month of october killing it with the news articles killing it with just anime he, he's just i mean he's, it's so many things you do to try to it's hard to quantify what you don't do but um, yeah, man, we we, we salute your, your your content and obviously the consistency with editing. Of course, you know what I mean. One of the best editors in the business, Lord Flame. What is going on? Congratulations on editor of the month. 
Thank you. And obviously, I want to shout out the team because yes. obviously, without them, I can't do literally anything on the site because, you know, mm-hmm. what's there to edit if they're not submitting it? But, um, <laughs> sh- sh- but I mean, what, what I've seen this month has been pretty awesome. Like, Gene's playing a lot of games in preparation for our Game of the Year awards next month, yes. as well as Chris. He's basically been doing a, like a lot of articles in between. So he's up to hooking up. Ooh. Actually, me. Yeah, he's Chris. kind of breaking up. No, no, you we breaking up now. a little bit. Really? Up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, now it came back, but it was breaking up a little bit. But you're good now. I think you're good now. Hey, we're good. Was yes. I breaking up? Or... Okay. Yeah, you were breaking up, but now you're good. Okay, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're. I'll just start over. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris has been bringing his uh, laptop to work to actually make a lot of articles, and it's yeah. actually been pretty. It's been. That's a that's some dedication right there. I, yeah, I, yep. cool. That's why he's our scrap of the month, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Seen some a lot. We've seen some returning writers, Lord Edge, as well as Jason Rose, who made that mm-hmm. uh, made a couple of spicy articles for us earlier in the year. He's coming yes. back and yes. bring it back. I love that. And Lady April came back talking yeah, about Mortal, great Mortal Kombat. Liu Kang. If for people who beat both uh, Mortal Kombat, she had a great uh, Liu Kang kind of like post, you know, Mortal Peace. That's it's it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so just just shout out to the team in general, man, and Ty as well. Like yes. they're doing a great job as the community manager, as well as covering everything they can from BlizzCon and no, oh, that's me too. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> messy, messy. So I want to say thank you to them because they're an awesome team to work with, and we got some interesting stuff coming up. So. I appreciate you, brother. It's you've been really again a blessing. The consistency is what I like. The energy that you bring, obviously, helping out on the editorial staff, and again the commitment to Warframe Wayfinder. You have a great review of a Cocoon up right now that people yep. are sleeping on. That game, I believe, is from one of the guys the half <clears> that made Inside. And um, people, I've seen Game Pass right now. That's a great one. But continue the great work. And I do want to stick around because we do have one more award that we like you, you alluded to that we got to give out, which is obviously, you know, Scribe of the Month. And again, with October, this kid's been killing it. Absolutely tear with the, again, articles, board games, and of course, his beloved Ayudin Chronicle. You know what I'm saying? So we have to present the latest winner of the Scribe of the Month to C Unit. Chris Jones in the building. He couldn't be here, but he left us a message. You know, you know how the MJ and Log that do. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're gonna play that right quick. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Lloyd Chris, aka the Michael Jordan of Lognet. Just want to give a big shout out to the team, Lordsgaming.net, Iron Lords Podcast. We're all here doing the Lord's work, bringing you the best possible media, tech, gaming, all that great content for you guys viewing pleasure. It's been a rough couple months for me for the real work life, but I want to give a big shout out to all the editors that work with me quite a bit, uh, putting out articles to be edited at 3 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, 2 p.m. Um, whenever I was able to get that stuff out, the editors were always on it. And uh, given, the, obviously, the great advice that they do, big shout out to our writing team, putting out the great content we have. we got lots of new writers coming in, doing their thing. Obviously, Iron Lord's podcast, Lord Cognito, Mr. 24-7, traveling the traveling the globe all around the globe cognito goes especially with the recent happenings big shout out to cognito showing his uh, passion his dedication everything else obviously sav king addict always putting in hard work stuff behind the scenes a lot of people don't get to see obviously everybody loves uh general king david so i just want to say how much i appreciate them appreciate the writing team and uh some special stuff coming in up a couple months hopefully it comes through and uh I'll definitely be at PAX East, so be there with the Lords. If you see us, come up and say hi. Don't be afraid, and uh, you'll be seeing me again, of course. Salute. Again, salute, Lord C. Unit Scribe of the Month. Salute, Lord Flame, Editor of the Month. Absolutely killing. Again, appreciate you guys. We really got things cooking over there at LordsOfGaming.net. More plans. And also, I just want to put this out there. We're doing a call to arms. It's going to be coming up real soon. Obviously, uh, me and Flame talked about it recently at the editor's meeting. My moon the team. So, again, we're going to be looking for a news article. People who want to uh, just put out news articles as well as uh, potential vid- video, uh, video editing for reasons <laughs> that we will get into later so yeah um look out for that on the lords of gaming.net twitter at lords gaming net look out for that and also ilp will uh, signal boost that 
But again, if you're looking to get into the game as far as just getting your child's with writing and you're looking to do, if you're good with news pieces or interested in that, please reach out and go to thelordsgaming.net, go to the uh, contact us section and interested in writing for us and we will take an applications there. So salute. And again, Flynn, thank you for pulling up as much appreciate Thanks for having it. me but i do want to add one thing to the call to arms yes please just letting everybody knows if you're applying and you just want to write about anything that you see like news wise it doesn't have to be the most important stuff that's happening right now if you mm-hmm. just see a game that you're personally interested in like i've covered a lot of smaller games in my time as mm-hmm. an editor and even before that a writer so you don't have to cover like uh you don't have to like look for the most you know popping off news you can just yep. cover whatever you want we don't exactly. have any restrictions yeah, absolutely. What you're passionate about is what we care about. So that's yep. the that's the deal. Any oh, oh AKW like the video editing. All right, you know what to do. Lords of Gaming.net. Contact us. I saw it. Hold on, let me get you that right. link. Get you that link, bruh. Hey, see y'all have a great day and uh, Gaming.net contact because uh, you know I wasn't gonna about that. Hold so on, let me get you that link. Have a great day, get y'all. You- no doubt. Have a good one, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna put this out Thanks, there S- just a signal boost for those who are interested. This is the official link. You already know. All right. Any other super chats or we can move on? I think we're good for now. All right, cool. So that is on me. We have uh we got the Patreon question. Actually, we do the uh the poll first. Uh last week's poll results are in. The people have spoken to the question with the recent reports regarding internal shuffling within PlayStation. Which direction do you think Sony should ultimately take for their long term success? The winner of the three way poll at forty seven percent of the vote, fairly close, was Sony needs to evolve and have games as a service in their portfolio to survive group coming in at second at a very close 41 percent of the vote was sony should drop the aggressive games as a service push and stick to the experiences they need to best and in last place at only 10 percent of the vote was i don't care sony and bungie still owes me my damn factions games group shout out to all those who participated uh lord attic man the people want sony to stick with games as a service they must be trolling <laughs> it was close I mean- you clearly, you know, King, King, did you did you tweet this any? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> why, why are you trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> are you implying that someone had influence on the voting? Uh, I, I'm not implying. I'm just saying, you know. Sounds like inside A tweet people. from the right person. You know, definitely. Because <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure King, you know, King, King the general for a reason. You know, he, he don't want a PlayStation 6. It's the quickest way to do that. <laughs> I know. I, it's not that I don't want a PlayStation 6. I, like Sony, would love a PlayStation 6. Six. But at the end of the day, <laughs> sometimes you just can't make it past the finish line. It's just not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. the punches get too strong. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I think this was a Patreon question we missed last week. Correct me if I'm wrong, Attic. Um, Benjamin Amaru. Hey, Lords, another blessed Sunday is upon us. How important is it to have played through control and quantum break to fully grasp the connections to the Alan Wake universe? Cheers and have a fantastic podcast. He said he'll be there bright and early. This is when he thought um, Jaffe was going to be there. And he said um, he wanted to ask Jaffe, uh, talk about the devs, the most amazing miniseries made or the Y files living in a simulation episode. That would be awesome. Apologies that we missed this. But again, how important is it to you guys as far as, you know, the connections with a universe with Alan Wake, Quantum Break, Control. How important is that? I don't to care. You? you don't care about it. Yeah, that. you asked the wrong person there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, they're all interconnected now, right? Even uh, yeah. what, I'm, what mm-hmm. I'm hearing, even Max Payne um, and the possibility maybe of Quantum Break. So, uh, so I would say directly to play Alan Wake, play uh, Alan Wake 2, play Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. Um, there is you, you'll if you play control there's it, it alludes to it there's things that you find in the world that allude to it and obviously there's dlc that has to do with alan wake that isn't necessarily uh imperative that you play before playing alan wake 2 but if you haven't played alan wake 1 i would say yes or at the very least an in-depth sort of uh you know playthrough of it that kind of explains the story beats and all that stuff if you don't want to go back and play alan wake um, there is the remaster, so you can play it in a little bit higher uh, fidelity, higher frame rate, stuff like that. If you don't want to go play the old 360 version, but I would say story-wise, yeah, you want to be, you want to know what happened in Alan Wake going into this one. 
No doubt. King, who started Alan Wake uh, 2, how do you feel about the importance of a connected universe between games? I think it's necessary. I think um, stuff like that allows you more flexibility in your worlds because once you have this cohesive thread, and we've seen Marvel do it, and we see other companies try to do it, uh, once you can get that connectivity in, those people that like control probably don't know about Alan Wake. Mm. And they might bleed over. And those people that know about Alan Wake probably don't know about control. And me personally, and my hope, my heart of hearts, my hope of hopes is, you know, Microsoft can get a hold of these dudes and they can put a uh, quantum break into that. Uh, yeah, break is, they, they're saying there's a reference. They're right, it, it's a reference, but I want it to be oh, connected. Okay, more. You okay. understand? Yeah. Because yeah. that then, that gives me absolute hope that Microsoft, um, can can not i don't really i don't want control over remedy mm -hmm. what i want is a, a actual home and finances given mm -hmm. towards remedy right so they don't look like they're hurting when it comes to production when it comes to putting the games out when they want them mm -hmm. i think a broader eye on their games i think this game itself alan wake 2 itself is their one mm -hmm. is the one that they needed because alan wake 1 was a little niche Control was out there, but it didn't hit the critical success I thought it needed. Mm -hmm. I know Alan Wake too will. Okay. No, fair enough, fair enough. Um, you know, I like them. I think it's dope what they're doing. You know, for the people who are really playing, I know shout out to Rand, Ebontis, Travis, those three, you know, especially Travis, because I know he's pretty hard on certain games. And I think prior he had Baldur's Gate as his game and he put a tweet out recently that it's not even close. That Alan yeah. Wake 2 is his He said it year. this morning on BitCast. He yeah. said it. He was like, this is my game of the year. Facts. Rand said it <clears> early. <throat> now, Rand, I was like, I know he's such an Alan Wake guy. So at first, yeah. I, was like, I wasn't sure if it's just, you know, when you're a fan or something. Yeah. But no, nah, are, these are people I respect. And, you know, I will get around to it. But I like that they're doing a connected universe. To King's point, I think that the relationship is getting better. I heard the relationship wasn't that great during the Quantum Break days. That was yeah. before Phil or whatever. But I did hear it's they're trying to improve it. And obviously, the uh, showcase... We were all wondering why was Alan Wake 2 there, so to speak. So maybe right. that's the olive branch as far as getting relationships better. But it is what it is. That's all I got. So we going to get into these topics. We good on the uh, Super Chat? That, so we, no new Patreon question, right? Oh, no new, no new ones. I didn't see okay. it. The yeah, stuff yeah. that I saw at it, correct me if I'm wrong, was a lot of R&R &R questions. So I didn't want to read that, and I felt that was for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About R&R, &R, it's going through a change to just... Mm -hmm. Just uh, bear with us. <laughs> yeah. So let me know. If, if, if in future, if you guys want me to read the R and R joke, they were anime specific. But I didn't know if that. Was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that. We like okay, that. But I thought that'd be R and R. -R, 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 -R but see, the thing is, okay, okay, so R and R, we can't read it because it's a tape show. Oh, I got you. So yeah. Future, so okay. yeah, the, the, yeah, the conversations so, okay. could be had here. You know, well, I know we, you don't want to extend it because so, so, <laughs> I look like he got stuff that he want to do today. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it is football, and we it's two two thirty, and we didn't get the first topic. But I mean, we could do. I do understand that, but I do understand. Oh, fair, the, fair. They the, pay yeah, their money. No, no, no. They the, pay the, pay, the round. The paying customer deserves just, to get just his money. Go ahead and ask, ask them real quick, and we'll, 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 all right, all right. we'll just do it real fast. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just yes, no, yes, no answers. That's it. That's all we do. Here. Yes, no. All right, all right, <laughs> I'll, I'll, ask them. I'll ask them. Yes, please, please. Help. Uh, we, we have one from Have you guys ever uh, Have you guys read My Hero? And do you guys like Avatar The Last Airbender? If so, what do you think of these two shows and manga? Um, I love my hero, and I love uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, you king, back to you king. Mm -hmm. What was the question? <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <no. laughs> have you read My Hero, or we'll just say, have you watched My Hero? And yes, I watched My Hero. Do you yes, like Avatar: The Last Airbender. Of course, I, I think um, them doing it live. I'm waiting for the new ones to come out, but I love Avatar: The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. this one's this one's a pretty lengthy one mm -hmm. hope all is well i'm not sure if this has been asked before i was just curious to the lords and disabled body voice they talking about how i don't have, i'm not on yeah <laughs> said, i have the top five anime series for example naruto that's for both naruto and shippuden and one i'll give mine quickly five jojo's bizarre adventures yep. Van line saga i actually need to watch that one of the best stories with some of the most symbolic in media full metal alchemist brotherhood hunter x hunter that's a great show the power system in anime uh three of my top five episodes are hunter hunter episodes and one one piece manga included if you can't think of any uh I, we're not really gonna go into that but i could do it on my own real quick okay mm -hmm. 
Okay, so uh, my top five is uh, Nora Two, um, uh, One Punch Man, mm. uh, um, Kenshin Ashura, mm. uh, Baki, mm. and um, the Overfiend. All right, all right. King! <laughs> Yo, hey, we outside, we outside. We can't forget that. We got to go back to what we love. So Legend of the Overfeet. Yes, Legend uh, of the Overfeet. Yeah. You do your homework on that. Do your homework on Legend of the Overfeet. Yeah, yeah, just do <laughs> just do. Don't do it on a work computer. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not suitable for work. It, 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 it hit different. It hit different. Very scrub technical heavy. Scrub, yeah. scrub, scrub your history my, after that. My, my, <laughs> mine's Attack on Titan. Yeah. Probably uh, Demon Slayer. I like Demon Slayer more than my hero. Mm -hmm. And I actually have to say Inuyasha. That's like one of the original uh, animes that got me into it. And like you just throw random to popular animes in there right now. Probably probably Bleach. All right. I got Gotcha Man. <laughs> I got Giver. I got um, uh, Ninja Scroll. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Was. And what Street else? Fighter Two, the the animated movie. Street Fighter the anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hot. Uh, what are the old ones? So uh, uh, old ones. Vampire Hunter D. Vampire Hunter D. There it is. There it is. That's mine. That's your. What's Akira. yours? Sir? Akira. 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 <laughs> Akira. My my generation. Exactly. Right. Akira right. is my, dope, though. My, yeah. my list is pretty much Cog's list. That's pretty much it. <laughs> we, know, we know we frauds. <laughs> Out of control, dude. <laughs> we mad frauds. Fist, Fist of the North Star. Fist of the North Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, see, yeah. It, I, you ain't asking about vintage, though, because I would have said Berserk and some other stuff, too. Yeah, sort of the Berserk. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, no doubt. Are we caught up, uh, Attic? Yeah, that, that's all. All right, cool. We got the legend Ham Solo in the building. Oh, that's can my get, god! Can we get a mic check for the for the for the guy? We're just not good? getting to the top of two. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I, I can hear you, brother. Keep talking. Just say some more words. Yeah. Yo, what's, yeah up, what's, up, what's up? What's up? What's up? Crispy was going to get down to the round five. Hey, you made it. Yes. Remember, this is the cameo. This is the cameo. We gonna we gonna do it official still, don't we? Yo, ham, yo, ham. I'm feeling crazy good right now. He got the he got the call up. Yo, he got the call up. Yo, my man got dropped. I hit his line. We been we been working in the background. You know. I told her, I was like, yo, please bear with me. We ain't forget you. You know what I'm saying? And he got little man in the back. Yeah. You know what it is, bro. You know what it is. How yo, you feeling, bro? I swear I love I'm this guy. I'm feeling fantastic. I'm feeling fantastic. I am very appreciative to you guys reaching out and having me on the show. And you said this isn't even going to be the only time. Oh, no. So I, was, I, I mean, you said what you said. I was like, I'm cool to hop on. But but, but then I kept read, reading. And I was like, oh. oh, you know, oh There's a tradition in the realm. So, when it's so, the so first I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a traditional realm when it's the first time. You still you got to get the royal treatment. We just doing this early, just to get, get you know get the anticipation up. That we gonna do it official. You know what I'm saying? We get the Man, date right. Knock the dust the off the sword. The problem get is, <laughs> is we. Is the problem is, is I complained uh, to Cog. I'm tired of a bunch of guests. <laughs> I was like, because here's the thing. Like, I can't sit here six, seven hours every week, and every time we have a guest. We here six seven hours. No, I'm like, so oh, we gotta cut down. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the show, the show is getting lengthy. Pause. Anyway, oh, show, oh shout out to Troubleshoot Gaming real quick because I do see him in there. I, I heard you recovering, brother. It's so good to see you. I hope everything is well. So I wanted to shout out my man Meds up in there. Salute. So we finally shout out to Meds. Yeah, yeah. Troubleshoot Gaming. We're finally gonna get to these topics, y'all. So look. This is the big one. This is the one everyone is talking about. It's been dominating the headways. I got a lot of setting up to do. So, um, yeah, Sony's, uh, shout out to Bloomberg, Jason Schreier. Uh, Sony's Bungie Game Unit cut 8% of the staff after Destiny Play has wilted. Sales at the studios running 45% below projections for the year. They also part of a bigger revamp at Sony PlayStation Unit. So, yeah, they had the decision to remove over 100 jobs from its staff and about... um from management from the flagship video game uh, Destiny. Uh, two, about two weeks ago, they, uh, Sony uh, Bungie developer told employees that revenue was running 45% below projections uh pete parsons chief executive or, or chief executive officer he um he pinned it on weak player retention for destiny 2 which has faced poor reception since lightfall and then um regarding the next expansion final shape uh they've been getting good but not great feedback mm -hmm. and they uh planned internally to push the release of final shape from june 2024 
Um, I mean, from February to June 2024, according to those people inside. Officially, Bungie has not made that statement public yet, but mm. this is what, obviously, J.C. Schreier, you know, world-class reporting. Um, basically, it started to get worse during the week. Uh, people were getting 15-minute uh, meeting requests, last-minute uh, uh, stuff to their calendars to come into the office, access revoked. Um so, you know, around this 8% of the, the employee force that was laid off, um, employees will let go will receive at least three months of severance and three months of uh, Bungie paid Cobra health insurance. And uh, that ended uh, Monday. So as soon as the, you know, kind of the new year, because that was that last week of October, people were rushing to try to uh, get those receipts in. Um, yeah, and uh, Jason continues to go on. Laid off staffers will also receive uh, prorated bonuses. And uh, those who were on a vested schedule following uh, Sony's acquisition of Bungie will lose those shares that weren't vested as of next month. So that was a big one. Uh, he continues on. He says uh, this, these layoffs were part of a larger money-saving initiative at Sony's PlayStation unit, which also cut employees at Naughty Dog, Media Molecule, and its San Mateo office. Then this continued on. Obviously, we shout out to Paul Tassi, who I've been talking to. He's been talking about the reports of how people were receiving this news. It was not well internally, even for people who were retained. Um, the legendary uh, Michael Salvatore, uh, one of the composers, iconic composers some from the uh, Bungie days, the Halo days, you know, from uh, Destiny soundtracks. He was let go. He made a statement pretty much taking it in, in grace as far as that was concerned. Uh, Pete Parsons put a tweet out uh, um, in reference to the whole situation. Today is a sad day at Bungie as we say goodbye to colleagues who have all made a significant impact on our studio. What these exceptional individuals have contributed to our games and Bungie culture has been enormous and will continue to be a part of Bungie launch into the future. He goes on to say these are truly talented people. If you have openings, I would highly recommend each and every one of them. This was not really received well in addition to an internal meeting that came out that said um, to the people who were retained, we held on to the right people. So that was, wow. kind, of, that was kind of some some backlash there. Um, following that, uh, in, in typical Bungie history, every week there's a This Week at Bungie. And uh, this one, it did not come out this week. And then they, we waited for the statement on the, the second. And... Um, yeah, that was Thursday in reference to it's a statement called The Path Forward. They talked about um, this is one of the most difficult weeks in the studio's history. They want to acknowledge the feedback and concern that everyone has, that they haven't, uh, they, Destiny needs to surprise and delight. They did not mention the delay of, still yet. They have not mentioned the delay that uh, Jason Schreier has reported. They went on to which say- Which is interesting. That, which is interesting. We are intensely focused on exceeding your expectations for the final shape. Destiny 2 has more than 650 dedicated teammates pouring all their energy and expertise and delivering this epic moment and its uh, subsequent episodes. In the weeks ahead, you'll hear more about from us on the what's on the short-term horizon beginning on what's next season in November. And then they'll talk about their bigger vision with the final shape. Now, surprisingly, this was the key point, and I'll end with is that normally this is run by a community manager. Usually it's a Cosmo or it's, um, you know, one of the general, you know, running the CMs. And this time it was signed the Destiny 2 dev team. So no one put their name to it from a community manager, which people felt was very interesting based on what's going on. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, you know, obviously the future of it and, uh, Destiny's future, obviously, marathon. And I guess the last thing that I'll say is, um, again, I don't know how much truth this is to it, so take it with a grain of salt. It's not, you know, there's a couple of big-time YouTubers and even Tassie pulled back his uh, statement on it that there may have been some pre-alpha internal testing of the game marathon, which is what they're working on next, and that they were asked at this stage with the play testing, would you recommend playing this game? This is a game that you would want to play and no one raised their hand. So that was going around. But, <laughs> however, pre-alpha focus testing in fairness. And that's that's what was said in this. They got their own medicine back at them. <laughs> 
<laughs> you yeah, they, talked about yo, that on Destiny show. They did, it, they did it on. They did it to Naughty Dog. <laughs> it's like anybody want to play this? Nobody raised their hand and said, oh, "We got you." They just did it. <laughs> oh, no, no, they, they, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> you had Bungie staff, and then it was like, "Do that anybody want to play not, this?" That was, like, yeah. nah, that was so not Naughty nah, Dog staff. Nah, These were nah, um, nah, allegedly nah, escaped nah, from. Drug been put out the internal email. Like y'all make sure. Oh, he said escape from Tarkov streamers. Yeah, yeah. They review bomb your game. <laughs> anyway. Yo, yo, and the dude stand up and is like, boo. <laughs> and boo this man. You and your scenarios, <laughs> man. Yo, one dude got up and threw his hat and was like, that's garbage. <laughs> Not the Chappelle. Oh, yo, man. He's like, yo, go back to matter because this is trash. <laughs> you are ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. How it feel, Bungie? How it feel? Nobody raised their hand for you. <laughs> you are messy, sir. But anyway, now that we've got a lot of the information, it's still more, but I, I, I'll be here for real long. This this story is continuing to develop. So um, start with you. Hey, man. I'm solo, man. What's going on, bro? <laughs> You're ridiculous. Oh, man. <laughs> get them, get them, because I Wait. got them. Uh, oh, but actually, hey, there's one more thing before I give it to you. There was um, okay. there was one later development. Shout out to Paul Tassie. Um, all right, so the update to the story is management also said they were other levers looking to avoid layoffs. They said one lever was um, executive compensation. They were told that they were told no that it would ha- happen at the company. Um, now that Pete Parsons and other executives previously forfeited annual bonuses before the layoffs but staff was not informed of so they're saying that they were trying to do as much as they can to avoid the layoffs they said internally no one is blaming sony for this even management some employees were told that if the so so here's the key king some employees were told if the sony buyout did not happen that with the current destiny 2 performance the studio would have been in jeopardy if they were still independent that's a key line from uh, his article. What are they gonna say? <laughs> Sony forced us to lay off people. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm gonna get to that. Mm-hmm. They're basically <laughs> saying if they if they didn't take the, uh, yeah, the yeah, contract, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, well, they ain't really saying if Sony paid all the money instead of paying the, <laughs> the mm. cheapest amount on the layaway. <laughs> now there was also. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a moment about a I know right here we out of pocket uh, about a retention um pro, pro, uh, process mm-hmm. that was supposed to happen. So they, there's new updates on that. Similarly, the 1.2 billion in employee retention from Sony was spent by Bungie long time ago, <laughs> often on buying. <laughs> Dang. God, I said, spend your retirement fund. <laughs> Yo, get these dudes out of here, son. <laughs> you are messy. They Yo. spent a long time ago, often on buying out employees' bungee shares, which then went to Sony. There's nothing left in the <laughs> pot. There's nothing left in the pot to avoid layoffs, which wasn't what is meant. <laughs> Yo, Attic is out of Yo, control. Yo, who's in charge over there, son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the trending of what the spending said the f- means that the 45% miss in projection is important and not necessarily wildly inflated projection, however nearsighted it ended up being. So there was just real damage post Lightfall in terms of player engagement and spending. Even though Lightfall sold well, they projected almost half more, 45% more. You know, and internally people are mad. Um, you know, leadership with mad and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the latest update. There's more. This this is too much. I, I'm just trying to get the pick and choose some of the more important ones. But yeah, th- those are the major ones that were kind of updated. But anyway, okay. Whew, Lord Ham Solo. Good day. Bro, Your thoughts I'm, on this whole situation? I'm not gonna lie. Some of this stuff that you're involving within the problems of Bungie seems like this was not avoidable, mm-hmm. and they were pretending like they were kind of trying to avoid it the whole time. Yeah. It, 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 it just reads like that a little bit like, oh, that money's been spent a long time ago. So, yeah. So you didn't know you're going to go this direction. <laughs> it sounds like you knew exactly what you were going to do. Mm. And you just kind of, I don't know, used. I don't know, some of the wording within the acquisition itself mm-hmm. to make yourselves look good. So mm. then. Be, 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 because at the same time, you got to remember this acquisition is happening at the same time as the DLC, mm. right, like like right around that same time. So they don't want to have all this bad press right. and then be like, well, here's the game. 
right? Mm-hmm. They want to have good positive press and then say, yo, we got the backing of Sony behind us too now. Right. Well, right. things are starting to kind of fall apart a little bit for Sony. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's falling apart in multiple different ways, right? But this Bungie one's a really big eye-opener, particularly because a lot of us that follow this stuff remember that retention thing. Yes. That retention thing was a big deal. And <clears throat> Oni was on top of the hill saying, we saved your butts. Mm. And we got your back. And then this happens, and then we hear that some of the people are only getting one day left of their insurance. And then yeah. you hear and talks about Cobra. I tell you what, you don't want to hear well, about Cobra. You don't want to hear about Cobra. The, <laughs> the, the insurance is different. Cobra. That it was other things that they didn't have access to. They only had act- insurance. They had their whole, uh, you know, the whole time they get uh, like their three months or something their, like that. Their yeah. separation bonus. Mm-hmm. It's like insurance thank you was guys, like the we only exception. The holiday season. Yeah. Oh yeah, especially being in holiday season. That's devastating. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That, that's really but, tough. To you. But when I look at Bungie, like big picture. It's just like starting to get to the point where it's like, all right, man, I done heard you cry wolf. I don't know how many times mm. now, right? You cried wolf to get away from Microsoft. And, and, and the thing is, is a lot of people like to use Microsoft as point at them. They're the bad person. They're at fault. They're mm-hmm. the big bad company. They push themselves away. And Microsoft is like, fine, fine. Mm-hmm. Y'all cost too dang much anyway. Yeah. God, they got free. Whatever. They went to active. Going ahead, yeah. Y'all going ahead and go independent. And they're like, yeah, fine. And then they, Went over to Activision, mm-hmm. gave them a, you know, r- ruffled up their feathers really good. Activision was like, "All right, fine, go ahead and get out of that." <laughs> and 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 then Sony picks them up, and it's like more issues. So it's just like, I mean, I heard something fantastic the other day, and I thought it really made sense. I, I heard it from K Mega. Shout out to my brother that I K podcasts with Absolutely. a couple times a week. Dope dude, but um, but he's like, man, they're they're like the James Harden. Uh, oh. Or they're, they're like the James Harden of gaming. Mm. Yeah, that's no lie. That's true. And I'm just like, yeah, absolutely. Because as soon as they, they, they seem to be fine, the business that they that that the person that Bungie's going to seems to be pretty fine. And then they walk in, give their two cents, and then have a problem. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's just kind of frustrating. It's yeah. kind of frustrating to watch. And and at and at this point, it's just like. You know, nine one one seeing that they call and then they're just like, oh, "Yo, not the nine one one call." <laughs> <laughs> that the so, so, so how Saab looked at my phone call the other morning. Looked at me, he was like, yeah, I, I'll text him later. It's nothing. He 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 he, needs, he, he just needs something. Mm. I mean, what do you, what do you process with the updated information, Ham, in, in reference to like them saying that if they didn't get acquired, that essentially the lights could have been off. At that point, Cap. Um, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know how much I'm buying that because it's just like, so you wanted to get released from Activision so bad so you can go broke and die. I wanted yep. independence. Yeah, I wanted independence. Like, 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 it's like some, like, like I said, some of this stuff isn't adding up. So it's like, mm-hmm. wait a second. If you didn't get acquired, you would have been in the trash. But you did get acquired. But you said you used all the money for the retention a long time ago. Mm. But you needed the retention to keep the employee. Like, 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 like what I'm saying yeah. is this just doesn't, it's just not cohesive. Maybe, it it sounded like she wanted to get out the relationship because she was tired <laughs> with the one dude she wanted to be for the streets, or right? Maybe she just spends <clears throat> too much. Oh, hair and nails, Dolce Gabbana. Yeah, yeah. Ba- baby. Balenciagas. <laughs> yeah. Balenciaga? She's out here moving in, in new condos in downtown. Yeah. You know? Yes. I mean, <laughs> it's possible that basically living outside of your means in the way uh, you run mm. and stuff is possible. Mm. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm interjecting <clears throat> on your thoughts. That I, your thoughts. No, 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 no. That's, ex- that, that's partially what I'm saying is mm. it's like it's it's not only like are you kind of a problem but you come you come in here <laughs> you wreck my Maserati oh, you put a, you, you, you put your heels through my 65 inch OLED <laughs> you know, oh man you, 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 you did all this wild stuff and then you 
you, you got the nerve to put your hand back out, like, and just like the, <laughs> the, the, the chin is down, but the hand is out. Yeah. So, so, so it's just like, no, nah, man, I, I, I just don't understand. And, and, and then on top of that, you got hired to help out. And yes. It seems like you haven't really helped as much as you kind of held back. It disrupted. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In a way that, that and, and, and here's the thing. I understand. They, they're, they're coming from Activision, which is really good at marketing. Oh, yeah. You know, getting Absolutely. their, you, you know, and getting their uh, microtransaction out for sale and stuff like that. And Bungie, you know, although Destiny's had its ups and downs, mm -hmm. they've made a lot of money off of that thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's been ongoing for quite some time. But some of their formula is kind of coming back to bite them mm. a little bit um, with, you know, you can't completely do like if a new person is a hop into Destiny 2 now, it's like great point. How do you describe that story? Me and Addict told her all the time onboarding is horrible. Then they vaulted stuff that you can't play from the beginning. Yeah. A new person, you know, Addict told me, you know, you're trying to get lady addict involved one time and it was just like where to start right because he gave up. yeah right yeah so yeah it's just like log in and start shooting stuff and, and what's right. funny is like <laughs> the money thing is the easiest thing and yeah. that's the sad part it's like they have this new thing with the cosmodrome now that makes no sense half the time and mm -hmm. and it's just it's completely it's not a fun experience it's not and like it got to the point where she was like i ain't doing it no more mm. like because that they because i want to do it with her yeah. So, so I got to the point where I had to do the beginning part for her because she was just getting so frustrated of what was going on. Mm. And, and it's like I said, and that isn't the fact that we gave them two hundred and some dollars to do all that. Yeah, yeah. Because we may, might it, as well kiss that money away. Because it's the, technically the tutorial, sorry. Please, the tutorial sucks. the The way they in, give the infrastructure to the game sucks. Mm. The the intro to this game for a new player that sucks <laughs> and then they wonder why they 45 percent missing quotes like you're literally only milking the current player base mm. and you're losing them too like especially if it is and you're also and, and, and to add this little tidbit to it addict you're losing it not only because of the luster kind of wearing off but all these games that were in covid having issues are coming out taking away that mm -hmm that steam that love that fire that was right. burning so, so so if this would have if lightfall would have dropped in a year like point. where like no, like like no disrespect to it no no if, 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 if lightfall would have dropped in a year like the end of 2021 going into 2022 mm -hmm. to where we had kind of a space of just like not a whole lot going on everywhere. I mean, sure, there's some stuff happening for PlayStation with like Gran Turismo, uh, mm -hmm. Horizon Forbidden West, and you know, the, the like Death, uh, what, what was it, Death Loop and um, mm -hmm. Ghostwire Tokyo and stuff like that came out. But like, as for like multiplayer, like there, there was no Diablo facts out there. There was no man. Baldur's we should have got Gate Forte in here. For this yeah, stuff. we could get him. Tell, <laughs> like, tell Forte if you want to win an event, let him come through. It's just like, finish, finish. Yeah. So I, I'll talk uh, one of the last people because I'll rant. I'll talk over people. I've learned. <laughs> my, my, You're my passionate, e bro, about the des uh, about Destiny. I, 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 I've, I I've learned my evil ways with interrupting people. I just can't talk until last. <laughs> you good, bro. You're good. <laughs> no, finish up. All, but you made a good point, Ham, in terms of like, the timing of this could, this is potentially one of the worst years you can launch mediocre content in arguably one of the greatest years in gaming, right? Some people are making that argument. Like 2023, the lineup is just so crazy. So Th if, this is definitely one of the greatest years in gaming. Yeah. So if you're like a Destiny fan and you're like, okay, I'm taking a break because I don't like it, you know, you might not come back between, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate, Starfield, Spider Man, Alan Wake 2. Talk it, about it. Yeah. Talk right. It, it might be old for you. Diablo. Like it's crazy out here in these streets. Mm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So. I mean that's that, that's for the most part all I gotta say. I ain't gonna I keep beating a dead horse on this. No, nah, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I'm beating, I'm beating the Be, dead horse. He said like, beating the dead horse. Yeah, they <laughs> all owned by Sony. <laughs> so, Attic, you, go, Attic, you going last or you going now? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go. 
I'll I'll go with you. Go. King. All right, we'll go. You go. We go together because we, we we got history with this. So let's let's get our resident destiny expert, Lord Sovereign. <laughs> uh, you know, person who lives for the multiplayer experience, live service, trained. You know, that's what you do. The hamster the, the wheel, the destiny artist. Yeah, that's what you do. So, so like, what? How are you processing Sovereign this whole definitely would be a hunter. Yeah, <laughs> how are you processing this? Just like you know, the news that's come out, the layoffs. You know, each day there's more information and um, just in general, you know, however, wherever you want to go with it. I was going to make a joke about it. It's the day I've been praying for. for <laughs> you, you get your revenge on me. You get to kill my, you get to kill my baby. <laughs> but the, I mean, no, you didn't kill Destin. Bungie killed Destin. Yeah, that is true. That is nope. True. Sony did it. <laughs> oh, here we go. We'll wait for you. We know where you're going. We're we going to get to that. Let's we get to that. We know where you're going. Continue. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I when I look talk. at When I look at the most successful game in this space, Fortnite, when you look at what that requires for it to stay where it is mm. and to constantly be evolving, constantly adding new stuff, to the point now they're going back to the beginning to sort of maybe give themselves a little bit of a buffer while they come up with more new stuff. Mm -hmm. The fact that Epic was not absolved from having to sort of clean house mm -hmm. a little bit because of the fact that Tim Sweeney said it himself, it's like, we're making, we're spending more money than we're bringing in. This is the biggest type of this game on the planet, really, in a lot of ways, apart from like mobile games and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And even they, a company that has basically dedicated themselves to that one game mm -hmm. and Unreal Engine 5, is saying that they can't sustain it. Mm. This moment was always going to come for Bungie in some way, shape, or form. Mm. They were never going to be able to sustain this level of production on this game for it, a consistent amount of time. They built it. To the point, and I joke, I've joked about it in the past where they built they've built the ups and downs into the development of this yeah. game. You know that this game's gonna suck for a while real, and then real, it'll come back up. Uh -huh. real, real quick, so like I kind of want to push back against that because you know, even uh King gonna say it's Sony's fault and to a degree. I think some of these layoffs is is responsible for Sony because obviously they front the bill now, like yo, you ain't you ain't putting out, you putting down now. So mm. it, it's just like, but when it comes to Destiny and Bungie, I'm sorry, I'm putting all this blame on Marathon because I personally oh, wow. felt like this game was fine until they started trying to multi-develop games. But this is the thing. And that's they, when it just started slowly going downhill. But think about got, the you sacrifice got... you're making, though, right? You're talking about a company that in the past has been used to making multiple products, right? Multiple products in the same genre, in the same, uh, in, in the same franchise, right? When you talk about Halo. But then this it turned into a company that made one thing. Mm. One thing. They, they iterated on it. They evolved upon it. But it's one thing they're making, right? Mm -hmm. When you're a creative, after a while, there's going to be burnout, right? There's going to be the, the, the people that made it what it is may, may not want to continue being there if they see that the product that's coming out is is, is, is plateaued at a, at a certain... The, 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 the thing, though, Solve, is every time there's solid content for Destiny, it's mm -hmm. kicking. Went from Forsaken to the Witch Queen. It doesn't matter how much time is between these. Every time they make good content, it's kicking. You know why they can't make good content consistently right now? Because they have half the damn team working on another game. <laughs> well, yeah, in conjunction. But I, but I, I'm sorry for your songs, please. No, no, but but that is uh, that is that is fair. But it should be fair that they're allowed to work on another <laughs> game. You know what I mean? I, like I feel it, you on that, but that's like. You're you're only what's that that saying? It's like you you're only looking at the trees, not the forest. Mm. It, it's like how do you expect to build another game, especially when you uh, maybe they thought was Sony would front the bill for for marathon, so they could easily do both. But to me, it's like okay, you know, we want to build another game because we feel like this game does have a ceiling, and when we hit it, we want to have a fallback. It's like, but instead, to me, like slowly building on, they're like okay. All the PvP, people. you are on Marathon. That's what about fact. Destiny? Well, that part what about right. yeah. Destiny? That part's a fact. The community has been yeah. extremely upset that it, when Marathon was announced, all the features that they've been clamoring for, which is dedicated uh, servers, you know, the stuff, it's all been moved to Marathon. In Solve's defense, both of y'all right, in Solve's defense, 
they've actually had it's more than just bad. Like they 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 there was Matter, which was another project right, supposed which to be got canceled, canceled. Basically, yeah, Hero Shooter. Apparently, right. there was a bag. I don't know how much substantial was from um, NetEase. I believe they they received yeah. at some point. So <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of factors. And, and then uh, the thing I, I just want to I'm gonna give it right back to you because we we always yeah. interrupt you. All right, we gotta stop. But oh, the, yeah, the, addict. <laughs> no, it's me too. No, no, it's me too. I, I muted my mic. It's me. No, it's me too. Because you know what it is? Soft on Twitter. Yeah. Soft says, You can get all of his takes on that. All of it. All of it. Soft has a lot of thought provoking things, and then he, we get going and we forget that he started it, and then we, whatever. But the thing I did want to say is the also the added responsibility of now you are the shepherd of Sony's game studios. Mm -hmm. All of their game studios live service. Continue. Back to you. Back yeah. to yourself. So I, I think <laughs> I, I think that my overall take on it is just like, and this is just my sort of thoughts on on the games as a service, right? We talked about like last week, a week before, like was the Sony pivot to games as a service something? Should they have done that, right? Yeah, we still got. And my answer was yeah. My answer was yeah, but. If it happened to the extent that we were hearing, where he's like he's telling Naughty Dog, y'all need to do this, and no. Bring in your teams, which you did do. You brought in teams that specialize in that mm -hmm. and have them work on those aspects of those games, of, of new games, right? And if you also want to incorporate your old IP into that, well, then no, don't have those those base teams that are making those single-player games work on that. We're, have them work together with these other teams to come up with a product or some, or an extension of the base product that is multiplayer-centric, that has all of these micro... Whatever you want to do to, to monetize it, mm -hmm. don't make that core team work on that stuff because that is not what their strength is, right? Mm -hmm. So we heard a whole bunch of different stuff and asked to, as to what was happening there. And, and, and if the truth of the matter is that you ask these teams, you have, you ask Druckmann's team to be like, nah, I got to do this and got to pivot to here. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not a smart thing to do. And you're not going to, you're not, and, and when it comes to, to creatives, they're going to turn around and be like, no, and eventually going to walk out mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you're going to get a situation where now you just have, you're trying to figure out how to move this product forward. So my thing is, <laughs> you said they got stuck oh, with a lot of product. <laughs> yeah, a lot of product and nobody to work on it, right? And, and, and which is why it is on it is what king on ice, right? <laughs> so, so my thinking is just this: it's like look, looking at this whole thing with Bungie. They've had a great run with this game, oh, right? <laughs> he used past they, tense on me. Oh no! They've Let they've had a great sit run. down, sir. You had a good they, run. They, so they, like they, this. They a, Give me some hope, I mean, the, the, it, there was a ten, the plan was ten years, right? They're just about there. Oh, right? uh, <laughs> yo, oh she's she's killing me now. My man, my man's it, it, spin, to, son. To be honest with you, Sov, I agree with you. Like to me. When you're telling me you're laying off one of the lead people that did all mm -hmm. the music for Destiny, to me, you don't see a future of Destiny more and you're getting rid of him now. And there's nothing more telling nah, that's a than when the, when the community walks away, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have a forte saying, I'm done with y'all no matter what y'all do, mm. that is that is crazy. Because now, now they've made the hard pivot. It's not like all Destiny, like I said, these undulations that you know are coming. <laughs> if you're a Destiny fan, it's like, all right, it's going to be hills, they're going to be valleys. We know it's coming. Right. No, it's like, I'm done with y'all. This is the last straw. Mm. I'm moving on to something else. Mm. And they, they're going to they're gonna give that bandwidth to another game. And I think all of uh, all of the, the conversation around what has happened recently is an indicator to the community that Bungie is, I mean, um, Destiny 2 at some is is more and more becoming less and less of the priority moving mm. forward. Mm. So to the Destiny fan, that is okay. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be caring about what I want for the game. You're not gonna be making improvements. I'm looking to see in the game. You're gonna be moving forward from that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just think it's happened in a way that again, it paints it completely in negative light. When you when you have when you let go of all of these people, you let go of people that are. And we talked about last week how it's like it doesn't matter how much of a legend you are within the industry, within you know to the fan base, mm -hmm. you're an employee to them, and it <laughs> and it sucks. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're gonna let you go. You just become a number, and it's and it's crazy to me as a fan that you let go the guy that came one half of the oh. uh, of the team that came up with the Halo, Bro. the Halo. Mm, they let like, go of Lorraine, who I believe also was part of the iconography, the the uh, or the Halo logo, the, the, the like, logo, like mm -hmm. iconic stuff. People and it's know. stuff that that the people that made this product what it is yeah. that is egregious to me as a fan. But they made it back in the day, right? And that's the thing. What have you done for me lately? And, and them salaries. Let's be honest. 
of people who are let go tend to be of the higher of variety. The You've been there from the yeah. beginning. Really. Yo, 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 check might have more zeros than the others. Exactly, and, yeah. and, 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 and it's probably not reflective I, of the actual boots on the ground work you're doing anymore, well, just because you earned that, right? Yeah. You earned that. Part I got a question for you guys, real quick, though. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, like. So you've seen their success, obviously, with Halo. You see mm -hmm. the success with Bungie. Well, I mean, not not with Bungie, but with Destiny mm -hmm. over the years, up and down, but pretty solid for like the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. Would you say that it is okay to listen to somebody that's kind of damn King's gonna roast this, but kind of a one trick pony? <laughs> <laughs> but then look at your game from Naughty Dog. Oh, you're talking about the Sony component. Okay, I get what you got. All right. hold, hold that thought well, ahead. The only reason why, I mean, soft answer, okay. but mm -hmm. hold, I, I don't want it to get into a full panel on this because this is literally the next thing <laughs> right. which we yeah. will okay. jump into. Yeah. But and, you, you cook it. You cook it. We're going to see you when you use that. And, and Solve, when you talked about like the salaries, yeah, I actually think there's more to it than the salaries. You know, I. I hope this isn't the case, mm. but the way like, you know, the, these journalists are, you know, talking about maybe they were targeted because of how much shares they hold in Bungie mm. and, and, and be, that's, you know, with the whole retention bonus. <laughs> and, and, and if it is that, if it is, mm. they targeted the people that would realistically have the most shares and that, would gain the that's, most. That that's why they, that's why, that's why they kept the right people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hit that man with an order something. And, 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 it and always it comes down to money. Mm. And, and if, if, you if they thought you was getting that yacht. See, but, but my, my mindset is is okay, they gave they gave Bungie this this giant bag. And they're like, blow, this is for you to distribute to your peoples to keep your peoples here. And then Bungie's like, okay, we're taking that bag. And then they gave it to someone else. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, where's my bag? Uh, oh, you ain't gonna be here long enough to collect that bag. Uh, That's why you don't need it. Like, uh, remember that college Bungie. money? Remember nah, that college yo. Money? Yo, Bungie's, Bungie sounds like the dude that go to his girlfriend when he gets a stimulus check and said, I, I, I can flip that. Let me, let me, flip let me, that. Flip, yo, let me, let me, let me invest that for you. Let me, they, they, they on that DJ Envy stuff. Oh, <laughs> not the houses. Oh, come on. Dude. Flipping NJ. You know, I, I actually, I hope it's just the layoff thing. You know, we just, you guys have the most salary. We could get the most out of laying you guys off. I hope to God they were like, yo, you know, let's 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 sell for this extravagant number, but we're gonna lay these people off yeah. before they even get that nut that bad. Yeah, I got like, I'ma tell you what's happening. Yeah, you know what's funny? Like <laughs> it, it's, you what's if happening. The, if that is truly the case, nah. I hope these people come together and sue the hell out of Sony and They Bungie. ain't suing nothing in their contract. They got they got bamboozled, bro. You got <laughs> you got done, son. Let's off get his finish yeah. the boss. Let's off so the boss. To finish out is this. And to me, for me, it's more an, of an indictment of games as a service in general. Mm. When you look at the biggest game and what the, it, the the fact that it had to make all alterations to how it operated to continue to be in the black. What you look at, it, at with Bungie is a situation that long term, longer term, feels like it's unsustainable. Mm. They were never going to be making the money that a Fortnite is making. They were never going to have the bag going in that a Fortnite has going in. Mm. And I, I thought it was always stupid to look. People looked at what what mobile games were making and what these first games like the, the Fortnite, the PUBGs were making. And they, they swore that they were going to be able to do the same thing. Mm. What nobody felt, it felt like no one looked at as what it takes to run that, th that machine and keep that machine going day in and day out. And that's why so many of these games that come out that are good gameplay wise, they die quickly because they don't have that stickiness, A, and B, they don't have the, they don't have <laughs> the bag to be able to sustain that right. type of production on a single product. When you know that over the course of time, regardless of, of how popular something is, the numbers are going to dip. You look at World of Warcraft that's been here forever. They just announced a whole bunch of new stuff at BlizzCon. We'll talk about that. At the end of the day, though, that, that's another game that's just undulations up and down. Like it's, it, The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is. But they ain't it, doing nothing nasty, though. The curve is true. You're not, you're not, you're not boning no. Uh... Yeah. 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 So anyway. 
the curve's always going down. Right. So at the end of the day, it's like it bothers me that so many companies are are making this the biggest bet that they're taking. Hey, take a take fifty to a hundred million dollars and try to and try to make one of these and see what happens. Don't bet the farm on it. And then turn around and be like, oh, it's not working. Well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. The so, bar is here. Well, like, play, mm-hmm. PlayStation's like, take half our company, go make 10 of these. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't understand that at all. So to me, it's an, indict- <laughs> it's an indictment on what Games of the Service is. And it's an indictment to me on how it's changed the thinking of the people in positions of power. Where it's like they see this bag and they're like, yeah, yeah, we got to get it. We got to get it. And I, I, don't, I don't begrudge them trying. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is one of the times I would say, dip your toe in. Don't jump in head first. <laughs> don't go too hard. Hey, don't do it. Yeah, nah, I, just, I like I how Jim do. Uh, yeah, I know you like how Jim do. That's he why he out. He, yeah. all, he <laughs> a all or nothing do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, to me, this long term, it's, it's not, it's not going to be a good look. It's not going to be a good look. I, I'm sad for the game. I do hope they just finish They don't the care about years. the game. Shut I up. don't care about the game. <laughs> but I, I'm sad for the people that were there. Yeah, I, thank you. you know, I gotta give them their thank props. You. I give them their props for making it this far because they were, they, they were times that you guys, as the bunch, of, as the Destiny community, y'all were in the dregs. I was like, oh, this is the worst. I said, oh, yeah, why? He's definitely right. Curse of and, and, and 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 they and they lifted themselves so, up out of there. So you, uh, I give oh, it to y'all. They, did they make it this far because <laughs> of them? What well, they sound like? Yeah, the bunker. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to be measured on this. <laughs> did they make it this far because of? Did they make it this he far sounds because like he's of talking them? through a PlayStation? Oh no, because of y'all. Because you y'all are crazy people. That's why they made right. it this far. Facts, a hundred percent. He in the slop sink. I remember. <laughs> I know he, he's in he's an undisclosed the, location. He, he's talking through the little the wire and the two cups. Let that man cook. Let that, that man cook. Who, 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 who did you piss off? No, no, no. He got a couple of seconds before they find him in the slop sink. Don't try to say that man hiding on the job. Don't do that to the man. Continue, Forte. Some collect cards out there. He's 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 in the back behind the the PlayStation fives that he's leaving. Y'all do. Let me finish with this. Final bars for Saul and then Forte. It's a funny story. Because I, I remember a long time ago going on Brap Show, mm-hmm. and it was just after one of these these undulations that I talked about, <laughs> where Destiny was not the good place. I don't like your mad. joy on this. Continue. And then and it, and it's because I I went in there. I was joking, right? I was yeah. like I was like, ha ha, that's what y'all get. That's what y'all deserve whatever. <laughs> and Luca got so mad at me. Luca was like. Oh, I don't appreciate it. You come on here and you tell <laughs> and, and you make it for the people's uh you know she misfortunes and this that she got mad. I was like, Luca, chill. That's right. Chill. She was in, she was in she was indoctrinated with us right there at that yeah, moment. I was like, I was like, yeah, obviously you're not listening to the Iron Lord's podcast because you know this is my shtick. This is my <laughs> Oh, she know y'all that she was playing. Yeah, oh, so okay, I was I like, you. so she chilled out, but she got so bad at Yo, me. We, we a sensitive I was, bunch. I was ripping y'all a new one, but this again. This is something that, again, you guys, I, 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 God bless y'all. Y'all are crazy, but you guys stuck with this game <laughs> in spite of crazy. itself. In spite of itself, sometimes because to Forte's point, a lot of times, y'all, 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 y'all. Every time somebody pointed out something that that sucked or whatever, you guys are like. Yeah, but the skybox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the shooting is Get the greatest. I'm Mike. like. I'm like, I'm like, really? The shooting? Okay, the shooting is the greatest. But you also have like Doom and the other games have great shooting, Call of Duty. But the, it's just like, I was like, y'all really sticking with this, this game for this? Been for this, for no. this moment? For me. I'm not gloating. I'm not gloating at all. But I just. Oh, listen, man, that man can gloat. Let that man gloat. I, I, can, I can just see Saul like, I've been waiting for this moment for five <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Let that man so, gloat. Saul so, so woke up this he, morning, saw the topics, and smiled. But King, he literally I, doing the mega. Ch- I would have waited an eternity for this. <laughs> Yo, he <laughs> sat back. He said he knew it was gonna crumble, and he would still be here when it fell. <laughs> and this, this is, is his a, moment. Solve, this is equivalent to if King wakes up and there's no PlayStation. Yes. There's no PlayStation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, listen, it, that this is, Oh this my is god. This is equivalent to the day that y'all find out. Because <laughs> I know already. But when y'all find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Continue, so yeah, are you yeah. finished? Sir? Yeah, beyond beyond that, like again, all the stuff that came out about you know, yeah, like the like you know, uh, bosses not you know taking bonuses and compensation and stuff like that. All of that stuff always always looks really ugly, 
right? And mm -hmm. and uh, when it comes to doing, you know, really, really crappy things like, you know, letting somebody go with one day left oh, of, of coverage and stuff like terrible. that and shares that have invested so that they lose after they were part of, <laughs> you know, the company way before the buyout happened. And it's like, that. that's just, that again, that's when you know, that's when you know that you're a number and it mm. sucks. It really does suck, but business is... Business is is, is is a is bad. Like business I, sucks. <laughs> I just Listen, don't like I always the way. tell mm -hmm. I always tell people you're not working for a company. You're working with the people. In a, yeah. in a moment you in a moment you forget that. Mm. That's the that's the moment that you you already lose it. Mm -hmm. So don't ever never put yourself in a situation where the company is the thing that you're cheering. Cheer nope. for the people that you work with and because work those with. are the people that make you want to work and stay at that job even if you hate oh, that so job. Are we, are we, are we uh, referring to the internal capitalized bungee tweets with the, with the explanation well, point? Well, li li listen, listen. And, Let's and go I for it. I, I need to hear it. I didn't bark, yeah, I'm I didn't done. I'm done. Thank, go ahead. For, for a week since it's happened. And, I'm, and I, I'm a little cooler now about the situation. Okay. But it's just more of, and you'll be the first one to know this because I always complain to you about it. I mm -hmm. understood this years ago about this game. Mm -hmm. There was things that I refused to do in this game because I just, I was like, I'm not doing this. This is stupid. Yep. There's stuff that they make you do that you're like, why am I doing this? This is some tedious stuff. Yep. And you're basically just dragging on this year to basically say you got content in it. I and so that a lot. That is something that is, I, I've never, ever, 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 if I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. And a lot of people continue to do that. So to talk to your point, Unsolved, mm -hmm. the, the player base, I blame the player base. I don't blame them as much as I blame Bungie and I mm -hmm. blame Sony. But I blame, the play, I blame the player base because they allow this to happen by mm -hmm. continually playing the game when there's nothing to do in the game. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing to do, why are you playing it? Mm. There, you go play something else. Show them what your what your time. Because guess what? The yes, the money does matter to them, mm. but the engagement is what matters the most to them. When they happen? went to oh, and when they went to Sony and they were getting bought out by Sony and they evaluated themselves by saying, "Hey, we're going to hit these metrics." Now think about it. They when they got purchased, they were talking about Final Shape being on the horizon. They were talking yes. about. Um, the uh, life all being on the horizon. You just came off one of the biggest pre-order games in the Witch Queen. So they were looking at it like, yo, we're coming up to the crescendo and everybody's going to be playing this game. So PlayStation is like, well, listen, we we, we want your game, but you know, you want to keep your game, but we we just want the expertise. Yeah. PlayStation was like, so what the number is going to look like? What They, they <laughs> overvalued themselves. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They literally overvalued themselves to PlayStation. And guess what? I don't, and the reason I don't blame PlayStation as much as pe other people, now they do wow. have to do No, listen, PlayStation don't, listen, King, PlayStation has couple <laughs> Ability in this just for the simple fact that they didn't look deep in those numbers and say, how are you going to achieve this 45% that you they, say you they want? lie about their own numbers, so but, how are they going to look at somebody else's? But, 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 but King, to Forte's point, this, was, this came up Remember when the documents in the trial came up? I'm when, about to get loose. When, 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 <laughs> when Microsoft evaluated all these companies, and we saw Bungie's list. They said high. that burn rate was too high, and there was concern that they are if they are really making the money that they say they made. They got the, the retention at the time, but pre life I mean, the, around that time, they were concerned about that. That was one of the reasons why Microsoft yeah, didn't yeah, pull the trigger. Yeah, and the money. Wait, they I, I'm going to get a hold of this dude. Well, <laughs> we <laughs> got Forte. over 1,000 people Hit in. the like. We hit the like. got 300 or <laughs> oh, something. Oh, hit the like, like button. I'm, listen, I'm not going to go bl ballistic. I'll let Attic go before me. <laughs> if y'all don't get those likes up, I need 600 likes. I'll feel that. I need I'll 600 respect. likes. So I definitely, I'll respect that. I definitely hear, want to hear what King got to say because I know he's going to have some good points too. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to you know, 2013, 2014, think about it. They needed $500 million from Activision just to get this game out the door. Yes. It wasn't their money. They use Activision's money. I love how and, she moved. Right. I like, hey, listen, they always tell you, you, they always tell you, use someone else's money before you use your own. And she, she, but, she did that. She did that. And, and she did that. But she did the, thing that. Is, they, <laughs> the thing is, they rolled off of the success that the game had all the way through Forsaken off the dime of what, fuck, what Activision did for them by helping them get that game out the door. That was some of the best times of Destiny consistently because. The, they had ancillary studios yeah, that Moon, actually helped them get content out. Vicarious Visions. That Vicarious and High Moon Studios. You know, Vicarious built 
Forsaken and the Menagerie for them, which is one of the best, um, you know, seasonal events they ever had. Amazing. God tier. So when you think about that, when you think about that in general, what happened? We all celebrated when they went, you know, independent. We was like, yeah, go independent. We believe in you. We trust you. Independent. And it was a slow start. People gave them a little bit of flux for some of the stuff in the content leaks and stuff. But in general, we was like, okay, we're willing to wait. We're willing to wait. Mm -hmm. And they just keep making promises. Mm. And what really threw me off is when they sent this whole path forward message. Mm. And it read like the same message. Every time Bungie does something stupid, uh, it read like those same messages. That Hallmark card, that and same I'm card. To myself, <laughs> I'm thinking of, and, and I got to be 100% transparent on this. Let's go. I said this when Redfall for Xbox. Mm. When Redfall went to the dump, mm -hmm. everybody was like, Yo, Starfield got to be a 10 out of 10. Right. Starfield got to be this. It's got to be that. Right. And you hear people complain about how Starfield didn't live up to the expectations. Even if you felt like Starfield was a good game, mm -hmm. you know, critically, people feel like it didn't live up to expectations because mm -hmm. there was so much pressure on that game to perform mm -hmm. because of what Xbox and just the state of what the games were they releasing up until that point. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen with... Final Shape. What do you think is going to happen with... Um, final shape now they out here promising the sun and the moon to people they mm -hmm. out here telling us oh your game this game is we want to make this game the best game we ever made the you know witch mm -hmm. queen and, oh, and yeah. taking king they that's drop. the standard that's what we want to overcome we want to be better than that and i'm like how are you going to do that in four months mm. how are you going to do that internal internal um, you, you're things. not you you just let go some of the people that have the the the, um, the ear of the community, yeah, they all let the comms. go. Yeah, um, all the comms. yeah but they the had the money of the community too. The music <laughs> side of it. They say that stuff's already done, but you know, I'm thinking like four months ain't enough time for you to make the grand changes that you think you need to make in this game. Mm. And there's just a lot of other things on top of that with Bungie being stretched way too thin. Making oh. you know, they're making marathon. <laughs> they're working on their gunball game. Sony's, they're working on Destiny. Sony's games they're, they're, they're doing stuff for PlayStation on the back end. Every studio. What I told y'all. That's, 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 so, that's what I said. So, Forte, their messaging literally doesn't make any sense. It never did point. make sense. Got 500. You know I need 100 more. Let's go. But, and it never did make sense. And I'm going to let somebody else go because I'm, I'm about to get amped up about it. But it's just, <laughs> you can interrupt when it's my turn. They're knocking on the slop is, sink door. They're like... And, 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 I think the worst thing about all this, and I think the worst thing about all this, yeah. the worst thing about the all this thing? is we Talk haven't even gotten to the fact that they just let a hundred people go in their seat. Yeah, yeah. Unsur we're talking. We're, I just talked about the game. Yeah, we just talked about the game. Now you got people out here wondering if you even got people's best interests at heart. Mm. Oh, they damn sure don't. Mm. So, the human element. Yeah. so at that point, the human element means more than anything else because guess what? You just let go the whole community side of it that communicated with the community. And, and the sad part, Forte, is a lot of the people that were let go were the reports came out. They were pleading with leadership, make the changes that the community wants to. We could turn this game man, around. Like, and get man, if you don't shut up, you <laughs> got to go. You out that's, here. That's that's hitting my bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Well, let, let's get hey, Kate. Yeah, let's get Kate. He's been patient. So King. Think King, I know where you go. The King don't got 600 likes. Oh, okay. The so. King is about to do something else. Listen, <laughs> guys, I'm going to tell y'all something right now because I've been calling this for a second. Mm. I'm going to let Cog set it up. Yeah. But I need at least, come on, give me at least a 555. Come on, <laughs> man. Hit now the like, show. Sell yourself. We need six. We need that, that 600. We need that 600. It's a thousand y'all. Y'all in here. 1,100 of y'all. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, let, let's please be respectful. It's great discussion, some jokes, fun. On we got a Sunday. ham solo. We got a ham solo. We got Bro. four take you, cutting you know, class. See, see the, <laughs> we, 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 we are in our own version of the multiverse right now. You you got to, you got to, a timeline where King just just be regular King. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's, that's the one without 600 likes. And then the 600 <laughs> likes, King just wilds out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, y'all want the wild outline because. <laughs> yo, yo, these, that Xbox, let's show these dudes how strong we are. I'm about to get these guys. Come on, let's get 600. See, let's uh, not play. Oh, this is equivalent to the, to the chat. 
mm-hmm. holding their hands in the air and giving King that spirit ball. Like, <laughs> give me the energy to get these guys. Yo, <laughs> and, and and I got something special at the end of the show for you, man. Yeah. Let's go. Y'all go stick around, and I'm going to give you that. 600. Oh, oh, y'all, they don't play. The king has spoken. Y'all advanced the line. Y'all definitely advanced the line. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, King. It's Sony's fault. It's 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 Sony's fault. It's Sony's fault. Why is it Sony's fault? All right, now check this out, right? All right, now, now here goes the whole thing. Microsoft, they went to Microsoft first. It was like, hey, boo, boo, what's going on? Big head, what you doing? And she was like, well, you know, I want this, this, that, and the third. Phil was like, nah. <laughs> nah, your numbers don't even dictate that. Because we look at real numbers. We have real dudes that check the analytics and stuff over uh-huh. here. We know so how you was you the last time Sony we dated. Are you cooking the books so they don't Yo, care first of all, the Sony part? cooks the books so they don't know how to look at books. Oh, <laughs> my so, Lord. But we ain't going to get to that yet. Let's finish with what Phil did. Because mm-hmm. Phil, they give the real numbers. Y'all already know how many uh, million Xboxes out there. They got 25 million. All right. Y'all like numbers. Here's for you numbers, dude. So Phil was like, all right, so what you bring to the table? What you talk about? What's up with this matter? What's up with this uh, marathon? I heard y'all doing a lot of stuff over there. What's Exclusive. up with Destiny? They put the numbers on the table. It was like, oh. Mm. Now we did have y'all in Game Pass, so this is the numbers we had. Mm. Oh, yeah, but because we came off the most successful, yeah, yeah. But these are the numbers that you was doing. <laughs> you we know about what, what Beyond do. Light was in yes. that Game Pass. We know what you really do, <laughs> boo boo. All right, so but how much you looking for? Mm. Well, I'm looking for uh three point <laughs> three point what three point what? Oh well, billion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Boo, boo, boo, boo. Go ahead now. Go ahead now. Go ahead, because you bugging. You bugging. She you know the head. You don't, yeah, you know. In a couple of months, you're gonna spend that money. You're gonna be right back outside looking for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> spend it outside her bees. Yeah, yeah. Now she works. Gucci that. bag. She, she she a spendthrift. She a spendthrift. Don't she? She outside getting stuff she don't need. Buy two pair of everything. Always for no reason. Only got two feet. She buy two. Buy four pair of shoes. I don't can't. make no sense, son. You only got two feet. But here comes Jim. Now ABK is up. Jim mm. gotta make a move. I 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 gotta make a move. Mm. Bungie saw him desperate on the corner. Was like, hey. <laughs> he was like, yo, you, you did make Halo. You did make Halo. So Bungie come with the fake numbers. They don't know how to look at numbers over at Sony, right? Uh-huh. Like, so he was like, how much you want for that? How much you want for that? <laughs> and she was like, well, I take three point seven billion. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have the voice like that. Why though. she got that I, voice? I tell, I tell, I take that three point seven billion. You know. Why you make it like he's a you sucker, know? like he's a yeah. herd? Hey, he hey, sound like that, that 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 Martin girl. Yeah, right? like the Shade. Let me hear that. It's like you know what I did. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so Jim was like, all right, all right, I do that, I do that. He said, you take payments though. <laughs> oh, so, so he ain't had a buddy all the way up front. All, he ain't have it all up front, cause you know, filling them, they come with their cash up front. <laughs> so she was like, I don't normally be doing a lot of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay, because I, I, I normally do it with you know everything. I get everything. <laughs> so, so, so two desperate this people. This is something I do every day. Oh my so, god. So Jim was like, I, I do the Billy, but. I got some kids in the house. I need you to check out what they're doing. <laughs> she said, Is that PlayStation Studios his kids? <laughs> okay. I won't be watching kids like that, though. <laughs> I got to be for the streets, though. I w- I really like Microsoft, too. <laughs> yeah, right? so, King, King, they, say, they say Sony's on a layaway payment. So, so wait, wait. So they so, laid away an open relationship? Is what so, you so, so what they did was because he, he had a fuzz. His fuzz was in right. Oh my his God. fuzz was in right. So that's why it was a go. So he got Destiny over there. They was like, so, all right, so here's the first payment. They was like, all right, that look clean, that look clean, that look clean. <laughs> so, so, yo, um, we got a retainer ship, so you got to keep the team. Um, What's the stipulations? <laughs> said, no, no, no. We give you the money, you distribute it. How you going to distribute it? Mm. Oh, you're going to keep that for me. That's Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait. She, t- she got Balenciaga. She didn't take care of the, of the, of the staff? Like, yo, she's like. She up keep her old house? She said, yo, y'all just don't let them know that we're going to keep. All right, everybody. 
<laughs> the deal is gonna go through. We gonna keep everybody. This is not gonna affect anything. <laughs> Cut them off as soon as we get the chance, and do it on the last day where they can't have no insurance. <laughs> so you they know, can't get the shares. I don't be paying an extra. And who getting the most shares? Oh, I don't like him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh. Michael Salvatore. So, so wait a second. What happened to that AI? Y'all was working with that AI stuff, right? Do that make music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me hear what they do. They could the oh, AI got the for two, cheap. They got the Tupac AI. All right, all right, all right. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's get all those shares back. Cause what we, we need more. We need more Gucci stuff. We need more Gucci stuff. <laughs> all right, all right. So cool. So right now, what we doing? What we doing? All right. So um. We got more staff. We got more staff we can let go. <laughs> what are this they the integral to anything? Going. Are they integral to anything that we do? No, we got AI to do that. Okay. All right. <laughs> let them go. How are we gonna do it? Just cut off the key card. They won't know. And then, and then tell they won't them. No. <laughs> and then and then and then and then tell them don't tell nobody. Oh. <laughs> like, they can't tell nobody and they can't talk to their friends to exchange numbers and stuff like that. No collusion. No collusion. <laughs> that, that, that part yeah, didn't go down. Yeah, yeah. That part no, didn't no, go down. No we don't want to rise up, so we're going to lock them out one by one. We're, gonna call, <laughs> we're just going to call the managers here and then let the managers know who we let go. But also, don't let Tim in the building because Tim liked to fight. <laughs> what do you so, like to fight? So all the dudes that are, you know, the, the rowdy people, yeah. they made sure that their key cards didn't work so they couldn't get to the other side. They couldn't, oh, if I could get to the other side. <laughs> so it's the Sony's fault, though, because if they had paid all the money, none of this would happen. But <laughs> oh, my God. We heard that Bungie mismanages money. From what I've seen right now, they don't care about their employees, they mismanage money. And if you had funds that were set aside for people that were supposed to be there, and they only went along with this, this deal because of the premise was they was gonna be retained, everything was gonna be looked after. This is the worst practices ever, but this goes to a bigger hole. Okay. The bigger hole is Sony. Mm. The bigger hole is they have cost cutting, uh, uh, cost cutting across the board. That is true. They have been cutting things forever. Y'all haven't been seeing it. I've been saying for a long time, they've been prettying their self up for acquisition. And dudes was like, no, they're not. Sony's running strong. The numbers is great. The numbers of Destiny was great. We find mm. out the truth. Mm. The, the numbers in your PlayStation is great. We finding out the truth. Every day, we are finding out more and more. Now, when the light is on, and I told y'all, the light is on now. This ABK Dean uh, puts the light on more severely than ever, right? And we have people that are vocal more than ever. I've seen people, and, and, and don't get this twisted. I'm not making fun of, of anybody losing their job. <laughs> not at all, because this is, this is more systemic of the problem that is going on. The ABK nice. deal was largely in part of, of, for unions and Microsoft getting unions in this industry. Mm. Had a union been in place, mm. a union would have been able to fight Sony tooth and nail and Bungie tooth and nail to retain their, their shares. I'm mm. more pissed off about their shares. Yeah, yeah people lose their jobs every day. Mm -hmm. But if shares that you've earned or shares that you have gained mm -hmm. through your hard work in these companies is being removed from you to go, yeah. in an evil way so that it falls back to the parent company and they retain that money that was earmarked for you mm. that is a problem and unions save you so microsoft is bringing unions and this is why the opposition was so hard this is the reason why people were going at it so hard and you ignorant pony dudes sorry mm. don't like using that word mm -hmm. y'all wasn't fighting for the unions you was too busy worrying about call of duty going over here and and focusing on that you're not focusing on the people that are being harmed mm. a lot of people are being laid off all across the boards right mm -hmm. and i want y'all to go and look yeah you say oh microsoft laid off ten thousand people Look at how many of those 10,000 people still had their health insurance and their stuff going forward. Look at that of those 10,000 people, how many people still had opportunities to move into different layers and go into different things. Over here, we're hearing people vocally go on social media saying, I got locked out and I don't understand what's going to happen next. That is true. 
I don't know. I wasn't able to, to exchange a number with a colleague that sat across from me. How are you ushered out of the building like that? What yes. type of heartless wow, manner is going on? Yeah. So this mm -hmm. is the environments that they're working in over there. Do you think that's a good environment? Now, get to the fact that you have final shape in these other games and um, not matter, marathon. Mm -hmm. Final shape gets pushed, and I'm pretty sure that I pre-ordered it. I don't know. Solve can tell me. Um, I think I did when it, when I saw it because I got hyped up just like the rest of you guys. Mm -hmm and um marathon is coming out they can't work on their titles because they're overseeing too much stuff i told mm. you she she will be overworked underpaid and understaffed that. right so you don't have a staff big enough and the reason why i'm saying these things is because like sovereign said epic has one of the most profitable games in in the world mm -hmm. and they can't make as much as they output these servers take money to run these games and stuff take it takes a ton of money they have a mobile game mm -hmm. that they're able to monetize there destiny is not on mobile so they have a cutoff right there they need to access that sony and high sight pay too much and they're getting too little in return this is the reason why i said bungie won't be there bungie will get away somebody put and said you're gonna like this poll question Right. Somebody put and said they can't leave because Sony owns them. No, it's not true. Boo boo. They can leave. Read the contract. Yeah, we had Hogue talk about that. They have one of yeah. the most uh, favorable acquisition contracts he's ever seen. They, they, there can be a break. There Yo, a break. She, yeah. she bamboozled the hell out of Jim. And when everybody got a chance to see this stuff, now, why do you think Jim is gone? Jim has made a lot of bad moves, but Bungie's ability to finesse the industry, finesse the fan base, finesse the workers, mm -hmm. and finesse anybody that she has ever come in contact with is legendary. Y'all are witnessing the great Vanessa. Mm. Well said. I got too much to add with that. Um... Look, y'all know my history with this game. Y'all know how much um, this game means to me. Obviously, Iron Lost Podcast was founded because of this game. This is the game that brought me and Attic together. Um, a fateful bet, just try it one time, play you know, play a game with me, and next thing you know, we been playing that thing every night. Raiding was our highlight. That's what we did, and we built a, a big community. And I obviously, I have another podcast that most of you guys know about, which is called The Last Word, my brother Ebontis, and now Ty Guy Travis. Destiny means a lot to me, you know, and um, again, is it perfect? No, you know, we we saw, we all saw what the game could be, but it's the ultimate game to play with friends. And yes, the shooting to me still feels, you know, second to none. You know, the sky boxes to me are still beautiful. Um, the sound is just world class. And that is one thing I will fight anyone in the street for is I always feel it's a crime. They don't get nominated every year for sound but i think what it is they're counting it as destiny 2 as the release they don't count expansions and stuff like that so yeah. I, let, I let i let the the voting panel slide but um no nah, look you know the michael salvatore thing definitely hit me hard i'm a person as y'all know health is wealth i'm in the gym video game music motivates me destiny's music is some of the most iconic music period and then we even talk about before that with the halo days you can say what you want about you know halo but mm -hmm. halo's music Dun, 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 dun. That's fifty percent of why you enjoy, it, in my opinion. Yep. Like that. That is so. When you we heard the Gregorian chants at the start of a title screen, purchasing a console, we knew Bungie. This is different. This is a whole nother level. So you've got that, and um, you know, to me, it's just disgusting the way this thing played out. You know, the disrespect, like King was talking about, in reference to you know veteran employees. You, you let go of the comms team. That's crazy. The team that communicates, that listen to us <clears throat> all the time. The way it was handled with senior management didn't even know there was going to be layoffs, nor their own teammates, who was going to be laid off. The, the manner, the cold, calculated manner. You know, look, we understand Sony is costing across the border with their, um, their studios, but this is definitely a bungee decision as to who. And like Sov said, you know, you're going to look at, this is just, it, it comes down to money. If someone has too many zeros next, next to their name, the sad part is the legacy didn't matter. 
the yep. legacy, the, the 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 work that was put in, the blood, sweat, and tears. You were just a number, and and, and just for the simple fact that if you got through the month, <laughs> you know, you're gonna get that insurance or whatever the vest it is. It, it's just it's really terrible. Then to Addict's point. You know, they came and, and Forte, they came out with that statement, um, the path forward. First of all, there was no weekly bungee, which we knew was strange. So we know mm -hmm. internally they like it's like your business is out in the street for the first time on a management level. Mm -hmm. That's the difference here. You know, and, and there was always sympathy. OK, they left Microsoft. Maybe the treatment wasn't there. They left Activision. I remember the bold statements by Luke Smith where Activision said, hey, we're not satisfied with what forsaken did we expected higher luke smith comes out and says we are satisfied it was a rallying cry when they went independent right but as the layers come off it's like the scooby-doo cartoon it's like you know i would have got away with it if it wasn't for these kids you take the mask off <laughs> it's and it's bungee it's bungee yeah. like it, it's literally that and that's the sad part it's also and the thing that breaks my heart with this is Literally, the people who were fighting for the community and saying all the things that we were saying that needs to be fixed, that needs to be addressed, if you want retention. Because one thing, you know what never got nerfed, King? Eververse. Yep. Eververse never got nerfed. That store with the emoji, like they started, th this game has the most egregious levels of monetization, I've ever seen. multiple yep. monetization. You're not free to play because you load it yep. up. You can't really do anything. You got expansions. You got battle pass. If I want to buy a shade, oh no, you got to buy it with these three things that yep. come with it. Then I try to get Maddie plays into the game. He's like, Carl, I just want to start from the beginning and play it through. You can't do that because they yep. put Red War campaign in the Destiny content for it. You can't play this story from front to back. And as Addict said, what really is egregious, this is when you knew there's a problem financially. When Old expansions, Forsaken, D Shadow Keep, still full price. Still, so if a new guy, it has some of the worst onboarding for a new player ever. You literally, somebody has a video. I forgot this guy. Oh my god, he he is one of the funniest new content creators. The brother is hilarious. He he has a skit like, all right, guys, I, I see Destiny. I'm gonna get in with it. All right, so what I gotta get? And the guy goes through like seven <laughs> things, and then the price end up being like three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like. Bro, it's just like it, it, it went to me when you are hell bent on not listening or changing that. What does that tell you to me? Oh, that's that you live in check to check energy. That's that you well, need it, it's, that. It's you're living above your circumstances. Your means, right. And yeah. you're over. And, and, and to Saul's point, maybe the business of destiny, right, is just not mathing. And they're overshooting. And then now we find out, okay, they needed this Sony money to survive. And this is one thing I will push back on my brother Travis because he was just like, he was upset at the time when Sony acquired them. He's like, they should have stayed independent. I'm like, bro, there's a reason why these microtransactions ain't going away. There's a reason why they need the money. Now you do this and you, you over project almost 50% more than what you got. Mm -hmm. Bro, that is wild. Right. So now everything comes out. The business is on the street and now everything is on the final shape. And to Addict's point is pressure on marathon. Right. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, I've been in this thing. I've been through all the destiny killers, everybody in my timeline. The only thing that's going to kill this game is dumb. And right now, this is probably the bleakest I've seen it. I, I have to admit, I, I don't know if they survive this. I'll be brutally honest. And, you know, who knows what the future holds? I'm pulling for the people who are still there. I'm sad for everyone who lost their job. But um, this is bad. And, and the only thing I hope, and this is this, if anyone is listening, because I know I have a lot of contacts at Bungie. I know a lot of you listen. One thing I'll say is that the thing that's sad is the, the people who are making the wrong decisions were not let go. In any capacity. So but they kept the right people. Right. Oh, hey, well, we, we ain't going to get into that statement, right? Hey, hey listen, listen. Collusion. He Parsi's still there. Right. And, 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 and my thing is, if this isn't a wake up call for you to actually listen to your development team and what the community is saying, I don't know what to tell you. So me, where I'm at with it. If this is the final song, song, I have to write this thing. I've been in this thing for 10 years. I need to final be shape. You in your final shape? I'm in the final shape. I have to see the story out, bro. I have to see the story. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, let me finish. I'll give, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you after I finish. I've been playing this game for damn near 10 years. I, it's like the, the, the best example I could give you, Forte, because I know where you're going, 
is like Game of, Game of Thrones. Remember how everybody said, yo, yep. they rushing Game of Thrones, bro. What the hell? This thing was fun. This is how it feels to me. I yep. need to see what happens with the Night King. <laughs> I need to see what happens with the dragon. It's, it's, it's terrible and, as it may sound. At like, least you that's, knew about that before it but, happened. Though. But my at thing is... At the end of the day, though, if, if, right. if, yeah. if we stay through to the end and they still drop the ball, I'm we out. stay through the end. I, I just need to see how the final act can clear. I've been here this long. I want to see the final <laughs> act. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to not watch the final season of Game of Thrones because I heard something. You know what I'm saying? That's just where I'm at. Now, listen, I'm not judging you or anyone that says, bro, I'm done because they burnt the trust they broke every relationship i get that they they they, their business is so out on the street they Mm. look so crazy that's why the hope to me is like yo you gotta listen now if you don't listen what you gonna do you know what i'm saying or you gonna separate from sony so look i'll let you go for a ticket i know where you're gonna go i just wanted to get my position that was it let let, let, let me go real quick oh yeah please i'm sorry well at at the end of the day this bungee and, and sony thing it's like you know this pivot from from games of service. We're going to talk about that here in a suit uh, mm-hmm. in a, in, a, in a minute. It's just like I've been on this. I'm done with Bungie thing for a while. I got mm-hmm. tired of you know even with trying to get the girl playing and it's just a nightmare. <laughs> even, <laughs> even besides that, you know, just talking about got tired of them selling me old content. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, I, there was a famous thing where it's like what gun are they going to sell us from destiny one in this new expansion yeah try to wrap it up what what and, and, and what's funny is like now we're going to bring back old raids mm. but we're going to take away old stuff and give you old stuff in return and it's like okay you know we we got rid of titan we're going to bring that back we're going to redecorate mm. it bring it back but this might as well be a halloween event <laughs> <laughs> so the moon's gone don't worry, we're gonna bring back that back to you in another expansion. You you gonna pay twice for that content? Mm-hmm. No, it's man. just like, it, it, and I got tired of everything is always in the reverse. There's no way of getting it. It's just there. <laughs> it's this limbo thing that you have to access by going to. And, and you know what's funny is, at least they made certain things back, but you still had to pay. It's like, okay, so. You want the sixty dollars to buy the game. You want the fifty, 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 fifty for the expansions. If you, want to look even, if you want to look even remotely presentable, we want the ten, the fifteen, the twenty, the thirty, the forty, the fifty. You don't like the drip cost, bro. You can even buy to level up the battle. Pack. It's crazy. And, I know, and, I know. and then they're like, yeah. okay. I used to think that Destiny had an okay monetization route because of bright dust but guess what sony i uh, guess sony. <laughs> guess what, guess what ah, Bungie did? Right, Bungie was like we're going the faucet used to be good you can get bright dust for multiple scenarios multiple areas you can get a, a decent amount of bright dust so the we're gonna we're gonna tighten that you know mm-hmm. not now you only get bright dust for certain things in the game and it's just like i said it's it, it just I got, I got tired Attic, of, Attic won his bright dust. <laughs> I got tired of every time I felt like they were in a, uh, the correct path. Okay, you keep this up. They're okay, now we got the trust back from the Destiny community. Mm. Let's pivot again. That's like, a good point. And that to it, me, it, it reflects what's going on because it's like good, good cycle, bad cycle. And to me, it's the end. If I had to guess, Upper management and the need for the monetization model is superseding what is good for the health of the game. And sometimes it's okay to take a break, but they want to keep you in there every day and then over monetize you. And for the first time, they, like Saul said, they have broken one of the the trust of one of the most loyal communities I've ever seen. And it, I don't know if you come back from that. It, it, I got to be honest. As a person who's always said, yo, that's going to be the AMK, what you say. I got to look at it like, you might not get out of this one. They're in the final shape. This is the final shape. I want to kick you off the show right now. You really put it. That was cold. Sorry, Eddie. The last time me and Cog went back and forth on this, because I was like, in my personal opinion, I don't see a destiny after final shape. And right. one of the first, yeah, you to said this that. You said that. I got to give you that. I was looking at like, how are you going to give dedicated servers to, to a new game, new baby. but not say, but don't worry, we bring them to Destiny, because mm. to me, that shows where your heart is. That shows where the future of you think your company is. Mm. Is the stuff you're giving all the nice stuff to. 
When you're pulling, <laughs> when you're pulling <laughs> everyone off of your PvP he cooking right and now. you're putting them on another game, to me, that's where you're showing where you want those PvP players to play. When you pull when you lay off the, the person responsible for a lot of the music in Destiny, Ooh. which which Cog said Edgy. should have been in game of the year in uh, uh in terms of like soundtrack every year should have been there at the VGAs. Mm. I see that as we don't need him for destiny anymore. Facts, we're gonna outsource. They literally outsource into to the cheaper stuff as well. Yo, I think hey, yeah. those, <laughs> I think those three episodes, mm -hmm. depending on how Marathon does, mm -hmm. if Marathon comes out. Well, they booed it, marathons, son. There ain't no bad thing. They, they said, raise your hand. Nobody. They're like, nah, that ain't it, son. If, <laughs> if marathon comes out and it's not successful, it's garbage. I think that those, those three episodes after Final Shape, that's when they'll be like, okay, someone grab that, grab everyone, and back in, everyone to the Destiny building now. <laughs> but to my, I personally feel like Bungie as a whole cannot maintain two games as a service. It's I just possible. don't think it's possible. I can't even maintain I, I one think, right now. I <laughs> think if, if Marathon is mad successful, Destiny's done. They, they're, they're, they, the they, final they, shape, they, a.k.a. They will folding. Put, they, will put that, they will put that sucker they will put that suck on auto drive to give you the bare minimum. They're gonna put it on the ice. Maximum they're gonna put it on ice. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, you can feel it right ice over there right now. And, and that's just my and like after those three seasons, they'll start winding more and more down. They'll give you more. We're we're, we're gonna be in the Overwatch territory in a couple of years, where it's like, man, remember that good old days? We it, it, you go you go hear this a lot. We didn't know we was playing in the good days because Ooh. now. And that's a bear thought. I don't. But who's she gonna be with? Who's she gonna be with? That's, that's, that's she, the whole thing. Like who? Who's she? Who's she gonna check out with? We, next? We, we gonna talk about the bungee dog. Like well, we ain't talking about let's, her. Let's anymore. transition this to commodities. It, this, I'm sorry. No, please, Adam. We're, 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 I'm almost done. It's like you know, it is what it is. You know, I think that. Their future is Marathon. I don't think Marathon's going to be what they think it's going to be. Uh, you know, I think Bungie and, and, you know, we're going into the games as a service thing now, so we'll go ahead and go to that. It's like, I mm -hmm. hope they do. You know, I hope Final Shape is the best it could be. Because to me, unless they do something crazy, Final Shape is where I'm off the bus. Yeah, that's the, it's the final. <laughs> it's the yeah, last yeah, yeah. <laughs> Final <to> Shape. Me, <laughs> I'm already off the bus now. Yeah. But no, Final Shape. I, I'm gonna see it through, and you know I'm with Cog. I don't care what you guys say. You know they were roasting me in the attic show. Sure they roasted me. You down. can roast away. I don't care because I've come too far not to see this out. Yeah, I just want to see the end, <laughs> end of <laughs> end of a story that I've invested damn near ten years on. It's called the death of your and, wallet. <laughs> and, 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 and you know I'm not gonna sit shake there. Down. I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, he said no. the final shake down. Yo, wow. That's the song. That's that was that's cold. The, shake the down. people in the chat. Shout out the cord. The, the Shout people out the in the chat <laughs> that are telling me addict, the right thing to do is boycott. You are a hundred percent wrong. I'm the outlier in this. <laughs> you know, the, you know th this is one of those things where I said, it's not our fault. It's the developer's fault, the publisher's fault, because they got us by the balls, man. <laughs> they got they you by the balls. They, they, <laughs> they got you. <laughs> they got you by the balls. Forte's out. We lost Forte, <laughs> man. Nah, nah, they lost me. They lost me a long Give time ago. Give me my ago. balls call, back. Call. Yo, what's up? What's up, Addict? <laughs> oh, you man. Man. Swell to me, me balls. Addict, yeah, what's, what's up? What's up? K I know damn well Key's playing this when it comes out. Ooh. Yo, listen. He gonna say, King, did you play Lightfall? Yo, yo, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, listen, listen. King, did you listen. play Shadow Keep? Yo, I play all of them. Yeah. Um, Sovereign knows, I think I already purchased Final Shape. I so think I might have gotten that whole thing. Me? Man, I got, the, I got the whole package. No, I'm not, listen. Hey, K, hey, Sov, did you say he's refunding that? Has, no. Have you had no. that call yet? I had it. I had it forever. They not giving me that Sof, money back, Sof. son. No, it's past refund. 30 days. You can refund. Sov, he has he hit you up like, yo. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Because, you know, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to keep it a buck. I laugh at Cog saying, I got to see this through. Yeah, of course. I got to finish the fight. I'm feel, oh, I feel King, him. King it's like a story there. Doing the same no, thing. I'm doing it too, <laughs> Attic. No. I'm a fraud. I <laughs> 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 oh, that was perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, 
know, chat. What part of so, me someone, being a fraud no, no, don't you chat, understand? Chat, someone needs to clip that. I'm a fraud. No, 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 the man admitted it. The man admitted it. I throw Sony every day. But I got a PlayStation 5 and I got more PlayStation stuff than all them dudes. And I play. Like, you guys don't fall for the hype. I'm a gamer, bro. And, 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 and when there's controversy, yeah, you're going to see my face. Yeah. Man, all right, all right. Okay, let let, let Forte like, go. We got to combine the topic. Right. Forte, real quick before you go, Forte. Members, yeah, I need some fraud alerts in that chat. The fraud alerts in the chat. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Like, it's in the like chat. He, the, man, the man came full circle. Listen, listen, listen. Now, listen. Forte, come on. We got to go because I got to get this combined this to the sodium. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. It's like right now, emotions are running high. Exactly. We care, we care about this game. We one trailer and away. This, and as much as I sit here, like, listen, I didn't buy Final Shape yet. I, I just, I yes, said I was going to wait. That's the keyword. Yeah. Yes. I didn't buy. <laughs> I didn't buy. <laughs> yet. Right now, my heart is telling me I don't need to buy this DLC because yeah, it ain't game, out yet. It, exactly. <laughs> Come on home, and Bungie that. hasn't dropped that fire trailer yet that's going to make you say, ooh, ah, ooh. wow, this is amazing. Yes. Cade, Cade so, come back. The number one hunter now, is on. Thing, this is the thing. I, I put in. I had a I had a I had a bid for ten years. That's right. I, I, <laughs> you got I, I, locked I, I up. Bid, we we got locked up together ten for ten. Bid. We we ten there toes down in this. Ten. I got out on good behavior at nine and a half. <laughs> now I'm now depending on how the next six months Let's go, go. Seven months go, I'm sitting there like, okay, I she gonna get her life together. Again. I trust you. I'm not gonna lie. I am more picking up the DLC than not picking up the DLC. Let's go for that. But but I did tell myself and, and and Taz and Luca and everybody can contest to it. That's right. The final shake was it for me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Kate, That's what we I all had the same boat. This is, is it for everybody. We're the same boat. See, here's the thing, Forte. <laughs> Once the final ship ships, we can all we can all <laughs> get off. We're done. We can all get off the train together. <laughs> yo, yo, not, but the not, last thing yo. is, can we admit this? What? Last yeah. thing, can we admit this though? Let's go. Let's go. Just like Phil Spencer said back in said like, a couple years ago, he said the worst generation to lose was in 2013, which was last generation because everybody built their digital libraries. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say that this was the worst year. Yes, you to have their well worst, said, well worst said, worst outing when it comes absolutely. To their game, it where was... all of these other games are pulling people away. Facts, and, you, <laughs> and the interest of your game drops to the floor because I could go play something else. Exactly. I, I, I've always had all these games to play. But I just never played them because I love Destiny so much. But now mm -hmm. that once you got out of it and took the rose tinted glasses off, you're like, yo, there's yo, a lot of there's a lot of look like how many games I'm finishing when I don't play Destiny. <laughs> yo, <laughs> Bro, these I was guys a beast. Is so they they such a fraud, yo. And I'm gonna say and I'm gonna oh, tell y'all. Damn, what day, Okay, so when Final Shade come out and mm -hmm. they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do, mm -hmm. and whatever numbers they hit, mm -hmm. when they hit you with Destiny mm -hmm. three. Oh, with, with oh, the new give me tech, a three. Oh, they with, 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 with graphics, with, with new graphics, with graphics, with new graphics, and, 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 is, and the graphics is crazy. It's graphics, and, and, graphics. And you know what? King? Audio, you, know, right right too. you know what? King? Right back. You on to something? Because I'm right back on the train. But, <laughs> exactly. But, but, so here's the so thing, but stop I got it. But they claim there's no Destiny three. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they claim a lot of things. Like they claim they was keeping all their soldiers when they got the money. They take they claim a lot of things. Things happen in these streets, streets. son. Like they, they, they came, they, they claim they was good when they got to Activision. They claim they was good <laughs> when they got to Sony. <laughs> True. They claim a lot of things, right, bro. Pivot. We let's gotta move. To we gotta move. Sorry, but to kicks, well, and, and to anybody, again, it's it's a personal decision. If you're out, you're out. I respect Destiny it. Destiny three, we back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do not attack anyone who says they're out, and do not attack anyone. Except for King. Attack Except King. for King. I'm out. I'm, out. I'm, I'm out. out, and then I'm in again. I'm alive. I'm I'm dead. Dead. I'm right. I'm I do want to combine this. All, all we already kind of talked <laughs> about Follow PlayStation King games on and Twitter. service. Follow King so, on King, Twitter. King, do you want your can then thing? Because we kind of talked about PlayStation games and service, or you still want to? Oh no, I need to talk about. Um, <laughs> I need to talk about that. I just, it just, I just need one rant all because right. I know y'all do. Y'all do. Y'all saw that Amen. Sony pivot. Y'all know what it is. So K K N N affiliate, uh, it's not even Roy Reuters. Yeah, yes, 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 it's yes, it's Reuter, R E U E T I R. Yes. <laughs> I've never heard. Yeah. So what is this he's, site? He's this new. He's new. He's, he's new. new K N N <laughs> news affiliate. Look, yes. look at the start of this title, Solve. 
they say that PlayStation will change one of its decisions in the controversial division. Who is, is, they, is this the who translation? Is they, that is the name of the title. They say <laughs> that PlayStation will change one of its most controversial decisions <laughs> for <laughs> this plan. Who is they and what is this plan? But we you, go, you know, we not going to rest. You know what's funny? The, yeah. the, the, the amount of news King tries to bring to KNA News. KNA News. Can we, can yeah. we post the I, articles in the chat that's like two years old? <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering how were you even able to get to this site? Because if you put in, if you if you write Reuter, yeah. it's just going to give you Reuters. Like yeah. R-U-E-T-I-R dot com. You got to the site clean, yeah. right? You, yeah. it was good. All right, all right. Check, check the paragraph. So it's, like, it's like roto router. Yeah. <laughs> K&N affiliate, man. S- sources assure that recent layoffs and the crisis... What this? Oh my God! English. What PlayStation is going through is due, above all, to attempt to bet on games as service. Fans of the brand believe that it is a mistake, according to a report. <laughs> with no sourcing, Sony is aware of the discontent <laughs> of players and the developers regarding this game model. For this reason, it is said the company will change focus and that he. Who is he? And he already has an alternative plan. Um, PlayStation will rely more on third parties and bet less on games as a service. Solve the sourcing. Various <laughs> reset era users discuss yes. and oh, criticize that, the yes. approach of PlayStation. Yes, yes. And Sony in the games as a server. Everyone was struck by the statements as mm-hmm. of a user known as Head on the Block stated. Yes, head on the Block. <laughs> Stated that several studios are working on production of this type, and some of them were forced to stay uh, to st- do so. The most interesting thing is now Sony will change its strategy and allow third parties to work with the franchise in a more open way. He stated, I guess, head of the block, um, yes. that Sega and Bandai Namco are supposedly working with PlayStation IP. So head of the block states that this adjustment will take yeah. time to materialize. Yeah, this is definitely written <laughs> by AI. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is for the streets. This problem, this is worse than, what was that dude that had the ES RAM for the Xbox One? What was that dude? This is that type of energy. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there's a possibility that PlayStation will change its focus to uh, from uh, for single player and titles and third parties games as a service. So, uh, King, this is your new site affiliate. <laughs> this is clearly what yeah, you wanted man. to talk about today. Yo, I, I, the pivot. All right, so you guys wanted them. Y'all don't like game of services, right? Y'all is not working. Y'all ain't getting out one of those games out yet, but y'all don't like it. Y'all don't like how it smells. Sony ain't moving how they supposed to move while I like this. I need them to go back to what they've been doing. <laughs> all right. So they, they're going to pivot. Man. They're going to they go back. So they're going to take all the five years of what they was doing and they're going to throw that in the garbage. And they're going to take five to ten more years again to get you out of a single play experience. Y'all brought this change. I, I appreciate y'all standing ten toes down. <laughs> y'all didn't want no game of services, even though none came out. <laughs> And and they and them, and <laughs> they ain't going to do it no more. So y'all win. Today y'all win. And it's no PlayStation 6 because of y'all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> also because they, they won't yeah, privilege yeah, according to Head of the Block. Y'all don't even want them to try. Head y'all don't want block. them to try. Head of the Block said, y'all, he, <laughs> y'all, they, y'all don't like these type of games over there. So Sony said, you know what? Boo this man. Let's get this stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no game is served for y'all. So y'all. Y'all gonna get the single player stuff, but that's coming in 10 years. And, <laughs> and it'll be over for y'all then. Oh, y'all gonna get that DLC for God of War. You watch that trailer. Oh, the oh DLC is coming, but they're gonna charge you $70 and call it a full game. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody go, just Sony, Somebody <laughs> said head of the block, aka King David. So it said, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Mother said this reads like great co- fan fiction. Someone said it's an AI article. <laughs> Yo, they wallet. So yeah. um yeah. Uh yeah, we so, can move on. We go, <laughs> but I gotta get my esteemed guest. Um what do you thought? Do you think they're pivoting away from um you know games as a service now? Or do you think things are still in place and you're not listening to Head of the Block? Ah uh, nah man, Head of the Block clearly has his head all straight. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely listening. To <laughs> K and N news. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K and N. I, I mean, King News Network. Are, their, their, their sources are uh, are, are top tier. Yes, top tier. we work hard in the field. Paul, Paul Tassi move, man. You ain't doing yeah. it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 no, I, I do think they're actually going to be moving a little bit away mm-hmm. from that. I don't think you're going to see like the ten to twelve that they were talking about mm-hmm. whatsoever at all. I think you might see like half of that which is still a lot Mm -hmm. right but i but i think they still need to evolve into it somehow some way because they're very behind the reason that you could see microsoft moving the way that they are with any type of live services because they've been known as a multiplayer console for their entire existence right that's where you go to play with your friends that's where the communities are that's how you talk to people I mean, my wife, I didn't even have to tell her how to use the community tab in there. She went in there. She playing with all sorts of different type of people from Halo all over the world, mm. which is what's up. I love that because I ain't trying to play Halo all the dang time. But um, but uh, but but yeah, the, the way that Microsoft kind of has it taken care of is, you know, that they're, 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 they're kind of good to go. Um, as for Nintendo, Nintendo kind of always does their own thing. Mm-hmm. Looking at Sony, they're known especially for their single player games. Yeah. But what's those numbers been looking like? Mm. Not so high. When you look at what they've been making a ton of their money on, it's like microtransactions and stuff like that from mm-hmm. third party games, <clears throat> such as Call of Duty. So they want to keep that money in house. Of course, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm saying obvious things, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's just like, man, what are y'all going to do? For this live service. What are you right. guys going to do gas wise? Because it's just like. I'm not really feeling. Or I, I, I'm not sure how many people would really feel. Like a horizon. Mm. I don't, and, and, and the thing is. is They like to dip back in. Even Jim him said, himself said. We want to really focus. On the first party games. That we've been releasing as of lately. Right. And you can kind of see that within their VR. Uh, it, lo- it looks like they're going to be possibly having a God of War DLC, which mm-hmm. we yeah, thought that this game was supposed to be the DLC, right? Mm-hmm. But they said, we got the DLC on top of the DLC to give you. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that Spider-Man comes out with a DLC. At some oh, point. that's coming. You know that. But DLCs, I mean, that that's a lot of ongoing you know, money being spent compared to just like letting the game kind of chill putting the stuff out there and just letting the community continue to buy and buy and buy out of that store. And I just don't know how they're going to make that work cohesively. I mean, even with the last of us, I was thinking about the last of us and I've had somebody ask me, Hey man, if the last of us factions came out, would you play it? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, well, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to imagine what something like that would look like. And I'm just thinking, well, is this going to be like something like a Fortnite or something where like the walls kind of come in closer, like a war zone or something? Right. I mean, how are, how the heck are they going to make that loopable for a right. long amount of time? As opposed to just a multiplayer, right. Especially since they built the game around characters that you have feelings for. You're going to give me a bunch of just random looking <laughs> people around the town and tell yeah. me to have some sort of affinity with that game. And then I also think it's only going to be hot really around when the TV shows come out. Mm. And then that game's going to drop like a sack of rocks. Maybe sack that's, of rocks. Maybe that's so what I, 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 I think they should pull it back a little bit, but I, I, I do think they should advance forward and not just hold on to bungee when it comes to is this the right way to do this is this the, they clearly don't know the right oh, way for themselves oh damn Shots. they clearly don't know the right way for themselves so it's just like at some point you just kind of got to trust in yourself do what you think is right put mm-hmm. something out there and see if it hits yeah, the, 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 this whole 10 to 12 thing that's telling me that you literally are just grabbing mud and flinging it out at the wall. Yeah, try yeah, to no real <laughs> Something can stick. Yeah, all they need is hashtag just one. <laughs> hashtag just two for them. But I know Attic said he's not really in- care about this topic. So I'm, I'm and it just up. comes oh. down to it's like, look, they're clearly pivoting. Like, there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. They're clearly pivoting. They've they've laid off 
people that worked at these studios they put last of us factions on ice they got they like defunded <laughs> that entire studio that was making another one mm -hmm. like they uh, i mean you just seeing layoffs and bungie by itself because that's probably the the most key component to their games as a service is someone to supervise the games as a service and they they're getting rid of people over there too so it's just like i personally feel they got, like they, they, but they kept the right people <laughs> I personally, I personally wow. feel like, and I know I might get some flack yes. for saying this. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to hear a lot of comparisons between Jim Ryan and Don Matrick. Ooh. Um, I, I, I think he has royally screwed up their brand. Mm. I think he did um, it better, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think, see, Microsoft was still able to survive. I don't think these dudes get out of this quagmire. Yeah. Yeah, I, I personally feel like he put them back a whole generation. Thanks, now, Jim. They're, they're still going to sell well because they still have that brand recognition, but you're going to slowly start to see, you know, it's one of the reasons we don't see no games from them. Like, yeah, man. Sony has in the past has had no issue, and it's worked out well for them, showing games years and years in advance. Why ain't they doing it here? Because most of these games either at the beginning of development or they haven't even started development. Yep. So it's just like tell him, the, the proof is in the pudding. If you don't feel like eating it, that's on you. That ain't on me. Mm. That's right. You don't like that pudding. Yeah, I don't, man. Yeah, I, but, I, but at the same time, it feels like they've. I feel like the magnifying glass is just getting stronger <laughs> as the as the uh, you know as time progresses, as time unfolds, and everything like that. And you they, can just they see third eyes the waking up. Son. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying you've seen microsoft kind of do this and like grab activision and pull them over here and mm -hmm. it's just like the, it, 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 it it seems like phil spencer pants jim ryan right then and there and said <laughs> oh the, so you was leaning on third party a little too much and I just that, take that far sony, away from you can't lean on this no sony more. does have quality studios and it's going to help them pivot more because they they do have especially people like insomniac delivering uh like an absurd amount of content uh, uh uh content like very very fast but that's not going to carry a whole generation i mean think about what's going on the, we've had naughty dog really ain't delivered nothing since the ps4 Talk we we it. huh i said talk about that yeah i mean where, where's ghost of tsushima we should be definitely in conversations with the second one no announcement it's on ice <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's just like i'm kind of curious if the legends which would turn out to be a good games of service mode was because of jim ryan too maybe you know he's like well, you know, we want you to do some type of thing and, and i think he's seen success in certain areas and he's like okay now now we're gonna triple down we're not doubling down we're tripling down <laughs> and it's just like look like clearly you see what's going on i i don't think that i don't think like sony is a brand's going anywhere uh i'm like king i still think there's gonna be be a ps6 but I, I <laughs> you only you only say that because you want to feel safe like me people, i'm yeah. out there i don't care you yeah, ain't getting streets. no playstation 6 <laughs> people, you ain't getting it it's done <laughs> People are convinced that, you know, we're going to see Wolverine next year for some reason. <laughs> and, and, and it's just like, okay. Like, and, and what's funny is like, what, what else could come out? Naughty Dog, most likely they're, we're in some Ooh. form of development hell. So I don't think they're a radio for game. Ben Studios already said they, they're wild out. Like it's so. But Ben Studios is a backup squad now. They, it, they, it, they're playing the D League, pause. The, the problem is, <laughs> is. Messy. For some reason, they listened to Jim Ryan, and maybe it was more than he Jim the boss. Ryan. Maybe it was more variables <laughs> than Jim reason. Ryan. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the Sony, like Sony, Sony. Oh, like, oh, they they stopped listening to him. They cut off his key oh, card. Oh, yeah, they, 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 <laughs> they cut him out. And, and it's just like, you know, it's like I said, like when you look down it and you look at the semantics and you look at just the numbers in general, everyone wants Fortnite money, but n most people, if anyone, has Fortnite products. And, and you know, games as a service works, but it costs a lot of resources, mm -hmm. a lot of manpower. And I oh. honestly, truly thought Jim Ryan, he could go in there half-ass and able to produce all of these games as a service. And you see it with stuff like uh, All Stars, because I'm pretty sure that was 
uh, you know, uh, one of the initial things that they were going into this with, because that was like a form of a stars. game as a service. Yeah, destruction. Yeah, 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 I love that game. Yeah, you you you've seen it with <laughs> a variety of these games, and then not to mention we saw all the rumors. Like Jim Ryan, he didn't ask <clears throat> these companies, and they agreed. He he made them go this mm. direction. Mm. He bought all of these studios because he said he wanted to help with games as a service, but he still made the other people that didn't want to do it do it. Mm. That's the reason there's so <laughs> many <laughs> That's the reason <laughs> Connie le- uh, got fired and half her studio walked out with her because it's, you know what's funny? They're switching what Microsoft used to do. Microsoft used to, <laughs> to, to, to reach their hands in and say, you making this. And now <laughs> it, it, it looks like I'm having a ball over here. <laughs> I know he wheezes. He's having a meat cake. Yeah. You good? It's... Nah, I'm having a great time. I had to keep going. Yeah, I, I just think it, it's one of those things that I just don't understand. You know, I don't think no one's screaming that this is the end of Sony. Why I, not? I do think... <laughs> <laughs> you told me a lot of bad I, things. I if think... you would have told me that to, to invest in a company with all those bad things that you just said, I won't. But I love the way you cook it. <laughs> and, and, then, and then when you look at it from, like, the future step, what, what, what do we really have to look forward to over there right now? We got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is going to be an amazing game. Mm-hmm. That's it. Rise, like, of the Ro- Rise of the Ro- Rise of the Ro- 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 Stellar Blade. Stellar yeah, Blade. I, but I'm talking about, like, First from the party. game. How about that? that? Like, well, big part, yeah, games no. coming to it's their essentially platform. Essentially the same thing. Like, if it's not any place else except for PC, if you play on PC... Then that stuff is, coming to it's Xbox is a win to change, yeah, bro. I, I, That's I just, fine, but it didn't come to Xbox day one. I just think from, in March, from their <laughs> standpoint, it, it, and I th- it, and part of me thinks that Jim Ryan was scared of the expansion that Microsoft was doing, and you know, Microsoft has all the games as a service that Sony dreams of having. Sea of Thieves, wow at this point. Uh, <laughs> Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, Minecraft. Like, Let's go! It, it, they, they have games that literally Jim Ryan would commit murder for. <laughs> murder, you <laughs> say? That's, that, that's, that's crazy you say that, Attic, because the thing Xbox about ain't got Jim games. Ryan, the, the thing about the only Ryan murdering he... Jim Ryan has done is the studios he left behind. <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing I want to get out real quick. Yes. The thing Killer I want to Jim. Get out real quick is that um, <laughs> Jim Ryan really seemed to siphon the creativity away, but Attic is sitting here saying that he died to have this stuff. Like it, it just kind of counters a little bit to me because uh, a, a, a lot of CEOs and stuff like that that we believe to be money making tend to kill off a lot of creativity to get well, the bag. I, yeah. I think this is one of those things. It's like the dude at the end of the day, he wasn't a gamer. He 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 might <laughs> analyze the, the gaming industry, but he don't actually sit and play these games like that. You know, that's one of the difference between Phil and, 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 and Jim was Phil was like, yo, that ain't gonna work because I've played these games and I've seen the evolution. I've so seen So you say he don't hold go. the control upside down or wrong. <laughs> Whole okay, go, I, I, go. I'm done because I feel like I'm just encouraging yeah, King. Of clearly, this. he's gonna keep <laughs> on with the pom poms with you. Um, <laughs> that's my so, guy. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts quickly. Um, as far that's, as the um PlayStation, do you think they're gonna pivot or or not? You think they're gonna stay the course? With games and service. I mean, let's put an exclamation on this. Uh, we'll see where where they go if they if they roll back some of that hard pivot. And it's just going to be, you know, a couple of games or whatever um, from these new studios that they have, or are they still going to keep that push and trying to make, you know, service games within their core franchises? We'll see. We'll see what they decide to pivot to. But at the end of the day, I think the big problem is that the entire gaming industry convinced itself Mm. that in (laughs) order to stay relevant in the future, this was the way. Right. It's convinced themselves that the only way to stop overspending and making, you know, $250 million AAA games is to go the service route. Not to stop spending that much money. No, God forbid. No. The the idea is, okay, we'll pivot to this because there's been success in this space. Mm-hmm. And it, it just feels like there's been so many pivots and there's been so many failures that nobody's looking at this and saying, hey... For us to attain that level of success in this space, we need to 
invest this much time, this much money, this many resources. <laughs> it's that pie in the sky thing solved. They it's don't like, see yeah. the failures. They, they don't see the they one just see success. It. Like, exactly. That was like, Google Stadia. Oh, we could make games. We, we have an internal studio. It lasted <laughs> a year and they were out, gone. They sold off the studios that they bought Our because they're like, no, nah, we're not doing this. Longer than a trillion dollar company in the gaming industry. It, That's crazy. It, it is it is ridiculous to me that they still continue to feel that this pivot to games is this hard pivot where these games have to be all about that and we're looking to make the next Fortnite. It is a stupid endeavor. It is a fool's errand. Go in, <laughs> make some of these games. Make smaller games, smaller budgets. <laughs> see if the gameplay sticks. the The community will tell you if it is fun and it's something they keep wanting. They want to keep playing, mm -hmm. and then allow yourself. And at the same time, look at Remedy. Look what they're doing with seventy million dollar budgets. They figured it out somehow. They figured it out. I somehow. love that you them. don't work at, at the head of Sony. Thank you. No, because <laughs> it is. It is. You look at that as like, why can't we make a game? That is 10 to 15 hours. Why does God of War Ragnarok need it to be a 35 hour odyssey? Why did Last of Us Part 2 need to be a 35 hour odyssey? They don't it get reoccurring money solve on but these a, single player games. But it, do, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because you still, <laughs> what does it matter if it's, if it's, if it's 15 hours it or 35 <laughs> hours, right? It doesn't matter because once you're done with it, you're done with it. I yeah, love the Last of Us Part 2. But they want you to be done with it after 30 I, hours. I played, I played it once. <laughs> I played it once and I'm done with it until three comes out that I'll probably replay too. That's the only time I'm going to replay that game. And yeah. so what is the need to have me engaged for 35, 40 hours? Engage me for 15. That, that revenue. Love it. Yeah. No, but the revenue will be the same. Charge me $70 for it. I don't care. Charge no, me the same. Re reoccurring after the, you know, I'll, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. But reoccurring on a single player game, the reoccurring part is when you, you release it on PC, right? That's mm. the type of stuff. So to me, it, you making a longer game, a game that has this crazy bu <laughs> bugged out budget doesn't change the realities of single player games in this space. It doesn't. Yeah. So they tried to they tried to pivot to instead of figuring out the problem that was in front of them, mm -hmm. they projected someplace else to be like, nah, this will fix it. And we can keep <laughs> doing making the same mistakes in this space that we've always made. Yeah. So it's it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Look at what Remedy is doing. Figure out how to make high quality AAA games for less money and less time. And you can still dip your toe into this. And, it, and, it, and if you get lucky and you make a, a game that people love and is making money hand over fist, be happy with that. Add to that. And don't try to go beyond your means. Don't try to so rise door, above your station. Mm -hmm. It's always you try, always trying to live up to something. Literally, Epic turned its entire business around and said, "Fortnite is our business." They mm -hmm. from made they went from making other games to Fortnite and Unreal. That it was, is it. It was that much of a money maker, it don't solve. No, I understand. That, but so is Sony is Sony gonna pivot completely to one? Oh, one no, I, I feel you on the I, on the do you being that like, aggressive. Yeah, right. I feel so you on that. this is the thing, but. There, so many people that are much smarter than me looked at these scenarios and said, "Obviously, yeah. they're not." And it's like, <laughs> how do you look at that and be like, "Yeah, we could do the exact same thing." No, you can't unless you're willing to spend <laughs> billions of dollars uh, on on a yearly basis to ensure that this community is kept satiated with 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 content that is good, right? And 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 refreshing, like. It just it's a very difficult thing to do. It was always gonna be a very difficult thing to do. Like it's like it's like they looked at mobile and they saw how much money you could make with mobile with a small product that caused that didn't cost a lot to make. And then they projected that outwards into triple A gaming, into <laughs> a game. And 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 the, the it's not the same. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say that that development into candy crush is minimal, but mm -hmm. when you look at that product. I don't even know how much they, you know, how often they add new levels to it or whatever the case Every may be. Week. Right, so it's crazy, but you, I can guarantee you that it doesn't cost as much to work on that game as <laughs> on a Destiny. And Destiny doesn't make a quarter of the money, not even, even remotely close to what Candy Crush mm -hmm. makes on a yearly basis. So it's like they looked at it and they, it's like they, they glanced it over, they glanced it over and didn't read the fine print. It's like they looked at it and they were like, yeah, you know, oh, but maybe you want to read the fine print. Nah, we're good. We we understand. Yo, we understand. I love we that y'all make my point for me. 
<laughs> the point that I was making before that yeah. y'all laughed at? I love it. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Real yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah. My boys. Everyone in the chat, everyone in the chat, go over here and like this Twitter post. <laughs> oh, you bestie. I know oh, what you're Jesus. doing. You bestie. What anyway, you doing? yeah, this is the fraud stuff when uh, they were talking about if you go buy out of shit. We got to get kick. those likes up, man. You bestie. <laughs> I got to see what the so, hell he did. So you, you got your boss. I was going to go <clears> over. Yeah, I'm done, man. I just, I don't, I again, I hope they... I hope they they stop and think for a moment and be like, okay, hey, let's figure this out in a smart way and stop trying to go beyond their means and stop trying to rise above their station. Do what you do well and then dip your toe in other things to make more money. I get it. But don't mm. stop. Stop with this overreaching. Like, mm. it doesn't make any sense to me. I think it's the first time you, like, disagree or struggle on this one. I mean, mm. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I think... I, I agree with you on the pivot may have been too aggressive, right? And and, and, and that, you know, you're going to make 10 live service games, bro. We're going to make 10. We're going to, you know what I mean? And, and where I completely agree with Addict is like, especially when the talent that you have is not known for that. Mm -hmm. Like the, the talent that you have is the, the hashtag just one, the cinematic, triple A, narrative heavy, focus, high graphic fidelity. But the thing is, Sam, them games is wild expensive to make. Mm -hmm. And I think what King is saying is true to it. Like, Jim is looking at that and like, look, you know, I mean, Ham said it, like, when you look at, for, it was not even MPD no more, it's Sakana, whatever it's called that, right? <laughs> and the top 10 games played on PlayStation, right? The majority is third party, right? multiplayer or these other third party get it's not necessarily not saying that the the bangers don't do well when they come out but they don't sustain for the life of the platform and i think sony's looking at that and i think i gotta be honest i think look them talking to bungie was probably done talking for some time but i am the firm belief that that was accelerated the minute they found out about abk because now that puts the fear of God of you in a revenue they're, source. They're game. negotiating that price. But then when that ABK deal happened, I'll just give them what they want. Okay? Right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's like that revenue that you were sitting back, you didn't have a long-term vision. Let's just be honest. Not even long-term. In defense of Sony, there's no way in hell anybody thought Microsoft could acquire Activision. Let's just be honest. If you would have told us that for outside of Solve, who predicted it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, if you would have told us that, that that was available to be acquired, and that Call of Duty would be the home of Microsoft, so to speak, and be able to be put in that service, that had to throw off their whole course of action. Now you've really got to pivot. So now you're going to sign that deal with Sinead <laughs> as quickly as possible. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to because you have to secure a future now in something that you really don't do. Now, I agree that pivoting all your resources in that way might have been the dip. This is where I'm with you. The dipping of the toe is probably the correct approach, which is, okay, maybe one or two, two to three, but to say 10 and throw it up against the wall. And here's the thing. They're, they're, a, they're, a, publish, they're a base that is known for a high bar, high quality, right? Well-renowned, right? That doesn't sit well when factions doesn't internally review well, right? They can't afford, based on their output or what they go, they can't afford a 70 Metacritic. 80 med credit they they have that standard so when you throw against the wall with live service you're not gonna hit it out the park every single time i am sorry there is a, a very complicated area as bungie would tell you one of the more successful long lasting ones and right they didn't get there overnight so. go ahead ham you want to jump in real quick yeah no no i just wanted mm -hmm. to say like i feel like the way they need to go about it needs to be similar like like, like, if they want to take advantage like a Fortnite did, remember, Fortnite wasn't that game. Correct. Before, it was a building game. It, like, like, look up the definition of Fortnite. Right. That's what that game was. Yeah, it was, it was completely it was, different. PvE, it, 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 like, base defense. Base defender, like, yeah. Exactly. So then when you, when, when, when you have a game, I feel like if they're trying to take advantage of something like what Fortnite did, they need to have, like, a main game and have, like, that as a side game. I'm Let the side you. game get popular. Stop trying to just make all the everybody look at this live service game. Good luck with that. Yeah, I mean, I I I thought that it would be more like what is it, Firewalk or I forgot which one it is that has all those dedicated like X Bungie Halo, like really dedicated PvP lineage um oh, developers. Fire sprite? I, I always I always butcher them, brother. Yeah, it's one of them. It's either Walk or Sprite. I always butcher which one is which. But <laughs> one of them really has 
you know, PvP sensibilities. I thought, okay, they'll do that. Factions will be an add-on or something. And not go to every single studio and say, you got to make one. That, I think, is foolhardy. Like, I, I think now you re- developers are passionate about what they want to do. When you start trying to pivot them to something that's not their wheelhouse, that's not going to bode well. I, and the last thing I'll say to the question is, is that I don't know if they're going, if they pivot in like everyone's saying. Look, you spent $3.6 billion to do this. This was Jim's marching orders out of the door. I don't see how you spent all this money and now you may pull back from 10 to, to 7 to 6. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I would be surprised if the pivot is what people think. I have not seen conclusive evidence that they are truly pivoting away from it in the extent that people may think. I think they're still going to go there because at the end of the day, these $70 games, these single play experiences cost money and they're looking at retention they're looking at engagement they don't have more microtransactions and they're looking at these other games and they want a piece of that pie they it's to the point now let's be real they're drawing blood out of a stone by remixing the single player games they have so many times we're getting last of us 2 remake remake we're getting horizon again remake re- that just shows me you're still trying to Draw blood from the store, trying to get as much as you can. He wants these things to, when, when Jim Ryan says, I want these things to be bigger, that means you're not satisfied with what you have. You're not. Your single player banger that is critically acclaimed, you're not satisfied. I got to give you, King one of the greatest jokes that he ever did, but it had the <laughs> most truth, is when he literally had every PlayStation 4 exclusive in his hand. And he's like, Cock, banger, Spider-Man, God of War, banger, Horizon Fantasy, okay, Ghost of Shima, banger. He said, they don't value this. They value this. And the other hand was Call of Duty. That's the moneymaker. That's why they fought so hard tooth and nail to block the deal. They thought they had a shot at it. Who knows what Jim Ryan's fate was as a result of not getting that deal blocked. But that's neither here nor there. The, I point, of the, the, ma- the point of the matter <laughs> is they valued that money. And they didn't value the exclusive the way the fanboys and the way Twitter will tell you. That's not what they value. So to me... Whereas Microsoft doesn't have the critical acclaim that they have, I bet Sony will look at the revenue that Microsoft have with that Minecraft that allows them to facilitate the stuff that they want to do, the Hellblades and all that stuff. The gamers got to realize the games that they care about is really cult classic niche stuff to executives. It doesn't bring in the money that they think in that it does. And the reality is the Minecraft, the Fortnites, all age and all these other little games that we as gamers roll our eyes. We don't care about it. That's what's sustaining the stuff that we actually want. And that's yep. I don't think that they're going to pivot the way as hard. I think they, they're in it because if they don't, they, they, they don't evolve. They, they have to be able to change in some way. Otherwise, to me, their market is not sustainable. The $70 game paying all that money and you have no stickiness long term with it. That to me is, yeah, that's not sustainable. These games, Sean Layden said it. It's not going to, you cannot And they showed Sean the door though. Right. And that's why I think Jim was too hard. He just may have been paused too hard with the pivot. (laughs) But that's where I'm at. (laughs) Jim is hard on his stuff, boss. I'm I'm going to be honest too. I think as gamers, we convince ourselves of this scenario where, oh, if they they hit with one or two of these live service games, that's going to allow them to make, you know, the teams to make these other games. It's like you said, they don't care. So... It's it's us convincing ourselves that the the money that comes in from these live service games will be used to fund more creativity <laughs> in the single player space. Well, I don't even know that's even what true. What I was what I was told buy another yacht. What I was told is <laughs> use single, that money for the same game. What yeah. I was told is the single. They're gonna player, retain people. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Like what I was told is the single player route works, and they make <clears throat> bukus of money, but in a corporate world, it's not what they want going forward because like, they've, they've been shown yeah, they, another path right? right they've been shown the path of the sub- subscription service they've been shown the path of the game that, that the ever the ever living game that that continues and continues they've shown that path the problem is that they all looked at it and started salivating yes and nobody thought about you, you, what the work that it takes to maintain that absolutely you, you, brother you, I'm know with what, you. you know what's funny the only problem of Sony really getting into that market, and I know King's probably gonna laugh at this. Is they don't got the bank account to buy the ones that are actually yeah, mad, mad yeah. successful. Mm-hmm. And, and with them, to King's point, the risk they take, the misses could you with them like you can't miss. You you don't have that Microsoft yeah. war chest to to be able to just you know what I mean. Like and the, the can't yeah. miss part about it is the saddest part about it because if you think about it, these conversations we're having, 
Yo, they the industry has killed regular multiplayer. Facts. Regular it's multiplayer is not worth it to anybody right. to do it. You're right. Wh which theoretically factions part one was. was. It was a blood. Shout out to my man BG. He used to go so hard yeah. for it. it. It's it's the standard multiplayer. But in this day and age, people want that consist consistent engagement to pull you back. But anyway, we've been going on long with this. Um, let's yeah. get to super chats. Let's move on. Yeah, we got. Oh, right, let's start with a nice super chat here. Uh. Halo reach around oh, five dollars super chat. <laughs> Addict, your body is uncharted. Let's get drunk, man, and get naughty, dog. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo. P.S. Still waiting for the coordinates so I can give you the hammer of dawn yo. <laughs> until until dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, man. this man wrote yeah. a, a haiku. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> they say he did write a haiku. This man that wrote a soliloquy. <laughs> that man tried to get some soliloquies. Yo, Man, I, I can give you guys King's coordinates. <laughs> yeah, but you keep <laughs> trying to pass people. Obviously, they don't want me as bad Sharing. as they want you. Caring is caring. No, they know that you like the door open, Paul. <laughs> Oh, oh, that man right want the now. coordinates to the crib. Wow. They don't want, they don't want they the drop kicks, that man. hammer of dawn. dawn. Oh, oh, he yeah. included Until all dawn. the names of his yeah. favorite franchises in there, too. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, that's for you, Addy. He, he that's wanted... Halo Reach Around. <laughs> <laughs> Special gaming night with Addy. Yeah, there we do. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, lock member for 22 months, Lord Bronze. Sony is turning into Sega. Destiny 2 over Warframe. Marathon uh, greater than matter is a game nobody wanted. No, Sony, what happened to the 3.6 billion you gave to Bunch? <laughs> <laughs> your kings, your kings I got my heaven damn <laughs> Kings, should they they bunch? Yeah, should they they bunch? That's funny. Then we have good rich games, $5 super chat. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> the game industry is unstable. Half the studios I worked at like are a PlayStation 5. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We have a, we have a dev here. Oh. Half the studios I worked at are oh, out of man. business. All have had layoffs. This is why the average game career is four to five years. That's yeah. crazy. And it's, it's not yep. even <clears throat> not even burnout. You know, it's not even crunch burnout and all that yeah. stuff. It's just a lack of stability. Yeah, and the sad part is this is one of the highest, best ga years in gaming. Revenues up all out, and then we have the most layoffs, and this is why people unions grow. are coming. I feel you. Yeah, this that is part. this is why people are scared to jump in the industry. For, for, I hope you know. so. I really, I hope they so. They said you know. did what we needed. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not even retained. Facts. That's 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 crazy. That's nuts. We have Corey Tidwell, five dollars super chat. King, it's Sony's fault for having them waste time policing Naughty Dog. They should have been focused on life for. <laughs> Oh, yes. I yes. Yes. I, I, I ain't gonna even lie to you guys, man. That that King saying I'm a fraud, that's about to be one of these buttons over you here. Still next week. Over you still cooking off of this? You are messy, bro. <laughs> you, you better stop. <laughs> you better stop before I have these dudes go back and get that clip with you laying on your stomach. With oh, oh, I thought you were gonna say the shirt off. <laughs> nah, nah, the shirt off is out fine. there in the streets. No, nah, no, nah, that's his business. That's that, that's his that's only fan. That's, that's his fine business. Because you gonna post a picture of me? I'm gonna have you saying I'm a fraud in your voice. <laughs> it's no problem. Your nipples out is fun. <laughs> Halo reach around. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Oh. Yo, it's a family show. show. No, 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 not on this show. Not, you not, say that's not your show. show. Not unless there's serious money coming this yeah, way. I don't no, see a super no, chat that that quantifies I that. Care. I don't care. I don't. I do not care about the super chat for his nipples. No, yeah, that's a different tier. Yeah, yeah. That's his. That's that's his only tip. <laughs> <that over>. uh, <laughs> Yo, Attic is a fool. Dude, we have Miguel Ivars or Evars uh, with the five euro super chat. Smoke and mirrors. People ask him, why didn't leadership bite the bullet instead of the employees? As Jim Ryan goes, MIA, come on now. Mm. I mean, the leadership, <laughs> according to it, like some leadership did, did, didn't get bonuses, but they didn't take reductions in salary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They got favors. <laughs> hey, they get bonuses, but they got yeah. favors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo went hard, did it? Remember? Oh no, yeah. The no. bosses are like, nah, I'm cutting my salary. Yeah. You know? No, what they did, they cut their salary. They did a whole lot of stuff to retain, it, and they knew that the uh, the failure of the Wii U was on them. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Then we have Sin Vendetta. You don't really see Nintendo like 
doing massive layoffs like that all the time because like, we don't really know nintendo no. it, it, it really yeah. be it really be felt like nintendo has a bad quarter they're like well that's on us we'll, do, we'll us. do better next door yeah. like, and nine times out of ten you won't know anyway you would never <laughs> know bro they they have a complete black box around their security system <laughs> <laughs> you won't know anything you know? they're gonna lay off everybody it could just be my model right there right now running everything on ai and you I will can't. never know <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, then we have uh, Sin Vendetta, ten dollars super chat. You, I used to love playing Destiny, put twelve hundred hours into the first game wow. and put just about a hundred, maybe even a thousand um, hours into Destiny Two. Once Bungie introduced light as a microcurrency, I fell off quickly and permanently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. burnt the bridges. <clears throat> Those are one. Yeah. Look at the hours. How many? Gotta... How many currencies? How many currencies? Oh, oh there's a bunch. Right there's, there's, there's too much it's stuff. It's obscene yeah. the amount of currencies. That's not good. And we have Alvin, $5 Super Chat. Lorraine drew the Oni cover and Salvatore did the OST for Myth. Ooh. Oh, my God. Wow. They, pre, they predated Halo. Probably in yes. line for crazy shares. That's why Facts. they sent them all. No, millionaires. Oh, you, they, they would have got them shares, them OGs? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, 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 there was a reason that why sucks, certain people so were targeted. Bad. That sucks. And it's, it's crazy that they weren't, there wasn't language protecting, protecting them. Them. Yeah, it, it kind make, of felt and, like it was done deliberately make, and make no real. mistake make no mistake probably a good a good portion of the people that got laid off again if it was for higher salaries mm-hmm. many of these people are probably millionaires right oh facts 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 that's facts. a good point point. And, 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 and if i could corporate cog no finishing mm-hmm. corporate cog no but but again they're probably millionaires. so it's not like they you know they're, they're, they're starving for their next meal but the idea of the lack of respect for that yes. level there we of go. dedication to to that to to give, to mm-hmm. that one development studio is crazy crazy to, i mean the same you give your whole life Mario to a studio Donald, like, still they just to got me. rid of you for no like for no reason really yep. like, yeah. disrespectful i will say but this is the i hate being corporate cargo on this but this is the mindset is that mm-hmm. in their mind I, i'm gonna just point them out because this is my guy i mean this is no disrespect michael Salvatore. you are the man love you have sky on and all those guys but they'll look at that salary and like you said, future millionaires, they've been in it. You know how long they've they've mm-hmm. acquired that that um increases. And they're like, they if we get rid of him, then we can save ten to fifteen more. You know what I mean? That would equate mm-hmm. that. So it's literally numbers, y'all. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And yeah, and yeah. I'm not justifying it. No legend should be treated that way. I'm just telling you what they're thinking. Like yeah. we targeting these people. And we can get three to four people to do more right. work. For that same, oh, salary. we can get AI, AI. To yep. AI. True. Yeah, work, <laughs> yeah, or, True. I, or outsource, right? That, the that's rise just... of the AI is going to kill a lot of jobs, right? Yeah, and the outsourcers, like you said, because they don't have to pay any sort of benefits. Yep, just no benefits, and then that's it. Oh, we didn't mention um three four three. Um, heard you may have some positions that you may. You know, some former mm-hmm. employees, hey, that might be interested. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and not to mention like. We just got through and, you know, there's still a little bit of it going on with like the, the writer strike. Mm-hmm. I think we're on the verge of like an indi- like a gaming industry strike. Like it's possible. Yeah, there's not too much more of these massive layoffs, mm-hmm. especially from like, look, Bungie, I still don't agree with them laying off people, yeah. but there is absolutely zero reason for Fortnite's publisher to lay off anyone. Mm-hmm. They're the most profitable company in the world right now when it comes to gaming. And it's just like you got they got so much money that people just want a piece of it. But this is what they said, though. They said what happened. What happening was that they started spending more than they were making. It doesn't matter matter how much you bring it in. Good point. If you're spending more than you're making, you're always going to readjust to get fully into the black. Right. Good point. And that doesn't. Yeah. yeah. That's that's why I tell gamers don't get caught up with oh how much revenue somebody Mm -hmm. said they make. Look oh, at how many profit. consoles they yeah. sold. Profit is yeah, look what at the you profit. Is what you're at. Don't yeah. when someone is yelling from the roof. This is the revenue. You don't know what the expense, the costs. Oh, mm-hmm. how y'all listening to him? <laughs> how y'all yeah. listening? Y'all sold how Bro. many? But why is Microsoft right next to stupid people? Because <laughs> <laughs> revenue, revenue, revenue is that is that nice round number, and yeah. profit is a number that's left yes. after you after. pay oh, everybody. Let, yeah. let me let me let me put it in real terms. There's gross and there's net. net. <laughs> <laughs> 
That this gross is, is looking you, nice. Listen, <laughs> it's, it's gross because when you look at your net after you know, oh. everything, you're like, oh, oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Messy. <laughs> Time. It's, messy. It's gross that y'all think that them inflated numbers did anything. Messy. <laughs> See you later, app. Use my <laughs> point. Use my point to, to flip his agenda. Continue. <laughs> and we have Thank Co- Corey Tidwell, five dollars super chat, shaking my head. Bungie fired Michael Salvatore to replace him with AI generated Fruit Loop samples. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they got two pockets. Huh? Sound like elevator music. Damn. They oh. got two pockets. Takashi. <laughs> Messy. Messy. Then we got uh, Corey Tidwell again, five dollars super chat. Forte's at a day party, laying on his stomach on a beach oh, towel. Cut him some slack. Wow. Yeah. Yo, yeah. How they do my Why you like gotta that? be on his stomach though? What's up with you guys yeah. in this stomach? With just the beach towel. <laughs> oh, just the, beach that's the part towel. that's wild. That is that is a far cry from a slop sink. I would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Continue. Then we have Joe Dunmore, five dollar <laughs> super chat. Bungie's still in love with Microsoft. Only got with Sony for the money Ooh. and the open relationship. <laughs> Are you implying that may not be their final destination? It ain't got final shape. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she slided the field the end. So I'm just joking. You know what she wants? She want to be wiped back over her love. She was just using her for the money. She's like, Phil, you know, I was just using her for his time. <laughs> I was gonna get right back. <laughs> <laughs> He was paying the stuff. You didn't want to hang out with me. You weren't paying me no attention, Phil. Yo, that hood rat bungee <laughs> voice is wild. Yeah. Good to you. We have Corey you know I love you. Again. <laughs> my baby daddy. That's my baby daddy. daddy. That's my baby daddy. Not that song, please. Please, not that song. Moving on. Here we have it. Corey Tidwell, five dollars super chat. Sony's a billion dollar company, living paycheck to paycheck, spending all the money on third party side chicks and the main chick too good for Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Yo, that's they wild. pulled up to the Cheesecake Factory. It was that's I ain't going there. What's wrong with you, Jim? Phil takes me. Phil <laughs> takes me to Mr. Chow. <laughs> Oh, Stop him, y'all. He gonna keep you, going. You taking me to cheese? I don't eat cheesecake, Jim. <laughs> Why she gotta be on high and falutin' like that? Time. The door. Jim got out to walk around and lock the door. No, you don't, Jim. No, you don't. This is the Cheesecake Factory. I wanna go to Mr. Child. <laughs> you know what's funny? King always be the one that's like, man, this is long. Yeah, because you Oh, he cooking there. He, got, he getting all his ball. He been today, waiting all week for this. Yeah, today you gonna Dude. do this work. <laughs> King, I want twelve hundred likes. King, 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 King it's five o'clock and, and we done two things. We did two we topics. Two, we did two topics because the there was two. There was two these, bomb topics. Yeah, though. but these these last two topics we're gonna fly through. Yeah, let's go. Right. We said that before. We said that before. <laughs> then we have, then we, have, we have Robert Kelly two dollars. Chat chat. laughing at that Petition voice. Petition for King to talk in Valley Girl voice. <laughs> <laughs> they like do it bougie hood rap voice. They like bougie hood, right? They like what it all. Then we got the list twenty two. Ten dollars super chat. I love Destiny. It was an outlet for me during tough times. My opinion: Destiny has been behind the eight ball since Joseph Staten left mm. in 2013, when leadership forced the reboot of the original story. Mm. Oh, so they've behind the eight ball since before they but lost. No the facts. The story was like retconned. It was so crazy. It was. A, yeah, that's why. It was. A, it was a, why, sorry, please. No, no, no. Hundred percent. It was. I remember. If there's anything I remember about Destiny One, is mm. that it was. Uh, a, a shell of what it was supposed, <laughs> supposed to be at launch. <laughs> in Destiny 2, you started to see the corrections of what was supposed to be in there. They would add yeah. stuff. It was, it was a survival this game even exists. I have to say mm-hmm. that. Like, it was mm-hmm. such a patchwork getting out the door. Yeah. Uh, DC Walks, $5 Super Chat. Bungie needed this wake-up call. You can't leave Destiny the way it is. You're only moneymaker while trying to work mm-hmm. on another game. That's what Attica said. What's, what Attica what, what's said. What's funny is they initially built a game with the community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yo, you, you taking resources away from your money maker for the hope of this something that I might not hit. But yeah, uh-huh. it's, it's, and, and then the, the brain drain at, at Sony, potentially. Then we have MDY, $10 Super Chat. Bungie wonders why revenue is down, but they charge $15 for Ratchet and Clank emotes. Be right back. All right. One quarter of the price of an expansion. Sony didn't realize the real final shape is a downwards bar graph at B- of Bungie's <laughs> financials. <laughs> oh, my God. Messy. Then we have Alvin with the $2 Super Chat. 
No matter what happens to Bungie, Warlock for life. Woo! Going down with the ship. The music's playing. All that. Final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> then we have <laughs> Angry Hippie, $5 in the chat. I feel you. You got to see it I got to see it too, bro. Angry Hippie, five dollar super chat. The Lords are Marty sitting in the DeLorean on a set of train tracks, praying to God to hit eighty-eight <laughs> mile per hour. <laughs> Try to go that time machine. Then we got Gerald Mack. Hold on a second, I'm going back a little bit. Damn. Oh. Okay, Gerald Mack, member for thirty-six months. Lord Silver. This this message goes out to all the PlayStation fanboys. If you kill Call of Duty, you kill PlayStation. Thank you. Carry the hell on. <laughs> yeah, that Call of Duty talk will be funny. Mm -hmm. so we got visual walkthrough, five pounds super chat. The Last of Us factions would work as a Division Two like game, mm -hmm. have PVE in the open world, and have PVP in the zones where if you die, you lose all of your items. Interesting if they would put any PVE portion in it at all, being a mm -hmm. separate. Interesting. Yeah. Then we have one pint Johnny, member for two months. The Lord <laughs> that boy Brian, at the ball. So, that boy at the ball. Pint, baby, that's all it takes. One pint Johnny, that's all he need. <laughs> I, think, though, I, I think Bungie would have flashbacks if they said they were going to support a PvP and a PvE game again. Yeah. Mm. Much love, brothers. Thank you, one pint Johnny. Appreciate you. <laughs> then we got Gamers Play, HUD X Zero, member for 35 months, Lord Bronze. Good afternoon, Lords. Xbox has finally found the tune that they're marching to. Sony becomes it has become tone deaf and are trying to two-step to reggae. And 2024 <laughs> is Xbox. <laughs> wow. Then let's put the crest in the chat for newest member. Uh, got, Lord Gold, KJ Wars, 85. Mm. Shout some, out to you. Put some crest in the chat. Put the, man. Crest in the chat. chat. put the crest in the chat. Welcome, your brother. Then we got Corey Tidwell, two dollars super chat. Y'all got Saucy Santana in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Coco, Coco didn't like what went down. She texted me and she was like, "I need to come on the show too." You know, so all right, Coco, everybody seen you. All right, okay, you done. Hey. All right, let's go, Mama. Shout That's out to it. Coco Chanel Johnson. Johnson. Coco Chanel. Look, look, look. She, she look. All right. That's enough, Coco. <laughs> That's enough, Mama. <laughs> I like that she got a full name like that. <laughs> Coco Chanel Johnson, y'all. Yeah, that's it. Bella Rose Johnson, too. I respect that. Then we got the Liz, $25 super chat. <laughs> they're, exactly. They're Latino. Yeah, they're Spanish. They're Spanish. <laughs> Latinas, exactly. $5 super chat. Added, glad I could assist the show today uh, and clip that moment. Even though I haven't played Destiny lately, I pre-ordered Final Shape. Hashtag, I'm a fraud. <laughs> See, uh, you know, that's it, it, it man. The sound bite of King saying I'm a fraud would have been perfect there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't. Stop it. <laughs> then we have Lord Roughness. Five pounds super chat. I think King is spot on when he says no PS6. Sony are so in trouble. Jim was telling us, and now Xbox has even more games as a service games, literally printing money. <laughs> Yo, Scott said Coco's face it. I thought we was going to miss the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I heard that in my head when he wrote that. <laughs> That's funny. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we have Lord Metroid, member for 25 months, Lord Silver. Destiny, the final shape map is you standing in a corner, so how much? <laughs> uh, two years subs, uh, sub of great content. Thank you, gentlemen. Metroid Prime 4. Yes. Yes, Prime Luke. 4. Launch game for the new Switch. Yes, That's yes, yes. Predicting it now. I think Metroid Prime 4 is a pyramid scheme at this point. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> There we have Lord Roughness once again. Five pounds super chat. Spider Man Two was like a COD weekend event. Those one and <laughs> those one and done games Sony have aren't paying the bills. This is why they have to pivot. It, yeah. it was it was definitely shorter than most of their games. Mm -hmm. You talking about the call uh, COD? No, Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man. No. Mm -hmm. You didn't do all the stuff that you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, uh, I, mean, I, I can't sit there and, and rock with you with that when you just didn't go collect all the stuff. You just mad because I'm making a bite of you saying I'm a fraud. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care about that. Why you think I care about that? Everybody know I'm a fraud anyway. Like, <laughs> You you like you think you got like this e exposable moment. This is like that's like me coming out saying I'm black. Like they know that already. Like, 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 oh my god! This ain't nothing new. Like you know, even the dudes that don't like me, but like he's a fraud. You know too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so what the 
hell, and, man? And, this, this and is there, cool. There, there's King's Twitter in the chat. Oh, my. <laughs> Listen, y'all can go at me all you want. They, the dudes that's going to go, they're going to be like, we already know this attic. <laughs> y'all, should, y'all, y'all should hit attic up with, we know this. Give us stuff since we it, don't know. Since the dude said King is black? <laughs> Yo, they messy. Continue. Yeah. Man, Dingo McThickens. Oh, Five dollar <laughs> super chat. So Jim ain't taking it ain't taking Lance to Charles. <laughs> Lance gotta set up a cheesecake factory. Jim, I said Nance. Phil, well, I heard Lance. <laughs> hey, cheesecake factory is pretty good. It, it is. I hated the fact that they was roasting us when we was in Seattle. Remember when we go to Seattle, we was inside the Cheesecake Factory. That's like, yeah, y'all at the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, first of all, with your McDonald's Happy Meal, first of all, don't be coming at me, all right? <laughs> this place is actually dope. And maybe my standards is just low. But maybe you trying to live above your means and go to Mr. Chow's. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a nice city. We went to seafood. That was the Oh, that spot that dope. we went with Jason. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Yeah, man. I ain't paying these that dudes no case. more. Yeah. Hey, we had to go out of town for the good food. Nah, man. nah. I got to blame Cog on that, on that Jason oh, Ronald place. Man, nah, wow. We're going to keep that a buck. We ain't going to roll. That, so was, it, it, I, it that was, was delicious to me, but yeah, was, I get it. it. All that why talk. Was it delicious? Why was it delicious? <laughs> Tell him. Why? I should have got the pork chop. I, I should have got the pork chop. All that talk and add it. Attic ate all yeah, my rice, bro. All Listen, my fried rice. It, it was food I that they could eat there. Shop, man. Mm-hmm. Like, after, I, I'm not going to lie. No. I was a very salty, jealous individual <laughs> when I saw that pork chop that Saul got. And I'm looking <laughs> at mine and I'm like, oh, damn. Y'all, I don't even eat that. Y'all Yo, just and, uncultured. And, that's and, and, no, no. It's the fa- uncultured. I don't <laughs> eat that crap. Like, everything had pork in Y'all it. Y'all just like, uncultured. What type that's of right. restaurant is this that you're going to get pork flavored water? Like, you know, like what's the <laughs> I'm on Hood King. (laughs) So I'm Hood because I don't want pork. You just don't want to try new things. No, man. Who the hell want pork flavored butter? Like everything (laughs) got pork in it. Like this is absolutely disgusting. Next time we'll go to IHOP. You see, see, he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to fix it. Because, all right, so this joint was one of those traditional dumpling Asian places. Fish. Not saying that it's not dope. Fish. The menu is at a point yeah, where they didn't have the food that I would have eaten. Right? Exactly. Everything in the menu had pork. Now, Everything. for an individual that like pork, it's heaven. It's not a pork. He, you listen, <laughs> Cog doesn't have a, a full restrictions. Like Cog, Cog can eat steak, Cog can eat pork, Cog can eat chicken. I feel you. On full restriction, I feel you. Right. That part, I give you that. I don't eat meat. So yeah. I'm not eating that have, pork. I'm not beef. eating that chicken. You eating with that beef? Pause, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Sound like trying, you. Sound like you against beef. He was trying to stop the beef from getting in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he don't <laughs> like beef in his mouth. That's what it is. He don't <laughs> like the way that feels. <laughs> hey, yo, let's get out of this, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I've been Easy waiting beef. to use my emoji. <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> Oh, I was sitting I know, on that. I know, I know. Ham is like, this is what I was waiting to get on this show for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ham's yeah, here to give to give King some pork. <laughs> we got hey, pork right. form. See, you know what, Ham? Ham, I, I was your friend. I was the only ally that you had here. Look, and, and you gonna say? You gonna say I wanted the pork? Oh, it's, it's, it's in his name. He giving you all the ham. Hey, hey he got ham. Oh, oh, oh it's a beefy situation. We got uh, pork. Yeah. And we got ham. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yo. That's a yeah, that's his man. Uh, ham solo. Hey, I would the like King's to thank, buffet. I would like to thank y'all for showing up for the Iron Lords podcast. Um, I want y'all to have a great time going where y'all gonna go, but the show is over. Hey, somebody said you're gonna get that pork slider. Oh, man. Pork, pork bun. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, yeah, all right. Let's yeah. go, let's go. Let's talk let's about go. it. Let's Move go, let's on, get on, out of here. Next, uh, next BlizzCon, BlizzCon <laughs> is hitting the streets. We got to finish, so finish these damn super chats. BlizzCon is hitting the streets. Said King Pork. <laughs> IOP, we got the meats. <laughs> I mean, Cog, Cog, look Yo. at this, uh, our chat. I put something in the okay. chat. Right? Fair enough, fair enough. Good Good it's Okay. Next time. No doubt. Okay. No doubt. We got we got JD gave a ten dollars super chat. The bottom line is that Ooh. Microsoft will soon own more IPs that were classically associated with PlayStation than what Sony owned. God, Crash, Spyro, and soon Persona. And soon Persona. <laughs> God forgive them if they get Final Fantasy two. PlayStation is down bad. Mm. Thank yeah. you. 
Always objective, JD Game. Always. Appreciate always. You. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Tidwell, five dollars super chat. Final shape is the perfect name. It's like Cog's final shape up when he knew his hairline was gone. Wow. Yo, why you do me like, bro? I still got it though. <laughs> How, what happened? Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh damn, yeah. bro. What, what happened, <laughs> man? We was cool. Now nah, get him. Get him. Trying to say I'm Stephen A. Smith out here. <laughs> damn. Then we got JD Gamer. Oh, is that Who is that? Block Gamer. that man. Who is that? That was, that was Corey, Corey Tidwell. Corey Tidwell. That was foul. <laughs> nah, Corey, you on to something. Corey, you on to something. Block that man. Restrict his rights. Seize Corey, him. You, you Seize him. Keep working, Corey. Keep working. <laughs> Give that man a beat. Exactly. Seize that man. <laughs> out here slandering me. <laughs> And we got JD Gamer. Put the crescent chat for JD Gamer. Gifting five IOP membership. Shout out to you. And then uh, let's put the crest in the chat for. Me- oh no, actually, no, not a new member. A member for three months, Lord Bronze, Mister Shadow. Shout out to Mister Shadow. Appreciate you. Then we got Mandingo McThickens yet again. Two dollars in the chat. Wait, who's going to make King Phil all the meats? <laughs> <Yo. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> then we got Halo Reach Around <laughs> oh, once again. Two dollars super chat. Attic got me harder than the Lion King on SNES. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo! Shout, shout, shout Yo. out to Halo Reach Around, man. At least my person be throwing out money, so <laughs> your person come in there at the one super chat out. My, uh, dude, my dude's on this. Yeah, he he, he he stay on hard. Stay on hard. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, y'all are off the real. What's going on here? You know this is a pause cast the way this is going. <laughs> it went left, right? He said that he was as hard yeah, as the yeah, lion king. Yeah, so he going, stay on hard. Going, <laughs> we got to get to the set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Corey is tripping. Astro Parrot King, uh, member for six months, Lord Bras, Lord Beefy, Lord Pepperoni, Lord Juicy, and Lord of Walk Into a Bar. Lord OnlyFans, Walk Into a Bar. <laughs> they all have to order the same drink or no more Xbox. What drink do y'all pick? Whoa. We should ask Juice for that. <laughs> um, I, I, I would say the LeBron. The LeBlanc, oh, LeBlanc, yeah, Ad- Attic, LeBlanc. Attic never had it though. Yeah, but uh, Attic will defer to us when it comes to drinks. Yeah, because so, he don't really drink like that. Yeah, because yeah, he don't drink at all. So yeah. it'll be the the, the LeBlanc, LeBlanc? Yeah. because the LeBlanc is not harsh on your throat. And I yeah. say Attic, you know, have the you know the problem yeah. with his throat. Pause. So um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong time to bring that up. This is the wrong time. That is a normal gene, yeah. right? King? Yeah, because yeah, he has Addy has a bad gag reflex. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 that reflex is flexing. Yeah, that yeah. reflex is flexing. I, 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 I already have some throat issues and oh. some heat issues there, King. <laughs> So left today. It's all. It's all of us fault. Yeah, this, this, this is what this is what we get for being an inclusive and accepting. Podcast. <laughs> we need to. We need to start censoring people again. That's what we need to do. All this First Amendment right stuff in here. <laughs> Yo, we <laughs> lost. We lost a hundred people. <laughs> we lost a hundred people <laughs> off of off of that. hundred people got turned off. They, they, it's like, oh, they bugged out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We was at eleven there. Yeah, we went down and down. Yeah, we lost a <laughs> hundred like, nah, people. Yeah, it was like nah. From from Attic saying that they was like, oh no, 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 he's being disrespectful. Yeah, they, they, we we, we <laughs> lost we lost the group like, today. You're not, you not talking about me having a throat issue. I, oh, I was just man. bringing it up the fact that it drinks though. <laughs> Yo, listen, y'all stick around. Don't leave like those hundred people that got turned off. Don't leave because we got something special at the end of the show. Yeah, so I guess we're going with the LeBlanc, right? LeBlanc. Yeah, LeBlanc. Yeah, the LeBlanc. LeBlanc. So, so uh, a LeBlanc is it's not actually called oh, LeBlanc. Oh no, <laughs> we're, we're being hit, we're happened? being hit with. Uh, uh, it was a us? it was a YouTube ad roll. That's what it was. Oh, okay, okay. So they didn't really leave us. Is that you? Was, yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah. they was monetizing. Okay, okay. So the drink is called a caparina. Yes. Caparina. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Don't say that again, Addy. Yeah, don't <laughs> say that word. Again. Yeah. Ooh, it, you you, it you flipped it. Wrong, you flipped it into something yeah. else. I, I, you don't I, even I realize it. What you said. Nah, yeah, nah, no, bro. No, let's, no, leave it. It. let's not repeat <laughs> that. Let's move on. Yeah, next. <laughs> that was wild. Then we got Joe. Then we got Corey Tidwell, two dollars super chat. Hold the hairline. 
wow, wow. Listen, man, I advanced my joint. Don't even try that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. As far as six six one two dollars to be chat. Lechong from the Philippines. Mmm, lechong. Yum, yum, yum. Lechong, lechong. <laughs> there we got JD Gamer member for forty three bucks. Look, bronze question for the panel: What classic IP that Microsoft now owns will Microsoft bring back to the triple A space? Mm, sound like StarCraft based on the business. I don't know. Yeah, Star sounds like StarCraft, right? In some way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to see Tenchu Ooh, come back. Yes, 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 uh, yes. They got, you know, they got Arcane there. Arcane make a for like a third person action game, uh, stealth. Yeah, I would love to see that. <laughs> Reach back to the 360 PS3 days and pull out Deadpool. Ooh, Let's try it again. That's a good one. Yes. Time. <laughs> all right then we got country big 94 two oh, pounds super chat loving all this meat on a sunday night pause <laughs> <laughs> so, off the top you. rope with that one huh country <laughs> big all right let's see what you then doing. we got nintendo the otaku two dollars super chat everybody's getting it on this now what's not harsh on your throat king <laughs> <laughs> yeah king tell Go us ahead, get, tell us <laughs> He's like, nah, he don't want to turn his camera off. <laughs> he want to answer that. <laughs> Moving on, done. Trying to help Lord, you out there. Lord Metroid, two dollars super chat. So, addict that can't have swallowing problems. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. man, wow! Since y'all was comparing notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have swallowing problems. King has meat problems. Oh, wow. man. It's, it's pills. Man. It's pills for my problems. <laughs> <laughs> that can be fixed. <laughs> can Shout do. out to Blue Chew for Ooh. the new sponsorship. <laughs> the new sponsorship. But your man at it, he got a problem. <laughs> we got to get with Cameron. New sponsored by Horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. And tell him, Attic, it don't go down easy. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow. <laughs> Go leave me alone, man. Don't come for me unless I send for you, boy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. And we are caught up wow. finally. finally. Let's, right, let's go. go. BlizzCon. So, have you want to talk about anything you saw? I like it. You just want me to set it up all, all for you? Uh, I mean, BlizzCon. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, what did they talk about? I'll um, set it up. I'll set Diablo up. 4. Yeah, I can do it real quick. I'm oh, okay. Really so, yeah, BlizzCon happened uh, last week. Um, and they, you know, we're obviously the first time it's under the Microsoft umbrella, right? So uh, maybe there were some expectations about what, what could be said or whatnot. But again, we already know that a lot of the conversation is about what the impact of this uh, union is going to be is going to really happen next year. So uh, first thing is that they named the Diablo 4's first expansion. It will be called the Vessel of Hatred. And I think that is, <laughs> yeah. that is a, that is a, that's a Diablo name. That's for sure. The vessel mm -hmm. of hatred. Um, they're going to have a never before seen class, which is interesting. Yes, it's fun. Yes, yes, it's yes. New classes to Diablo is always, cause it always throws everything off. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fun to see what that is. And then, then they announced the next three expansions for world of Warcraft. They, uh, they now have this new story beat called the world, uh, the world soul saga, that's going to be uh, that that basically a t story that's going to take up these three expansions. So we're looking at probably easily the next five years of WoW that they, that they talked about. Uh, speaking of games that still keep on have had their ups and downs, but just keep on ticking. There's WoW, um, mm -hmm. and there's also you know the speculation about it may be coming to a console at some time. So yes. again, which king is the for? Another another great thing that they've done is that they separated Core WoW from uh, what you call it from WoW Classic, right? They allow a lot of people going back to want to play the original WoW and how it was before all the changes. Um, so now they added Cataclysm, I believe, to that, um, which is something that in the original WoW changed everything, right? So yeah, that they're was adding dope. It. Yeah, that was dope, <clears throat> but it was a, a big change. So for a lot of people who wanted to play the old school and have Cataclysm come in and not make those changes. They're kind of doing that for you now as well. So it's cool that they're running those two in parallel. Um, and then we have a new character for Overwatch 2, yes. Malga, which yeah. is the game's uh, the first Samoan hero. Looking very, um, what is that movie with The Rock as the... You're it's welcome. A, it's an animated movie, is it called? <laughs> <laughs> um, Moana. Moana, yeah. Very look, mm. looking like The Rock and Moana. Um, let's see what else we have. Hearthstone expansions. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Diablo's getting a tabletop RPG. And then Phil comes out and he says, Hey, what's up? I'm here. <laughs> what's going on, y'all? 
Um, introduced by Mike Ibarra, old the old gang. Exactly the oh exactly the old gang is all in tow, and basically Phil came out to say, hey, we're gonna do everything we can to empower them, to empower Blizzard to make the type of games that they want to make. So that's cool because again, like like Cog said, that it that creates a scenario where it's possible for games like StarCraft and, and Warcraft proper to come back. Who knows, man? Even a scenario where maybe a StarCraft ghost comes Ooh. out of the <laughs> comes yeah, out of the I, I want that. cemetery. Yeah. Like, so it's very cool, and it's what we've always talked about, right? What we hope is that 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 part of this union is that it allows some of these old franchises to come back in some way, shape, or form. So that was cool to see. It's cool to see, you know, that you know Microsoft didn't tow with them. Um, nothing here that was really exciting to me. Again, I would again, I I don't expect any sort of big world changing things yet to be announced. Um, but yeah, but yeah, WoW is still kicking, and the fact that I, a long time ago I used to be, I used to say like, yo, WoW should they should give WoW a makeover, right? WoW should be they should make it super pretty and whatever, and make it more modern. I kind of disagree with that now. I'm like, you know what? Keep it where it is. Everybody can join in if they want. It's not the prettiest game in the world, but it's clean and it runs on everything. Um, and that's what they want to not, you know, keep making money without having to invest oodles of it as well. Mm -hmm. Even though obviously it's a lot of money to make these expansions, but it seems like they see the benefit to doing that. So it's it's cool to see that WoW is still kicking. How many years later, King? Like, is it more that's, than a, it, is it more than a yeah. decade? Yeah. This is it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So so that's it. That's it. What did you guys think of it? Yeah, get uh, ham, Lord Ham Solo. Did you get a chance to uh, watch BlizzCon or catch any of the news? Man, I tell you, <clears throat> Mike, uh, Mikey Barr on stage was fighting for his life. <laughs> the tears <laughs> from rolling down. Man, that, that man for real. Um, he, he, he was about to cry up there on stage. Um, but shout out to him. He was very proud. Yes. He was very proud proud of him and his team and the folks that came out to check out mm -hmm. um a blizzcon i believe he was saying that that was his first actual blizzcon being at mm -hmm. live and uh same oh, with bill true. spencer yeah. as yeah. well yeah. Yeah. Bill spencer said that was his first one that he's ever been at as well funny and, huh <clears throat> it, yeah pr pr pretty wild um but watching and seeing what phil spencer was saying it was pretty dope because he said after mike said it mm -hmm. that they're doubling they, 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 not really doubling down but they're really getting after uh what they believe is good for them yes what they want to build they're actually able to go after it now in comparison to i'm guessing before where they were kind of more tightly funded they're actually going to be able to have the funding to produce more out of these games and actually spread them out because that one big point that they made that they've been making for the last few years is we want you guys to be able to play our games anywhere however you want to yes. and whatnot so in my mm -hmm. opinion i hear that and i think okay wow on console is that what you're telling me right now mm -hmm. are you telling me that we're gonna be seeing I mean... starcraft Coming me, back sooner than we think. Kingman sent me some article right now that makes it seem like <laughs> uh, those those discussions may be happening. You mm -hmm. know already. Uh, shout out to an official uh, affiliate. That, 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 that is, we would have moved up we, now. We, we have <laughs> a lot of people in the field. Um, we don't. We don't sit there and disparage against people's credentials. GamesRadar.com, <laughs> whom I've heard of. Whom oh, I've heard of. Yeah. <laughs> could uh, could <laughs> World of Warcraft uh, finally come to consoles? The MMO's executive producer says we talk about it all the time. They say it's well positioned to finally bring the MMO to consoles. So yeah, can the news with this? Uh, this was one day ago. It's 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 uh, timely. Yeah. It's not two years ago. It's a <laughs> reputable site. <laughs> Hasn't yeah. been translated from another yeah. from a long dead language. Yeah, Reddit <laughs> guy and them said. <laughs> Peace. Yeah, so it's like, it looks official, man. It looks official. Yeah. Continue, Ham. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're good. Um, absolutely. But yeah, I, I, I'm just excited to see what they have here um, in, in the next few years to come. Um, I was I kind of went into the event a little over overzealous thinking yeah. that, you know, here, here we might hear something right now. Mm -hmm. little, oh, maybe they're not porting exactly, you know, the stuff that we've been seeing, but maybe they might give us something new mm. that didn't exactly happen, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> which it is what it is. But 
it's just really nice to see that this merger was like authentic in the sense of happy, proud, have a direction. I didn't oh. see Bungie have a have have a press conference and come out here and say, "Man, we're so proud of what Sony did for us," and we actually have our uh, our our, our uh, roadmap, you know, s- s- somewhere where you can see and verify what we're actually trying to. Work That's on, is right? the difference when you pay in cash and you pay on debit. I mean, oh, on credit. Damn. There's a difference, bro. There's a difference, bro. Oh, Install- oh, installments, oh, installments hit different, man. Do your oh, homework on installments shit. hitting different, man. Oh, okay, David. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to be uh, a shot. My, 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 my final thing I was just getting ready to say is it, it, it was just cool to see that what they wrote on you know social media and Twitter and stuff like that mm-hmm. translated to me seeing him on stage yeah. and the <clears> way <throat> he felt. I was like, yo, they were for real when they said they were happy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well said. Lord Addict, uh, how are you feeling about this Blizzard, BlizzCon? Anything catch your eye? I think they will definitely be a asset to Xbox. I, I actually think they will be more of an asset than, uh, asset than like uh, Bethesda because I feel mm-hmm. like they have some really solid IPs. Now, as far as like which one's going to deliver more, it's just a toss up. I think, you know, wow. The only game I can really compare like to uh to wow's like elder scrolls for uh for bethesda it's just you know blizzard got like icon defining games like hearthstone wow overwatch like it's like usually when one of their big games comes out diablo like they got they got you you could run the whole the whole console off one of these games yeah games uh so you know i I think they're going to really use those to their advantage you know I'm kind of curious if, you know, what if they make something new that's going to be exclusive. I would say it would be, uh, because you know, they had the opportunity, uh, PlayStation had the opportunity to, to make sure that it happened, but you know they didn't sign that first deal and they signed the one for just <laughs> Call of Duty. So to me, it's just like why if if you didn't have intentions <clears throat> to make exclusives, you would have just let them sign the same deal that was going to sign the first time. So. Mm-hmm. It's just like it seemed like Microsoft was able to, you know, get away with just Call of Duty. And I, I feel like, you know, PlayStation is going to regret that in the future because, mm. you know, I, I think it's going to be one of those things where it's like, you know, Diablo 4, that's on PlayStation. But where's Diablo 5? Mm. Five, was- six years down the road. Where's this new IP that they're supposedly making? You know, if they make a, a StarCraft, where's that going? Probably PC first or maybe Xbox and PC at the same time. Like, you know, pe- people... It, console they, sells after wow comes out the console that will be something to look at to instead point. of people trying to build all these crazy pcs yeah and to add point, point, during the trial remember what um judge corley indiana jones was she, too. yeah she she said what what access she's like well why is why is you guys worried about call of duty won't you know sony be okay with that and then she was alluding like diablo and all the other blizzard franchises she doesn't see any problem if there was to be if Microsoft decided to be exclusive because she was trying to understand the Sony argument. Why can't you just? She make- is like, why do we need to save Kong? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Kong is a monster. <laughs> Kong is a king, right? He been fighting. Why do we need to keep interjecting? You're wrong. All right, that's you know, your let, funniest one. I ain't go for it. Yeah, yeah. When you do the same Kong, I can't stop but laugh. That joint is hilarious because I remember the movie <laughs> and he, I, I when he was I laid out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go on the boat. He was like, yeah, oh, after they pulled him up for the. Oh. Water. Oh God! I think you're Godzilla missing. took him deep under the water. <laughs> Godzilla was drowning him. I think I think you're gonna eventually see. You know, people talk about Starfield. It's like these aren't the games that's going to annoy and piss people off. It's gonna be Elder Scrolls Six, Diablo mm. Five. Mm. Uh, you know, the next you know Star Starcraft is a huge franchise, right. and if that's coming to consoles, but not one console. You know, it's especially Elder Scrolls Six. People thought Starfield was annoying. Facts. Wait till Elder Scrolls Six comes yeah. out. Starfield did all that. That was a new IP. This is an established legend IP. Like, yeah, people gonna see. And, and imagine if you know Blizzard being free, because you know it's kind of ironic that they're not 
seeing them anymore as Activision, Blizzard, King. Yeah, they just Blizzard. They're seeing now. them as Blizzard, yeah. Activision, and King because they were one company, but now the whole company's with Xbox. So I could see that company being split up into its three counterparts, and you know, Blizzard being able to run on its own. And I have a whole lot of people to uh, answer to, and you know, especially giving creative freedom to these uh, studios. I, I think I think they're going to do some good things. I do. You know, I don't really care to, for too much of their products besides like Overwatch. And, you know, that's up and down for me. But yeah. I, I feel like Blizzard is going to be uh, a huge tool that that Xbox uses to compete. No doubt. No doubt. King thoughts on uh, BlizzCon. Well, my, 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 my thing is, oh, Mikey Barra, this yeah. was your first one, right? You've been there for a while, but Phil was like, everybody need to show up. <laughs> 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 this is my first, your first two, let's go. <laughs> uh, I, I put on your best, uh, you know, BlizzCon clothes, let's go. Mm -hmm. I think this is the first BlizzCon since the pandemic started, though. And I don't think there was one last year. No, nah, no, nah, but but the best uh, it's, it's just jokes though. But um, the best part about this is the roadmap. Looking forward, as you know, Ham was saying, and the fact of the matter is now that Microsoft owns the situation, financial backing is cool. Um, these developers they get a chance to start expressing themselves with these games. We can finally see World of Warcraft on console. Wow, that was huge. Literally. Uh, because you know, there's no reason for it not to be there. You no, know, you have the resources now to uh, get an exploratory team and to get in the control schemes down pack and get that stuff over there. And even if the control scheme is you bring out a mouse and keyboard uh, type of peripheral for your Xbox that is dedicated to that game to get all out of that game, that is quite possible mm. for you to do so. You know, um, it, it opens up a larger demographic and it also opens up uh, a bigger, more robust uh, catalog because those people that play Age of Empires, if it's not, you know, crafted to a controller and you can get some hybrid of a controller slash keyboard, something made up for these PC titles that needs that extra input. Think about what I'm saying to you guys. You can corner the market on console gaming and on, on for the PC games that don't hit that target audience or is restrictive when it comes to controls mm -hmm. and you can broaden the base. You, you made a uh, intuitive controller for the handy capable people. Mm -hmm. You can make an intuitive controller for the PC merger that you have done now, because remember blizzard is really PC centric. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to show that you're embracing their roots yeah. and also telling the console people, we're not going to leave you behind and you can merge the two worlds with that controller. My concept, I want PC you when that happens. Ooh, get, you cut know, that baby uh, check. <clears throat> yeah, you know, Greeny, you know what's up. <laughs> um, But the fact of the matter is these games have a lineage and it brings that robust lineage over to Microsoft. They have, they, they're part of BlizzCom now, mm -hmm. right? So now these cons that go on in a year, it, Microsoft has, with this purchase, has garnered a group of rabbit fan base guys when it comes for BlizzCom. Then you have the Candy Crush people then you have, uh, I saw a Warzone app. I see these apps that, that people were sending me that I didn't know that was associated with Activision Blizzard. Mm. But these apps are number one to number 20 in the world. Mm. And as far as paid revenue coming back, it ain't really about the Call of Duty stuff as far as console and PC goes. It's really about the mobile hit and the reoccurring revenue, like Sovereign was saying, that it doesn't take that much to put into Candy Crush as much as a triple A game, but you're getting triple to quadruple return on investment over said quad, uh, triple A game. So is this level of passive income that will continue to roll in that will fund creativity going forward? And I saw the the pride of the people at BlizzCom and yeah. the the thoughts of the future is bright. So I, I, I was excited. I will probably go to a con one of those BlizzCons or something now that I haven't ever been to. Yeah, um, I'll jump in. And um, yeah, look, it was something that was really cool to see, you know, them actually, like, you know, Ham was saying, like, you know, 
it's one thing to talk about it and yo, we're excited and whatever. And it's another thing to have that physical presence and to be there. And obviously the sim symbolism of of Phil being there on stage and saying this is his first one. Sure, oh, sure, I got to shout out to the Dominus though. Did y'all yeah. see that jacket? That jacket was mm -hmm. on. That jacket mm -hmm. was on. God Howard, he put you on notice, man. The boy had the black yeah. jacket. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he looked over at Todd. He was like, yo, you know him for the jack. Hold on, man. Yeah, I, so, look, I don't know, Phil. Look like that AVK. Somebody hit you with a bonus. Or something. something went down. Because yeah. your drip yeah. is crazy, bro. I'm just, just putting yeah. it out there. Jack yeah. was fired. Pocket, pocket watching. Pocket I was pocket watching. watching. I ain't even going to hold you. I was definitely, I was definitely <laughs> pocket watching in the situation. Yeah. But um, no, nah, look, it, it was dope. Um, You know, for me, obviously, the history between Mike as an Xbox former, you know, life yep. for it, so to speak. Him presenting Phil saying we used to play games together, that kind of stuff, which is real. Like Mikey Barr is a gamer. Phil Spencer. He's a huge game. gamer. They're like, this is for real. There's nothing made up about what they were talking about. So you got that. And then later obviously to see Rod come out. So it was like the old gang back together, you know what I'm saying? Which is really dope. So that that was Backstreet the... boy. <laughs> No, nah, we not doing that. So, <laughs> so, I already been through that. <laughs> we are not doing everybody. We're gonna oh. simultaneously dance. Oh man! Time. Everybody back together. Nah, yeah. man, you trying to make that's very Beta Boys energy. Yeah. Yo, so, so, all right. So, so they did menudo. They got menudo back. Yeah. Very Beta Boys energy. We gonna move on, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it was dope to see and the fact that like I said um, yeah Blizzard is an important point Attic made a good point like this is the PC's community baby and, and to see them have Xbox branding in yep. association with that is huge to know that they are going to be supported to have that separation from Activision Blizzard like they're going to get hopefully the support that they need um diablo is what i care about obviously the expansion what is it um the vessel what was it season of the vessel what was it called vessel of hatred vessel um of hatred. continuing the story the lilith story is fire that people don't realize it's not just an mo mm -hmm. that story that campaign it's is dope. dope so to continue that and anybody that ended no mephisto's in the background now, yeah as a silver server fan who loves this you know mephisto storyline i love to hear his story in games so that's going to be dope um and then think about this king most likely next year by that time, that thing should be in Game Pass by the time that expansion comes out. That is huge. That influx mm -hmm. of Diablo Game Pass, you know, quote unquote. I can't wait till they put all the Diablos in Game oh, Pass. Crazy. Diablo's gonna be crazy. Then obviously the DLCs on those is crazy. Crazy. Insane. And obviously Overwatch got its love, new character. Yep. I was hoping for a little narrative. Yeah, the new content. character is dope. Yeah. A little narrative content to see that, you know, they're supporting. It looks like the community is happy. I try I look, again, I'm not a PC gamer. You see like they that. got a dating sim up in there now? Yes. Yeah. I peeked that homie <laughs> with the arrow. I said, Oh man, they going all the way with it. But I wanted to get a feel from the WoW community. Shout out to um Lord PD. Shout out to um, Ty, because uh, I wanted to get an idea of how people were feeling with the announcement. So the vibe I get is that Ty are... got Travis plays. No, 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 Ty, our Ty. From oh, our Ty. Oh, okay. Ty really plays Overwatch. So excuse me, but okay. PD is where I wanted to get to because y'all see streams, wow, every day. Like this is what he does. So you go to the hardcore, like how we feeling. So his thing was the biggest thing was the stuff that Phil and Mikey Barr was saying. People feel reinvigorated the commitment to it and obviously they got a lot of content the negative yeah. he said was just that they're almost assassin's creed where it's just so much content it's like you know assassin's creed gonna have like four or five Blue. games coming yeah. so Blue. that yeah that, that's the only concern because it's like yo you you never could catch up kind of thing but overall people were happy so look it was dope to see you know blizzcon you know out there in full effect to see a live show and uh yeah this is a great start man i'm super excited i think it's, it's gonna be this is one of the part of deals that we don't talk about a lot and i think it should do well as even the pc game pass part where they're yeah, getting a lot i of think growth. i think it's blizzard hopefully gets their luster back yes because blizzard was untouchable for a long time mm -hmm. and then activision it, it just it just destroyed that kind of so it's, yeah. it's good to see that they're excited about the opportunity to get back to where they were. Absolutely. Do we want to combine the last topic and just just yeah, let's go just go through it? Yeah, it. let's go pop through. All right. So um, this one, obviously, Modern Warfare Three, <laughs> lot out there in these streets and uh, reviews are out there and just talk about ads and wherever y'all want to go with this is where y'all want to go with it. So we just got to talk about it. So Ham, like, I don't know if you got a chance to see. Obviously, there, there was a 
couple of reviews, or actually just one review, <laughs> you know, say that um, people may have had some issue with, or you know, about the shortness of the campaign. I believe IGN um, had a single player campaign review again, just a single player. They did rate it a four. This was has created uh, some controversy online in reference to the score in comparison to other games. Then obviously um, we have the ads thing. So it looks like. As soon as you boot up your Xbox, I wouldn't notice because my Xbox is on instant on or whatever. Yeah. So I've never seen one ad for Xbox. But apparently this has been going on since like Starfield and all the major releases. There has been when you boot up your Xbox, you know, the option to to pick it up or whatever. And it caused a little controversy with the with the community, you know, as far as, you know, is this too intrusive? Is this too much? Where do you stand on both issues, Lord Ham Solo? Oh dang! I mean, hopefully they don't have Paramount because whenever, <laughs> anytime you hit pause on that, there's an ad. Yeah, are you implying you don't turn ads on happen Steam. every day? B, half are you implying? <laughs> half time you turn on Steam, there's an ad. Half time you turn on Epic, there's an ad. Mm -hmm. Why are we acting like this is new? Ads, I mean, ads have been in consoles for a hot minute now, <laughs> and, and, and 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 now this one shows up, and people forgot where the B button is. Like, like, like they just don't know where it is. They just lost. They just don't know where that B button is. Mm -hmm. I think it's silly. Mm -hmm. and, and then on top of that, we have this uh, 4 out of 10 rating from IGN, which mm. if you want to give a game a 4 out of 10, do whatever you want to do. But my problem is when there's a level of consistency that's missing. Mm. So people are like, oh, man, this game is too short. Where have you been? <laughs> I, I, I don't remember hearing too much about that with uh, uh, Black Ops Cold War. That game was like four and a half hours. Mm. So I'm just like, where, where, where's that? There's too many guns? What does that even mean in a gun <laughs> game? So like, I, I, I mean, just hearing part of that review, I'm just like, uh, this is kind of giving me a headache. Like, it just like, like any of these reviews anymore feels like more more of a clickbait than actual information to get me interested or disinterested into a game okay. so that's kind of the way i looked at that whole thing i think this game you know it's it's receiving the microsoft tax oh are you in gonna... because they are owned now by, by a new, new new company that that the level of review would, would change is, is that's what's going on what are we doing I'm saying these fools are acting like they got pepper sprayed. Because yep. they can't they they, 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 they they having a hard time seeing what's been right in front of them for the longest time. Mm. This game has been doing the same type of assets for a minute now. This game's been <laughs> half like I, I just don't understand where the four really and, and I get it, it's only for the campaign part, right? right? And, and and that I feel like is the excuse that they're trying to lean on the hardest because they know at the end of the day, this game is gonna sell like crazy. It's a play on nostalgia when you mm. look at the whole game, especially with the whole multiplayer uh feature added mm -hmm. to it. So I'm excited for it. There ain't man. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing you really somehow rated this game worse than Quantum Air. Mm. You're going to say that's the Tell worst. Tell the truth, shame the that, devil, bro. <laughs> you, you, you're going to say that this is the worst PlayStation game or PlayStation 5 game to come out. And then you're going to say Call of Duty is somehow worse? Some, Call of Duty is somehow around the, the same area as a Gollum? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not buying it. Okay. I am not buying that nonsense that they're spewing. Dog, I'm done. <laughs> no, fair. Hey, you, you stood on it. You stood, I, was, I was instigated. I just wanted to see where you was going to go. <laughs> I didn't know what's up, but I'm glad you, you, you said your piece. You know, no doubt. Lord Addict, Call of Duty in the news. Uh, the review, like I said, uh, I give, I'll give it a four right now. And then, for, again, just single player campaign. And then, obviously, you know, the Xbox community, some are very upset about the ad being plastered when you boot up your Xbox. Your thoughts, please. First thing I'll do is I'll talk about the ad thing mm -hmm. uh, because I'm about to... More people from IGN probably go and follow me after this. But um, <laughs> uh, So when it comes to the ad thing, it don't bother me, but I understand people get very, like, very jumpy when it comes to stuff like this because they feel 
I don't feel like the as the issue. I feel like the fear can go further is the issue. Mm -hmm. And as of now, I'd have no issue. But if they started playing trailers that I had to watch, and it's like 30 seconds you could skip, then then I'd be on Twitter with you guys. But I agree. Ju just just a posting. It, it'd be different if they're trying to show me like a pair of Jordans. No, they're trying to show you stuff you buy in the actual store. Fair enough. Uh, you know, once again, people pointed out. Where was this energy towards Starfield and Forza being there? Yes, which had same, yeah. same ones. No one seemed to have an issue. It seemed like this is more of a, it's not the game I want to play, so I'm going to complain. And that that's fine. And mm -hmm. it's like I said, I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to say you have no reason to be nervous. I'm just saying as of right now, I don't think we should jump out windows. Right. All right. Now, it's IGN <laughs> thing. Mm-hmm. I actually investigated this pretty hardcore, Ooh, and um, it's it's bad. Like, you know, I'm not gonna. I was gonna screen share, but I'm not gonna do that. So mm -hmm. you guys can can follow along. Mm -hmm. Person who reviewed is a person named Simon Cardi. Okay. All right. So <laughs> you look oh, at man. you look yeah. at the well, hold up. You look at the reviews. <laughs> mm-hmm. They reviewed Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 single player campaign review. Mm -hmm. They reviewed Marvel Spider Man 2 review. Mm -hmm. They reviewed Secret Invasion Episode 3 review. Mm -hmm. They reviewed uh, Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores review. Okay, people catching, are you okay? Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. They reviewed Last of Us Season 1 final review. Okay. Last of Us Season eight, uh, uh, Episode 8. Last of Us <laughs> Episode 7. HBO Last of Us Episode 6. So okay, you're implying that there, there is I'm, a... I'm hearing some name going on in the background. What's going the on? Mountain review. Mm -hmm. <laughs> HBO Last of Us Episode 5. Episode 4. Episode 3. Episode Are you implying two, this person has an affinity one. for Sony products? Then they... Well, it's like still in the review. They did or, review some mm -hmm. Anders stuff. That's cool. Okay. God of War Ragnarok. They're the mm -hmm. person that reviewed God of War Ragnarok. Then more Anders thing. Overwatch 2. So they did review Overwatch 2, but the majority of the stuff this individual is reviewing is TV shows. Oh, okay. All so you're going that route. Oh, movie. okay, okay. My no, bad. it's it's definitely the... They're reviewing every every PlayStation game, essentially. Just about. Okay. Now, they did review Call of Duty Vanguard campaign. They did mm -hmm. review that, and I don't remember what they gave it. Uh, they gave it a... I think it's like a seven. So they gave it a seven. That's mm -hmm. before it was bought. All right. So <laughs> now, all I'm saying is Loki, all the Loki games. They did review a couple games in 2021. This person essentially reviews TV and PlayStation games. Mm -hmm. now let's Ooh. 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 It gets worse. It gets worse. Now, maybe you're thinking maybe this is a, a common practice for mm -hmm. IGN. Maybe all of them constantly dipping in and out of multiple genres mm -hmm. let's go to lena harford harder i don't know what her name is whatever this person's name is let's let's check out theirs mm -hmm. they reviewed city skylines total war dune boulders gate 3 boulders gate 3 review and process they reviewed aliens dark covenant okay maybe that's not enough for you guys it's one <laughs> let's check out jake jared green another reviewer person he got reviewed time today Reviewed Hellblade, rev uh, Hellboy. Reviewed uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, mm -hmm. WrestleQuest, Double Dragon Gaiden, AWE Fight Forever. Yes, Explain to me, King, how all these people have been doing nothing but reviewing games, but the only person that is reviewing Call of Duty at this time is only reviewing PlayStation games and TV shows. I guess no one was available. No one's available to it. review a Call of Duty game. Don't they have a person that plays Call of Duty there that has uh, Call know. of Duty on their That's resume? Besides the fact. So then I started, uh. you know, let's, let's go to people I know. Let's uh. go to people that, you know, Ryan McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. uh. He didn't review Starfield a couple months because I was told he doesn't review games. Hey, King, tell me why he reviewed Mario uh, Wonders. Uh. Uh. Someone explain that to me. <laughs> it's different it's when you do your homework, right? It, it, he, he reviewed <laughs> Somerville. New uh, new tales from the borderlands. What? <laughs> this is like, look, Ryan McCaffrey. <laughs> he clearly it. doesn't review a lot because he's more of the the management. But so clearly, level. if he wants to review a game, he can grab that. Uh huh. It's just like, look, you know, I got to mm. be honest with you. To be a hundred with you, the majority of the uh, the industry when it comes to media 
Uh, they're all fraudulent to me. I don't mm. respect the majority of them. Oh, I you said they did, so I, I I think they just do it for a job. Now, obviously, that's not the whole that's not the whole canvas. Now, if oh, some okay. of you in the canvas want to get upset because I, I I labeled all of them. Go ahead, mute me on Twitter, block me on Twitter. I don't care. Oh no. Uh, but all I'm saying is, uh, there are people I do respect. You do, Travis Ty guy. Mm-hmm. Tell him I respect his his. Uh, did he review it? No, he didn't. But why not? That's not the point. I'm talking about oh, okay. the people I do respect that review oh, oh, stuff. Oh, 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 I sorry. respect bad, his reviews. Sorry. Sorry. There are people that Ryan? review stuff in this industry, huh? Do you respect Ryan? Ah, uh, there are people in this industry <laughs> hey, that yo. I do wow. respect. That I do feel go into this in a genuine. T- the reason I don't know about Ryan is because I don't know why he didn't review Starfield at this point. If Tell he him. reviewed Mario, that's just. Until I hear that, they're picking I and choosing know. at it. But what if he it's had his schedule? What that, if he wasn't available? You so you mean to tell me he he could, he was available to review Mario, but not the game he has been re, been covering for like five I mean, he, years? He, Brian's been saying it for the longest time. He doesn't play like he doesn't have the bandwidth to play games like that. But so Mario, Starfield, right? Mario's not a long he game. He still played it. That's what reviewing process is for. They do it all the time. But it's not a long oh. game. Oh. Impressions. We, process. we do it. We we do it. Process. Like, yeah, like if you go to LordsGaming.net, we do reviews and process. <laughs> so you, you know, you know the person that reviewed, like the, the person that reviewed Starfield is a is a Bethesda head, right? Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, I could pull up his jacket. I looked at it too. Oh, you know I mean? we got time <laughs> well, today. It's just, like, <laughs> it's just like, look, at the end of the day, get him, I, I, I'm not saying that everyone that works at these media outlets are frauds, but I, one other thing I will say is they're the first people that slide in my DM say, Attic, you're being too much on uh, on Twitter. You need to calm down. But they, they the don't ever come in my DM, I'm, pause. No, they're the first ones that pop out on, <laughs> they're the first ones that pop out on Twitter when nothing with something that they feel entitled to, and they out there port begging pretty much. Why did uh, I get this code? So it's okay. The yo, what you call that? What you it, call that? I never I heard that before. Be- port port begging. begging. You port begging. <laughs> don't be out here port begging. It, it, it's just like, look, <laughs> I understand. If this was a small game, I'd be like, I'd be right there with you guys. I'd be like, you know what? This is a little interesting. It's a little. But tell me how the person that reviewed Call of Duty Modern Warfare only reviews God of War and TV shows. Uh, tell them. <laughs> tell them. It em. just makes no sense to me. It's like it no one like was a available. It looked like You know, and, and you know, part, people say, well, what's your problem with the media? The media don't respect me, so I don't respect them. Oh, oh. Uh oh! Because every time I turn around, they say some slick shit, and I'm gonna cuss. I don't Ooh, care. They say some true slick shame. stuff the about content creators, even holding on to this. Podcasters and streamers. Every time I turn around, they got some slick stuff to say. Uh huh. So you know what? You I'm gonna say work. how I see it. You Why this is work. this person reviewing a game when the only thing they review is TV shows? And, and PlayStation exclusive games, including the VR for Horizon. Because they're trying someone to save Kong. That to me. They're trying to save Kong, son. They're trying to save Kong. So someone explain that to me, and then and then I'll, I'll step off. My my DMs are open. As it's long open. as I as long as I push the accept button. Come on through, my dude. Oh, it's explain only space and opportunity. Me. But guess what, King? They have no answers. They don't have a word. Yeah, I got it out. I'm done. I didn't, I didn't do anything looking yet. like Mark Jackson for I real. I didn't do though. anything yet. He just passed the rock like mm-hmm. ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not sorry. Your, your thoughts. So, and, uh, <laughs> obviously a very spicy topic um, with uh, Call, of Duty, Call of Duty score. Or right, now, obviously, the ads popping up on Xboxes. All of y'all jumping to defend this game or even talk about this game that never haven't played this game in like a decade. Game. Yeah, a bunch of frauds and shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. I feel you. You're going to get this. You're going to get this. Fraud alert. Fraud alert. Y'all. The I'm balance of work. the force including, is here. Including, <laughs> in, including members of this podcast. Yo, so yo, all of a sudden yo, now. Okay. Because they have to work. Hold up. So I, I will take that feedback. But my, my predictions wasn't about the review of the game. It was oh, no, about the, the, why that individual is reviewing it. That's, well, that's will, all I I will say this. I will say this. If they put a person on it who play who plays Call of Duty all the time, and it gives it a super high score, the reverse is the same. Yeah, the it's same biased. Thing. It's, it's biased. the same thing. It's the same thing. The only thing the only thing I will say about that four score is this, and this is my personal feelings on scoring, especially with a ten point system. Okay, five is average. Mm-hmm. When you're talking anything below five, 
that means to me the game doesn't function properly. Mm, damn, mm-hmm. that's my brother right there. That, that means to me Get the him. game is that's broken. Bro Get right him! There. So far as what I, 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 I did not fully sit down and read that review, but everything that I've been able to, to glean from that review and People then I've heard other King things. Attic in the chat. I'm done with you. King <laughs> Attic. So I, I have not heard that the game is fundamentally broken and unplayable. Like Spider-Man sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so that's, to me, the four, I understand. So Spider-Man was short, it was broken, and... um. But I'm not and, making it. I'm not forgetting oh, okay. about Spider Man. I'm not making it. Let's forget about that. Let's forget about that. Well, you, 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 the the thing, though, is I don't want to go too much on that because ACG said the game before that day one patch run ran, and I trust ACG. But yeah. only ACG get to say that. Everybody else can't. <laughs> well, I'm we, only saying ACG said. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, we're gonna exclude ACG. So, we will talk about the rest. <laughs> it's just to me. Look, it, you know this this idea. At first, you know PlayStation fans who are who are all of a sudden jumping on this bandwagon saying see what happens when Microsoft takes over. Microsoft had nothing to do with this game. So yeah, that, that's one. I, I will get I will, yeah. I will interrupt you for a second. And that is so true because the fair voice, you can't have it both ways. You can't say yeah. when, when, when there's a ball. I think it was when Outer Worlds came or something. I, oh, Microsoft had nothing to do with that being an eight and nine. It's not your game. Right? It's not yeah, your no game. And then when it's something ball, but they, this, they also did quote unquote have nothing to do with it. Oh no, that's all of them. This is the effect. <laughs> Microsoft tells you to come down. So that is the effect. Gotta call fraud on that. Facts. That's fraud. And, just, and the same way as a fraud when the, when the Xbox fans are, 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 are jumping to the defense of this game just, that they don't that play. They play. <laughs> just to clarify real quick. Ain't song, nobody boot up go. nothing. Yeah. The, the only game this individual that has reviewed Call of Duty has reviewed all year. We're almost at the end of 2023. Mm-hmm. Is Spider-Man. Everything else has been TV. Woo! So that makes him unqualified for the four. Again, I, listen. I to it me unqualified. The yeah, four, I guess. the four feels egregious, and mm-hmm. because if it, it feels egregious, it simply feels planned. The game ain't broken like that. Like yeah. four means broken game. It means mm-hmm. bugs and stuff, right? You it, to me, you, the game could be even comparing it to past Call of Duties. You be like, yo, mm-hmm. this is not as good as this. this is not as good as this. Mm-hmm. Can you play the game? Yep. Are there bugs that uh, that crash the game every five minutes? To mm-hmm. me, that anything below five, that's you. where that territory that's goes. That's why I'm with you, soft. Yeah, yeah. And you. then to me, so you know, what kind of what can be behind that? I have no idea. I just it, think it's called the gender. It's called, it's called <laughs> gender. <laughs> but everybody seems the to have an agenda around this game. For, the word you're looking for is agenda. <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> if your memory no. is failing you right now, I got you. <laughs> So now, yeah, when I laugh, is that, that King, King said, yo, I got to play this game because they're coming at me. I'm like, yo, you know you don't want to play this game, but you go play this no, game so, now. Okay, so, so, the- so first of all, you got to defend Xbox. Yeah. So first of all, you ain't going to do that because last year I said, let's get Call of Duty. I sat there and I played it. I was like, yo, let's get to the community. Yo, in fact, and none of us played it. Yo, <laughs> I, said, I, said, I, said, I said, yo, let's get to this community stuff. To, be, add- go ahead. to be fair. I told you, don't buy me Call of Duty. I'm not playing. <laughs> That's, yeah, he, said, he, he said that. He said that, but I didn't. So at the end of the day, you ain't going to come for me like that. You ain't going to do that. But I'm, I'm going to let you continue to smoke. But, Keep smoking. But, but. So, but this is the thing. So now he can't just smoke and he needs to, he needs to go in That's and play right. the game to be able myself, to defend man. his The hell with you? You ain't going to do that to me. <laughs> So anyway, and then the, the thing is, he's got to buy this game that is probably bad, right? Probably not a four it's out of ten, bad, but though. it's probably bad. It's not bad though, and I know it's not bad. It, but it's got to be some realm of bad, right? Uh, it's not. It's bad. These dudes is liars. <laughs> so that that's my my main thing was the to me, and then this is maybe a personal thing. Maybe other people see it this way, but ten point scale, five is average. Below that, you're talking about broken. Mm-hmm. Nobody said anything about broken. They just said they don't like the direction, the sort of more openness of it, um, that it's boring. Cool. That doesn't scream five to me, um, right. or four to me. So that that's the only thing. Other than that, you know, rate the game whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> King. Uh, yeah. <laughs> your thoughts on Modern Warfare 3's reviews. And, yeah. Oh, Attic. I mean, Attic. So you, you didn't tell me how you felt about the um, oh, the, the, the was ad. That? Oh, the, uh, yeah, that, once again, people just arguing about nothing. 
I I too, my Xbox is always on sleep, so it just comes right on and I don't see any of that stuff or whatever. Yeah. Um, I believe the B button allows you to back out of that. <laughs> you believe you heard? Yeah, I, I heard. Yeah. I heard that you know you could back out of that in two seconds. And oh, okay. <laughs> then your life will continue as, as it was. Those, yeah, are, just, so those are just people, people that's trying to save on uh, life. <laughs> Yo, people saw people really want to try to act like they were stuck at the screen. They couldn't leave the screen. Like, it's, it's, like I said, it I, I, them. I do get the concern for where they're taking this, but it's just not there yet. Like they're acting <laughs> like it's a rude pop up. Like they like they showed uh pepperonis or something. Yeah, you, know like so. you know what they're acting like, mm -hmm. King? You were playing Call of Duty or, or another game and like when you went to the loading screen, that popped up. It, it popped up and was like, bye, Call of Duty. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then you saw the headline, gross. Like, yo, who wrote this? Like you you dudes over mm -hmm. there, I'm gonna get at you. I'm, you're gonna get this work. Yeah. It just it goes work. to show you that everybody everybody still needs clicks. No matter if you're on the most, <laughs> if you're on the biggest website, uh, gaming website on the planet, you still need clicks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Put somebody on it that just reviews movies. Look ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you good? You good, son? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Lord King, who's been patient. Ah. Your thoughts on the review of Body One Fifty Three and our yeah, right now. Console. Right now, I feel like Jordan. You know when he's standing there, he put the ball in his hand. Yeah, yeah. He put Face, it over your head. The triple threat move. Mm. And he, you know what move he' about to do? The jab, step, pull back. Ah, ah, you about to get this work? You jerks did it again, and I knew you was gonna do it. We set you up. You fell into the trap. Yo, at it. Hit that trap card, cause they fell into our trap. <laughs> we knew y'all was gonna pass it over to the to the individual that was sit there and do movies and shows. That's some R and R stuff. And then all the stuff that you like is PlayStation stuff that you review. Oh, I love how God of War is. <laughs> oh my and God. Horizon Forbidden West is this, this is. I, I know you. So y'all think you're gonna save Kong, right? <laughs> y'all thought this was gonna be yeah, it, gonna save and, and y'all was gonna sink it, right? Yeah, let's give it a four. But you gave Quantum Era a five. Mm. A broken, you, don't say crappy don't say. mess of a game. But it was on your beloved PlayStation. Y'all like, ah, oh, son, that's a game that we can live with. <laughs> <laughs> the campaign is short. It, 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 they been telling y'all they're slowing it down on the campaign. Mm. Uh, analytics show. That half y'all don't play the campaign, y'all don't want to play the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. But y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to do it as a whole. Y'all don't want to do the multiplayer and the campaign together because it will raise the score. Mm. You see, I know y'all agenda, baby. You're mm. cute with it. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's separate them. Let's separate them. Let's get the weakest one and let's put it over here and isolate it. And let's give it a four because we're going to get more clicks and we're going to try to sink this ship and tell people don't buy it. It's a whack. It's whack. It's whack. Your review process is whack. Your review <laughs> process is trash. You dudes over there reviewing. You're destroying yourself. You're destroying your credibility trying to save Kong. Like y'all dudes right there, you already show what, what, what alignment you're with. It's going to work to it don't work no more. Mm. And it's not working. Now that you got Attic doing research on who reviewed the game, and then the internet never lie. The internet got you on blast. Like, all you did was TV show, TV show, PlayStation game, TV show, TV show, PlayStation game, PlayStation game, TV show, TV show, movie. <laughs> It's just, it, you know, I don't know how things work over there here. I don't yes, know how you things, do. Yes, you do. I, it works on I an agenda. I don't know. The <laughs> thing is, is like, I don't know how things work when it comes to like assigning, you know, games and stuff. But like, to me, it's just like, was there no one available? Like, and, and explain to me, because to me, it's like, if you're not reviewing games a lot, like, why'd they get Spider Man? Like, they reviewed one game besides Modern Warfare this entire year, and it was Spider Man. So it, it's a just Sony like that, game. That, that, yeah, that's that's insane to me. They even reviewed the VR for Horizon. A Sony game. And, you know, it, it is what it is. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I want to go home. So I'm, 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 I'm Yeah, but see, I, I let you rock when you was doing all no, your that, banana no, stuff. That, that's fine. Let I, me rock. I, I, I'm referring. I am not adding to it. You continue. Okay. Allow me adding. to rock, son. <laughs> rock away. Rock away. <laughs> all right. So you gave it a four. That's not acceptable here. All right? Uh, we already know it is a blockbuster. It was the graphics terrible. Did it glitch out on you? 
Was it a progression problem? According to the review, um, mm-hmm. um, it's a pale imitation of the past made up of underbaked story moments. But ultimately, he says, yes, the gameplay is still great and the mm. graphics and sound design are top tier. But I couldn't help but feel I was playing a shinier, less subtle version of something I've played too many times before. Right, right, yeah. So that that, that warrants a four. That warrants a four. All right. So we already know the credibility is in the trash. We already know that. So we we let's 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 move past that. Let's go over to this egregious pop up that's popping up on people's screen. Yeah. All you do is trying to save on your gas and electric bill. <laughs> So I'll turn your consoles off. Oh, and, and real quick, King, I, I did look it up. Dan, the dude that reviewed Starfield, the yeah. only other game he played this year uh, besides Starfield was Jedi Survivor. It's the only other game he reviewed besides Starfield. Oh, so what he was doing for the whole year? But go back, go back. He's the he's the reviews editor. Okay, the editor. <laughs> and I feel you on that. So he, but he that's needed, the agenda from Starfield? the top. He that's needed a, Starfield? Is there, he, is that's if you go back to see, top, if okay, you go on, back, he, he he reviewed a lot of Bethesda games. Okay, so he reviewed Vampire Survivors, Mario, uh, Destroy All Humans, uh, Westworld Review, Vampire. He reviewed the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I mean, we back two years, and I've only named like five games. Yeah, but he's, he's the, the reviews editor. editor. Oh, no, but, Everybody got to submit but, they review that, to him. He ain't gonna but, have but, much bandwidth and time to make. So it don't then don't take Starfield. What y'all ridiculous? Why? Y'all, 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 right no, my, my, y'all my care point, too y'all, much about y'all, this shit. Y'all only want bias when it's on your when side. It's on your yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, like, no, when it when it go their way, it's good. You, no, no, listen, no. I told you I'm a fraud. Like, what part of that don't you get? And you gonna sit here and you gonna keep saying if it don't work in my favor, I don't like it. Yo, all right. <laughs> look at look at look at what Simon Cardi also reviewed. Disco what? Elysium, Overwatch, mm-hmm. Xbox Years property, ago. Overwatch. <laughs> it doesn't well, it wasn't, well, it wasn't an Xbox property then. It doesn't matter. It's Xbox property now. Overwatch. But, but, but okay, so what did he that rate it then? Though. Control. That does matter. What Call of Duty, Black then? Ops, Cold War. But what? That's back then. Cold War. Back. So, so then. King, according to based on your argument, as soon as ABK went down, they, there was the internal joint. Like you, yo, you already yo, you already know. Save Kong. <laughs> By any means necessary, save Kong. Like what? whatever's going down, I care save Kong. Way too Kong, much yeah, about Kong you. Get... You you have the quote that I tell people is the greatest quote, which is <laughs> no one's gonna tell me how my food tastes, and you worrying about this dude telling no, no, you how no, your no, food no, tastes. No, no, listen, listen, I'm not this is a talking point. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's not about telling how a food tastes. It's about saying something don't smell right. No, me. y'all pointing That's out all. what y'all feel is inconsistent. That, I Fine. Don't, yeah, I, I don't give two shits with the super care game. too much. <laughs> I, I, I no. am yeah. giving you information. You can do what you will. No, no, fair enough. But, fair but, enough. But, but, see, I'm going to play, play oh. the game this week. I'm going to play the game this week, and I'm going to give a real concise review. <laughs> like, like it, it got to the point now. Why you got to get involved? Now. Wait, can I, can I guarantee something right now? Yes. Go ahead. It won't be a four for you. It won't be a four for me. <laughs> no, well, we can you, pretty you, much you, guarantee that. Yo, you know why it won't be a four for me? I don't give games fours. All right? Unless it's broken. Okay. All right, and, and you facts. know that's a fact. And we, like, we're on the same broken. page there. We are the no, same we're page. on the same page. Yeah, I, think I, I think we all agree that, again, first of all, we got to be real, though. Like Sov said, none of us played this game. So mm-hmm. we right. all frauded. None of us have booted up, no one to shoot the gun, don't know anything about it. Right. We're going off conjecture and what we assume based on what the reviewer said. So if the reviewer I'll give you said, a real review this week. <laughs> I, I'm... I'm okay. not really going at it from like the review in the game itself. I'm going for um, can we trust the person reviewing it? Like, no, it's, it's we just, cannot. Like you, you look at just uh, just the fact that they ain't reviewed no games. All right, this so year. let's they just reviewed say all only all right, almost fair enough, fair entirely enough. PlayStation I mean, well, games. I would say years. this: like Simon, I, I don't listen to these shows anymore. But Simon Carter used to be like the host of the IGN UK podcast, mm-hmm. like you, general like IGN UK podcast. Uh, so again, I don't I don't know what this guy's plate looks but like. Here's the but... thing, so, th- this is the thing that kills me. Everyone's saying these guys are frauds. They do this yeah. all the time. Why are we right watching their show again? Why are we yeah. keep going back to the seat of the crowd I, I, and then get mad with that we of, of, of behavior that you've already there, predicted? <laughs> but but the, there, there's a difference between. I'm sorry. I'm a very big standpoint on on pointing out the issue. Fair Maybe enough. It doesn't get fixed. 
Okay. But not talking about it is definitely. No, no, I'm not saying not talk about it. I just feel y'all really they care doing about it. This. They 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 more egregious with it right now. Like right now, <laughs> since it since it's been done, they they've been dropping depth charges all over the place. It, it, it's just, like, it's free just calm. like the nah, he gonna drown. said. It's because they have a big influence. <laughs> yep. It, so, it's why like, you, so why don't we I make the people think, that we care yeah. about the big influence? Why don't well, we support see, the, the people that we care about? Why don't we go to lawsuitgaming.net, damn it? Why are we, why, why why are we popping up see, the it, other it, side? Let's go. We got a home team, homegrown. Lawsuitgaming.net isn't doing stuff that's that's making me scratch my head. So let's go to the people that's doing the stuff that we like. The thing is, is I can do both. I can throw light on this issue. But you don't like that show. The, you don't like that TV show. You don't like I that don't anime. You like this yeah, anime over here. I, I want to get you to this anime. Support get him over there. It's the final episode. It's the, the final show. Over no, there is the I final know. episode I, I of think, Attack on Titan. We got the new new. Me, I think what bothers me that you, what, what you're saying, Attic, and what King is definitely directly saying, you're kind of, you're talking around a little bit, Attic, and King isn't, is the fact that this is, this is an Xbox tax thing. No, this no, is, no, no. It's, it's here, because it's the, now under Xbox. And I'm, I, I'm I, saying that, that I don't buy. I, At least I, don't, I truly don't know if these people are bombing. Ham, stuff what are you because, doing, bro? What are you I, doing? I, I, I'm saying that 100. percent no, no, It is look, an Xbox look, tax. I truly don't Thank know you. if things are Thank being bombed for a, a quote unquote Xbox tax. I'm just saying the position, like what's going on. And the fact that all these reviews haven't been, it just makes me do point more towards that direction. Right. I don't know if it's really mm -hmm, happening, mm -hmm. but it's just like the facts behind what's I going what on saying. doesn't justify. I hear that's you. right. I, I get what you're saying. Math math math. Math. And what I'm trying to say is if, we, if, if we agree that media bias exists, and according to y'all, everybody yeah. over there is a and PlayStation IGN fan, is full of it. right? <laughs> Why we keep going over there and I don't go to them. about that. I, this hit my timeline. Like it hit yeah. my timeline. <laughs> hey, it's not about it going to. It's not about going to them. Not going to them. It's about we. We are content creators and podcasters talking about issues in the industry. Okay. And, and this is the mm -hmm. big and issue. This is the second time this is brought <laughs> up be a this issue. way. So that okay. got to be talked about. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be talked about. Fair fair be. Listen, fair enough. <laughs> I, I guess. I <laughs> Y'all, y'all messy, y'all messy. And, and, but I, I feel you. Y'all care about. Y'all kill. Y'all clearly care about this. You know what I'm saying? I care and about I, it. <laughs> It's not that. It's like I truly don't care in the long distance of things. I care from how it looks in the industry. Okay. It, it, it's like it I feel like that review system, all the way up to Metacritic, should be took more seriously. And I don't feel like it is. It and hopefully, being and hopefully, serious. because of y'all, what y everyone's doing, right? Hopefully Shame that shines light, sh shines light that Shame maybe up. that they can't do that. <laughs> all is, all I will say is let's Public not flogging. attack. Not saying that y'all are. I'm Flog saying for them. anyone, let's not attack, let's not personalize it and harass. That's all oh, no, I no, ask. No, listen, That's all I, I, I ask. I'm personalizing it. it. Yeah. I'm putting it all on the whole squad. <laughs> if, 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 people felt like I was, if people felt like I was attacking people Shout individually. Out, I got but, Travis and Rob McCaffrey. If, if I got a love over like here for y'all. Yo, people individually. They, listen, that, they know who I love. Shout out to Miranda Sanchez. Guys. I got love listen, for him. Sometimes I got you throw a grenade, like. sometimes you go and go to shrapnel holes everywhere. If people felt like I was attacking people individually, that's nah. not that's not what I'm doing. Like right. I even said, educate me. I got a Twitter, <laughs> but the problem is, is the questions I'm asking, I don't think they have answers for it. Word, word, yeah. word. Yeah, 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 I feel this. I, I feel y'all. Y'all, <laughs> y'all care about this joint. <laughs> <Hell, laughs> yeah. like, I, I mean, I jump in if everybody got their thoughts. Yeah. We done with that. Go ahead, Carl, Look, go I'm with y'all. Listen, hey. I'm with y'all. No you just dancing. gotta keep it consistent. Just consistent. Gotta keep it consistent. Yeah, no, listen, that's I'm it. with y'all. In my opinion, when. I see a four. First of all, I didn't play the game. I don't know what the game's about. So I can't mm. talk about if the game is or the game ain't. I'm just talking you just about put what that we saw. On the screen. We have yeah. not played the I game. I ain't played the game. So I can't. <laughs> there's no fraud alert on me. I'm not doing it. But when I, I'm with I'm on the lines of solve. When I see a four, four and less to me indicates maybe some technical issue that prevents it from reaching its greatness, right? Uh, As opposed to again, I'm looking at again, this is how I view five and six. Is like okay, there may be no technical issue, but you boring. I'm when I read the article, it felt like it was more like, hey, this is regurgitated, it's more the same. The graphics are good, it's short, but it's more the same. And maybe you need to take some time off from a yearly Call of Duty cycle. To me, the biggest thing, and again, I don't know how y'all feel about it, is why was the review split from the whole package of the game? 
They that's do that. Why. That is consistent. That's they do do that. Oh, that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. In my investigation, <laughs> they do do that. <laughs> fair enough. Thank you for did thank his you. Homework, thank baby. you for doing your homework. I, again, you could tell I haven't played card in years. They, thank they, you, they Addict, for the correcting me. They do the whole package, right? And they split them individually. Individually. As well. so okay. Them so for me, package score. It's still not out yet, right? Yeah. So multiplayer is not out yet. Right. So I personally gonna wait. The whole right. The single player isn't out either, right? Right. No, single player is out next year. Yeah. Single player is out. No, out. out. No, no, this it's, is for, I, for, the for people, people. For, 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 for reviewers. For reviewers, reviewers right, right, right. codes have gone out. Okay, and okay. for the record, we got to say it here officially. Um, thank you to the fine again. friends at Activision. They have sent lawsofgaming.net a code. Nick is uh, reviewing it. I kind of spoke mm -hmm. to him trying to get a vibe. And he was like, nah, it's not as bad as people are saying it is. But he got his issues. Look out to lawsofgaming.net. We got our review. Yeah, yeah. Very Nick, soon. Nick yeah. going to give you the real baby. Right. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Support the real if y'all are not. Yeah. Nick, you we got like this. You don't like what you smell it? Yeah. You don't like that? <laughs> I, I, I you don't like them trying to save Kong? <laughs> <laughs> we won't save Kong. Kong will Fair die. enough. Addict corrected me beautifully. <laughs> it, it, I didn't know that they've been doing this yes, separate, separate stuff for you. So they thank you for that. Them. So look, this is how you feel. I'm more along the lines of, of y'all and solving the sense that I thank personally, you. when I see a four, I don't necessarily feel that means it's technically broken to me and it's really to an unplayable yep. state. So you I am confused how low with that. A four is. Right. But I haven't played it. It's close to three. Well, we haven't played it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, moving on from the review thing. The ads, I, I gotta come for. I'm with. I'm pretty much with all of y'all. Go for it. Xbox community, we gotta talk. Yeah, man. We can't <laughs> be. Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk, come to the front of the conference. That's the homie. That's the homie. This ain't personal against no one personally. I just gotta Doc, talk to the community. Tell me you ain't do that, Doc. Listen, Doc all I'm saying. I love Doc to death, but Listen, Doc, Doc was one of them, man. I, I, to me, this, like, I seen grown men watching. Y'all better cases. stick around. You better not leave. There's something special at the end of the show. Don't think we wrapping up right now. You're walking out the door. I done seen y'all come down from a thousand down to eight and some more. So you better stick around because we got something for show. For show, sure, boss. So like this is the way why they, everybody got to come to the front of the congregation. These are the same people that I seen watching C-SPAN court cases <laughs> every yep. day about the ABK acquisition. Could tell you about the verbiage or how the trial went. Yo, it's going down, son. Popping bottles with Judge Corley. Yeah, yep. son, we, we got that. It's going down. Then in the club with Lulu. Lulu, ABK, yeah, she's with <laughs> us. Hey, OPP, you know me. So my whole thing is we cheering all this stuff. We, 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 we think this is what needs to happen, right? Then we hear, yo, Xbox, y'all got to market more, bro. Yo, Thank you. Xbox, what's going on? I don't see no star. I don't see no ads. I don't even know. Y'all ain't even got it. Now, now, Kid Smooth, you come to the front of the Yeah, Kid Smooth, cut it. <laughs> I love you, Kid Smooth. <laughs> I'm not going to say no names. But at the end of the day, it's like, this is what they did the deal for. You literally, people are literally crying that Xbox cannot promote. There was a $69 billion investment mm. that they worked hard to get. So my thing is, again, I wouldn't know. I, I don't. I, my joint is on instant on. But when I saw, shout out to Everboy Saga, he had the funniest tweet ever when he put the joint up and, and said, "This is what y'all mad at?" And press B. It's like <laughs> that's 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 literally it. And it's my thing is you can't have it both ways. You like now you see in the Globe in Vegas, you see in Starfield buses ev everywhere, you see them promoting. It's not the first time they've already done this. Like Addict said, with Forza and the other first party games. So you want that out? This is not for you. This is for the new person who's in the ecosystem that doesn't know oh this is the new home of call of duty you see what i'm saying now mm -hmm. this is where i will be empathetic where i remember be real quick Kyle, yeah, please they did they they, they 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 couldn't market nothing for call of duty last time yes that's the thing now you have to let the casual know oh you just I was want this surprised they're able to do it like that yeah that, like that, that, that shows that how aggressive like marketing to me. that's like, aggressive so the, the only thing i will be empathetic to the side who does not like this is now if you tell me yo we're gonna have a youtube forced video you gotta wait through the timer of a minute Fair enough. But the beautiful thing about you guys mentioning, and I will give credit, is that we have to give Xbox credit. They listen to feedback. The same thing when people were complaining about Xbox Gold, listen to feedback change. When people were complaining about the, um, what is it, recently with the employees not losing the Game Pass, whatever, Phil mm -hmm. jumped on it, is on it. All I'm saying is this is part of the process of promoting from your investment. As long as they don't go past that, I'm with y'all. Y'all spoke up. But to me, it's just like, 
bro, like we we really bad about this. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. It, it just to me, it, it doesn't make sense. I, I look at the bigger picture. I look at next year when Diablo and most likely Game Pass, um, Call of Duty will be in Game Pass. You need that <laughs> new Series S owner to boot a Series X and S to boot it up and say, wait a minute, oh, I ain't got to pay seventy dollars. I can do this right now. That's what's going to supplement what you what it is. Is people don't like Call of Duty. The hardcore don't like Call of Duty, and mm. that's why they got a problem. They had a problem with Starfield. They had a problem with Forza. The yeah, the process. They so don't it, care about the game in general. <laughs> yeah, that's all this exact. Thank you. That's why. That's why I get me mad. You can't. You can't have a big capping for this deal. Going extra hard, talking about we won it in court, mm-hmm. and then you mad they marketing the thing you've been fighting and cheering for. Like that's crazy <laughs> to me. That's wild to me. So yes, it's okay to to talk about it, but it's not that serious, y'all. And again, they're on notice based on what you said. If hey, it won't be no, it will be an ad or a force locking thing. And shout out to Matt because he do has a funny thing. It's called just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> yep. and he's, he's like yo it's just a tip right there but, say, but pause that pause on that but I understand the concern but I don't think we're, we're there yet. it's not it's not that serious to me so it's because like I don't blame people for voicing their opinion but let's yeah. let's let's break let's calm let's, down let's hit yeah. the, yeah. Yeah. Hit the yeah. power saving thing on your Xbox and stop turning it off like a fool yeah, it's just, you, can't, it's just you, you can't repeatedly say I'm hungry and then there's food that drops on the table and you say uh uh-uh. uh yeah, like this is nah, too not much. Not that. I don't eat that. Not nah, that. I, I yeah, yeah. Why, why you put the pork eat, there? I don't <laughs> eat cheesecake. Like I don't eat that. So don't take me to cheesecake. Bro, when I pop up my TV, you know I mean, ass jump off on the on the joint on the small TVs when you all that. It's mm-hmm. crazy. But anyway, enough. Yeah. I'm rambling. Let's get the super chat. Let's get to my body here, man. We went crazy long. Yeah, we went crazy long. Are um, we though? Was it crazy long? <laughs> I mean, at this rate, right? If you're averaging. <laughs> yeah. Hold on and then while we do, oh, I gotta make sure Steve. I have not even check on. I guess I put a poll Cam, in the chat. By the way, make sure you're good, brother. Um, I know you gotta go. Please, if I can do your outros because we just gonna be reading super chats at this point. I want to hold you hostage. Oh no, I'm cool. I'm just chilling. We're holding um, you hostage. <laughs> where, where can the five people find you? What you got going on? Ham hey, Solo, what's up, bro? You can catch me on King's Dinner Tech. No, I'm just Yo! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on yeah, here? Yeah. We got, you see Ham? Yeah. I, I actually got loved baked you, ham, man. Smoked ham. Bro, we got all the we got all the meats and the beef. <laughs> oh, these guys. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, nah, but you, you can find me on my channel. I've been uh, I I I've been out here doing some work for 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 a little over two years what's your, what's now. Your cha- what's your I channel, remember sir? hitting up Attic and King for the first time, being like, "Yo, how do I do this?" And they just like do it. Facts. So so, so, so now I'm here it. doing my dang thing. But but y'all can check me out at TSWS Gaming on what? YouTube. Um, okay. I'll put the. Yeah, let's put I'll this put in the, the chat. In the let's, chat. Let's get people to um, know who the, who this guy is. I, I put I, your I heard you, in the chat. Bro, I heard you had Seamus Blackley on like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I, 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 two times. Two That's what? Two, two times? Time. Oh, man. Two two time. Two-time champion. So, let's go. Y- y- yeah, I had a behind them six episode where I talked, mm. in, which I've had everybody here except Saab. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, I'm sorry. Every, that, oh, that's a call out. Sorry. Everybody's trying to get the elusive juicy. <laughs> <laughs> juicy. <laughs> every, day, day. <laughs> every Thursday, every Thursday, I do a show called Behind Them Six where I have different people Ooh. throughout the world of gaming and I just talk about um, their, you know, come up in gaming, whether they're in the business or streamers or literally just gamers i talked to all sorts of people like i said i had like everybody here on the panel except sob and nice. i've had seamus blackley jerry Ooh. hook they used Ooh. to be the designer of uh, uh, nice. halo, uh of halo back in the day and mm. stuff like that so co- def- definitely come through check I'm out the, i'm putting the channel almost, in there yes i appreciate that yeah We're go sub to that at a thousand subs oh We're let's get up to a thousand how much you at right now where you at we we at eight 53. Oh, right let's now. go. Come on, y'all. And I've been go. trying to hit a thousand before the end of this year. And if I could do that, that do would it. be an amazing realm. So, Come on, y'all. We got how much we still got in here. We got about 800 in here. If all of y'all just hit that button and subscribe and yeah, let free. this brother exist, it's free and let that yeah. brother be able mm-hmm. to monetize his channel. That'd be a blessing, man. Let's show out for the realm. Come on, y'all. I let's get it. That, y'all. No real, doubt, no real. doubt. Appreciate but, but, you, but it's been an amazing show. I really appreciate you uh, inviting me here and then telling me that. Oh I'll no, you coming back? back at some oh, point, you coming back? We're gonna give you the royal treatment, bro. Man, I'm 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 stoked um, to be up here with you, brothers. You, you you guys seen 
how much work and stuff and time I put into he heard he the, gained the, 15 the crafts and whatnot. Well, he ain't playing <laughs> around. Yeah. We're gonna get him there. We're gonna get him there. That's what's up. I yeah. appreciate y'all. Just nah, we appreciate you. Just know that I always holler. Uh, I always shout out to you guys whenever people ask me about my history, it's specifically King and Attic, because I I literally talked to them folks uh, before I did one of my first shows. That's what's up. Uh, so so shout out to them, bro. Now nah, much love, bro. Love what you're doing. Love the way you handle the channel. He's killing it, man. And, and, and also, I love like he brings so many different personalities on. You yeah, know there's, there's a like, lot. It's there's a lot, a lot. And, and he he encourages constructive. Cons uh, discussion it's not just about even people with different i know with different opinions or viewpoints than him he's had a shout out to the show i had a had two hour argument with uh with j-dub with j-dub yo channel. i watched that episode <laughs> i watched the j-dub episode yeah. i was like i'm tuning in for this because i know we're both of y'all are on, on, on different viewpoints and j I, it was one point you was like all right i gotta jump in <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah I, I, was, I, was, I was done with this I, I was done with that. I, I saw the moment. If you, if you continue, but it was, he, it was so done. If you, if you continue to play by his game, he will bring you down. Yeah, because like, Jaden will keep he, going with the jazz. He's good at biting and just lashing off. <laughs> <laughs> and it, no, it was good. Shout out to Jado. Shout out to you again, brother. Go subscribe to the channel. Go check him out. We're going to uh, do these super chats and then get up out of here. And, uh, stick that's, around. Uh, stick around. We got to yeah, stick you, around. Bro. Stick you around. Dang, I got like subs. 50 subs. That we ain't we playing. The realm is outside. Yeah. Uh, 100 more. We had 900 more. Yeah, yeah. Come that. on, we gonna keep checking it, bro. Brother, doing his let's thing. Let's get him. Let's I get him to get positive. This, this bread, bro. Fact. Positive in the community too. All right, we got Stitch. Uh, remember for 47 months, Lord Cold. Okay, let's completely derail this. Imagine King laying on his belly while Attic feeds him <laughs> some bacon. <laughs> also, this is the last card attached to Sony. Great show. Yo. <laughs> King, you gotta hit the beat though. I'm not doing nothing of that. That's good. I ain't doing nothing of that. First of all, your little sick mind coming up with thoughts like that. Sick. Ah, why you? Why you're you sick. don't like it when it's you? You're sick. Why you don't like you're it when your door is open? When you on your stomach with your door open? Why you don't like it now? Hey, hey, Kyle, I don't have you supporting that. You say that you was on your belly, get somebody feeding you some fish sandwiches, and you on your belly. Why we don't make a shirt and an emoji for that. No, <laughs> how about we don't do that? You you came up with your own drink. You I came up with you. <laughs> you want the whole beef and lift beef up. I was going to do something totally different. You put that's this on me. Emojis. That's you. That's you. I had nothing to do with that. You completely influenced me. We need 90 more subs for us. Uh, let's, let's go. Oh my God, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, continue. We will <laughs> not continue with that conversation. <laughs> we need more subs, guys. So we have Stitch again with two dollars super chat. P.S. Addict is calling him a fraud while feeding him. Yes, he's alley ooping to alley ooping. Yeah. All you know, right, let's get him. off that timeline. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Spartan six six one member for three months. The ILP is a podcast. Is the podcast is the event you should subscribe to. Enjoy the show. Uh, just know that is one of the best entertaining shows you can enjoy. Thank Much you. Much love. You, Primo Drake said he gonna yeah. buy that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I got some shirts coming. I'm talking to graphic card. You guys are gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Jax82, $2 to be chat. Where does Battle.net fit in this equation? Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Good question. We didn't even dope. talk about that. There's it's so many. Yeah, There's so, so many much stuff that came out of that. Yeah. We need yeah. 80 more subs, guys. Yeah, it, that, that's, that's a conversation to be had. Okay, yes. this next one I'm going to purposely read incorrectly because it's foul. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here we go. That's why I don't read. Pinga Grandy. Pinga mm -hmm. Grandy, $10 super chat. Pinga. <laughs> oh, I know what you're going. Oh, I know. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Demographic is changing. Changing very much. Yes, changing. yes. There we have Raheem Linkhorn, $5 super chat. IGN is about as credible as Freddy Krueger as a babysitter. <laughs> Yo, they wild. Oh, wow. they wilding out, bro. <laughs> Then we have Jax82 once again, two dollars super chat. Uh, Attic brought out his inner King David. Tell him, <laughs> yes, Attic get, can get there as well. Mm -hmm. Then we got Soma King with a two pound super chat. Attic's bruised throat seems to have healed. Wow. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> bruise. That's, that's very aggressive. <laughs> wow. 
It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put the crust. <laughs> Let's put the crust in the chat for Lord Bronze, Filipino Beast. Shout out to Filipino Beast. Welcome to the round. No doubt. Blessings, no. bro. Blessings, blessings. Then we have JD Gamer, five dollars super chat. You know what happens when you try and get your media job to do what your wallet can't do? It doesn't work. Salty PlayStation fans out here being transparent. <laughs> 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 Woo. there we have philip carlisle five dollars super chat addict is right some game journals are slick when they review games paul i'm coming for knees okay yeah. okay then we have nintendo on the otaku five dollars super chat at least at ign five is not average seven is average if you take the mean of their scores from the last five years mm. four is completely broken which cod isn't yeah back yeah. to our point yeah that's kind of what we, what we agree with then we have JD Gamer, five dollars super chat. You can't save Kong, IGN. You can't <laughs> save Kong. <laughs> that analogy is that I can't stop getting out of that movie out of my head. <laughs> Only PlayStation can do that, and they've been caught lacking. Don't be mad about it. Xbox is competing. <laughs> then we have JD Gamer, five dollars super chat. PlayStation laying on the ground, panting, bent over, out of breath, oh, can't man. breathe, begging for a hint of fresh air. No games on the horizon. Where the games at? Yeah, mm -hmm. talk about Wolverine next year. <laughs> uh, then we have Spartan six six one two dollars super chat. They will fall or fail, fall like G four TV. R I P X play. <laughs> Facts. Remember them, right? They was dope too. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Nintendo the Otaku five dollars super chat. Simon sent the review to Dan, and it was a six. And Dan said, "Drop it two points." <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, scenarios. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of pocket right now. No, we not. Yeah, we have. <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. There was a lot more to cover. Uh, Black Ronin three five seven. Yeah, member for twenty one months. Lord Silver. I care how major media puts out info to the masses. There's a bias at IGN and other outlets against Xbox recently. Also, go King Beef. Go King Beef. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's Cog. Cog's King Beef. <laughs> You're that both we... beefy now. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we all float down here. There we have uh, <laughs> JD Gamer, $10 super chat. Uh, uh, play, play, PlayStation, I caught you at the scene of the crime, it, it being lack of media integrity. PlayStation fans still trying to save Kong. Stop it. He can't breathe underwater. He needs to stick with what he's good at. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Then we have Relis Reliski, Reliski, a member for four months, Lord Bronze. So Cog, what you're saying is we need an IGN is biased Lords of Gaming art is a biased Lords of Gaming article on the website. Investigator Attic, we need you on the job. <laughs> I literally spent like an hour and a half investigating that stuff. Yo, and it feels like you did. And thank you for your great <laughs> investigator work. He he got his Alan Wake 2 on. <laughs> he, did. he went to his mind place. <laughs> I ain't playing that game. So. Yo, yo, Attic, honestly, I would tell you don't. That game is dope. dope. <laughs> he said, don't play a great game. Nah, it's because it's, <laughs> it's, it's scary. Terrifying. It's scary as hell. Time. Then we got Truck Netso, $5 super chat. IGN is literally using the Starfield, the Starfield 6 in their uh, marketing campaign. It's a commercial. This is all for traffic. And I, I do believe in the, in the Microsoft tax. I think they both gave it seven. I think it was a th I thought it was seven. Yeah. They were both sevens. They were both sevens. Uh then we got JD Gamer, five dollars super chat. Uh what's a king to a god? Please PS, you can't save King Kong. Godzilla put his foot <laughs> on his chest. It's over. <laughs> you remember that too, right? Let's start his heart up. <laughs> this will get your heart racing. <laughs> There we got Hargi Chani, member for 28 months, Lord Gold. Salute. To be fair, other ratings for Modern Warfare 3 are fives. I expected a five out of five for this one. Five out of six for this one. Uh, it was supposed to be a DLC, no new COD game this year. They then expanded it to a full game. IGN final score should be higher. Yep. When you talk about it, that's the thing, though. Subjective things. When you talk about a subjective thing should be higher, again, I go back to the whole argument of it being broken, which nobody seems to be saying it is. So that and it should be higher based on that principle. Mm. Definitely. 
Then we have Cheo Walker, member for 28 months, Lord Bronze. Sav is an ILP exclusive and not a multi <laughs> <laughs> that, that was good. That was good. I, that, I mean, yes. As many people as, as, as I owe interviews to. Yes. Yeah, hey, I'm that's solo. True. And many others. I'm solo. Many others, yes. Get in line, bro. Yo. Yeah, many people want that. JD gave her ten dollars in the chat. I'm dead. You gotta stop saying it like that. <laughs> Man, got, people would want that. People want that. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Sorry. Sure. I'm hungry. I'm losing it. I, this, this is why my family does not listen to this show. <laughs> I'm JD gave her ten dollars in the chat. Insert meme here. What happens when you have a fight in water? Seventy percent of the earth, and you can't breathe on the water. You get conged, <laughs> and everybody knows what happened to Kong. P.S. Fans, you can't save Kong. <laughs> you gotta stop with that. Man, man that is started hilarious. Started he started a movement. movement. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. That we got the two dollars super chat with Summer King. King don't <laughs> fuck like up on the quick. pork. You said so what? <laughs> he was don't on it. Up on, on that the pork. pork. Two oh, oh, don't you, buck you, up you, on me. Don't yo, buck, you, up, don't on buck up on me. <laughs> you can buck up on all the pork you want, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have B. Lou, remember for 25 months Lou. of bronze. Fellas, keep doing what y'all think. Love that you guys are part of my Sunday. Salute to the best game we show the community. Oh, Thank that's you. love. Thank you. Lessons. Hit the Lessons. Subscribe, Lessons. but look at the subscribes up too now. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's get it up higher. Pours. Yeah. Then we got Spartan 661, $5. But chat, I'm laughing at the media bias. We, we enjoy the games, but that uh, games that they don't acknowledge. We, the gamers, have more fun with all the games that are available than them. This is true. It's something it does true. It does sometimes feel like some of them are just not having fun. And it's like, dude, you're reviewing games, man. Like Well, if you're watching your icon die, you ain't having fun either. <laughs> <laughs> but those are overworked though. So a lot of a lot of reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, we got watch, Stitch. They're watching a lot of movies. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> then we got Stitch five dollars. Overworked. They only worked on one game this year. Messy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, King. Let's switch the bacon for a salad. I forgot you don't like meaty stuff, but don't worry. Full-grown zucchinis will be added. Pause. He <laughs> <laughs> let you go. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna make it. Making uh, sure you get your veggies. Make sure you get that. Uh, that egg see, plan is I, right. I see where y'all at with it, but uh, y'all, y'all like all the meat, so God bless. <laughs> He said the egg plant is right. Yo, <laughs> <my God. laughs> yo, yo, Ham, I really liked you before you showed up here today. <laughs> That's it. They're going to take care of you, you, you know? You better stop before I take them subscribers back. (laughs) Immediately. Effective immediately. (laughs) Seize it. Seize him. (laughs) Seize thy subscribers. That's it. We are finally uh, caught up. Wow, what episode? All right. Oh, I think we got a poll and then we get about it. Uh, With the recent layoffs at Oh, we got something for y'all. And we got some stick around. Yes. The reason and future of Destiny 2 in question, what do you think is the best course of action for the studio to turn things around the choices are a upper management must listen to dev teams and focus on the quality of destiny and marathon content choice b scale back on sony games as a service and help focus on its own survival c separate from playstation entirely (laughs) this marriage isn't working out for both parties or D, I don't care. The real Destiny killer was Bungie all along. Shout out to those <laughs> in the chat. It was going up later today. Shout out to Ham Solo in the building. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Won't be his first time. And um, yeah, we had a good show, y'all. And again, please support Lords of Gaming.net. There's a lot of good content we got going. Please stick around for after the show and tomorrow on the Lords of Gaming.net uh, Twitter account at Lords Gaming Net. Uh, we got some announcements to make there. So come check us out. Come yeah. support. And real quick. Mm-hmm. We about to send you to a uh, to a video that uh, yeah. you know King made. He's very passionate about it. Mm-hmm. Go there and check it out, man. Go there and check it out, King. He got his own YouTube channel Woo! now. Go over there. It's called X, uh, Xbox Frontline. We about to send you over there right now. New Ghostface. Oh, 
Hold up. Oh, damn. Super okay, chat. <laughs> yeah, you want me to get it? Chat. Yeah, no, I got it. Joe okay. Repco, a.k.a. Flame, $2 Yo. Super Chat. Oh, you thought you free? No one is free? That's oh, the they got the egg. They got the, the eggplants for you and the, and the, uh, hurry uh, up, the zucchinis. Hurry up. They got no oh, eggplants. They got the uh, Shout out to, shout out to uh, I Am Game Master, a.k.a. Karen's Raisin Potato Salad. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Oh, we, we got he, his his thing's going. He's got two minutes. Like, we got to go. We got to yeah, go. Okay, we out. We out. So, All shout right, out peace. to you. Peace. Peace. <laughs>